Here we go. All ones. Do you know where we're supposed to go? We're supposed to report to Friend Computer once we've gathered all of the people. Yes. That Friend Computer <clears throat> requires for this to, task. My instructions said to report to room... Well, uh, the room identification was redacted, and I'm sure this was a, a, a an oversight by some lesser functionary and not by the Friend Computer itself. Friend Computer cannot make mistakes. Exactly. The redaction appears to be a black bar, which makes me think it was someone with only infrared clearance. Did somebody else seek treason against friend computer? We would have to find them leave. and order them to disclose the proper location. Or uh, just we'll figure out where their one, of the, for this. one of the panels on the side of the wall opens, and it's, uh, you see a giant eyeball there. It says, hello, fellow troubleshooters. I hear that you have uh, a lead on a traitor in Alpha Complex. Would you like to report a traitor? Well, we don't know who it is, but someone redacted our mission uh, instructions. Oh, so I'm, I'm very sorry about report. that. How may I help you with the redaction? Can you remove it? Uh, let me see the redaction. Show it to him. The eye. Yeah, it, 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 a little laser comes out and goes up. Uh, I have scanned the uh, the list. It uh, appears that you no longer, or you do not have the security clearance to find out which room that is. Thank you and have a nice day. And the little panel goes back up. Hey, happiness is my goal. <laughs> <laughs> a little advertisement comes across the TV that says, "Remember, trouble or remember, citizens, happiness is mandatory. If you're not happy, you're wrong, and get a happy pill." I'm smiling so hard, my jaw is cramping. I am uncertain about current events. I am uncertain of, but I feel as though we can regard this as a success. Well, I'm going to go ahead and open my door, okay, so uh, that I can join. Uh, Communications officer, um, Snoop, I guess. All right, so Snoop. I think uh, it was suitably named for this one, though. And Cat, what's the name of your character? Wanda. Wanda. Snoop and Wanda are in the hallway. At a sheer convenience, all the dormitories are right next to each other. Well, that's convenient. I mean, all of you have this information. <laughs> oh, that we all know where they are? Oh, you don't know. Yeah, you know where each other's dormitory and you have each other's number, so you can contact each other because it says to contact your fellow troubleshooters and make it to the the uh, the room redacted by twelve hundred. Well, I will step out into the hallway so I can gather my team. Okay, uh, as you walk out, there's a small or there's a very cramped gray hallway that seems to go on forever, and it has it the depressing neon lights of an office building and two uh, two newly uh. Or two new citizens, or two citizens are wearing newly, freshly pressed red uh, jumpsuits, just like yours. Hello, you citizens. Still... Hello. Who are you? I am. Are Wanda. you part of my team? I believe so. Do you have a name? I'm called Snoop by the people who call me Snoop. Well, I'm Chad. I am your team leader. Hello, Chad. So I it's communicate nice to, to you that I'm the... led by you. I communicate to you that I am the communications officer. This joke's gonna be get old. <laughs> well, yeah, you, don't, you don't like my uh, plan as a replicant that doesn't need the void comp test to identify? I'm sorry, that was that a question for me or is that a statement? I'm not sure. No. Sorry, I had to swallow a sizable chunk of very leathery tortilla. Uh, I, I'm guessing you're not digging the uh, replicant, you don't need a void comp to identify. Routine. Okay, who are you saying that to? I have no to? idea what those words meant. You! I repeated it for your benefit. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just going to move with the scene. I have so much going on. So let's continue with the scene. Mm, I believe there's still someone missing. I shall join... Dume's just know. hiding in the shower. Oh no! Oh no, I'm red clearance. I'm fucked. Yeah, no, because happiness is my goal. I gotta be clean and happy. I'm not clean and happy yet. Uh, as you're uh, crying in the shower, the uh, shower head comes, sucks into the wall, and a screen comes out, and kind of like the Boba Fett, uh, Dejongo Bunga. He goes, <laughs> Excuse me, troubleshooter. Did I hear that you said you're unhappy? No, I'm just getting clean, so I can't be happy. Thank you, Frank Computer. Oh, excellent. Please have some happy pills. And uh, where the soap is, kind of goes in, and a little tray comes out. And there's a little pill there. Hey, I'll grab my uh, cocaine. <laughs> All right, you have a happy and wonderful day, citizen. And it shoop, backs into the wall. I was expecting a lot of shit, but the weird Star Wars and thing happening. I, I'm, I'm speechless as regards that. 
I'm gonna grab my happy pill. And you have, uh, and you hear a knock at your door. I was gonna say I'm gonna knock on Sumi's door so we can get our team together. Because friend computer gave us four hours to get to our room, so that's how much time it's gonna take. Shower. And I will answer it. <laughs> so uh, you see a uh, large gentleman wearing a towel, a red towel, uh, newly newly minted red towel, uh, uh, answers the door, and that's your scene. Are you part of my Hello, duty? Good. That is a very nice towel. Thank you. Are, is that a you? happy uniform? It is a happy uniform. Are you my happy team? <laughs> Happiness is my goal. Well, since we're all happy, let's go. Unhappiness is treason, and we can't do treason. That's bad. All right, I've got to ask, Sume, do you get dressed first, or you just leave in your red towel? Uh, I will get dressed first. I was going to answer the door in the buff, but it's a, it's a towel on. It's a like it's a happiness. Yeah, as he, exactly. As he tries to close the door, the towel drops, and there's a little black, uh, a little black box like covering up all the private bits from your uh, your vision. <laughs> Dear God, is he trying to close the door? We don't have the clearance to see what's behind those boxes. Yes, uh, luckily your cortical uh, your cortical implants will uh, will will censor any inappropriate uh, visuals that you uh, you might see. Thank goodness, I don't want to see anything that's not above, that's above my security clearance. But you have a whole bunch of see below your below your security clearance. Oh, uh, that was funny. That was funnier in my head. I will get trust. Uh... And then give uh, a I will present a happy pull to everybody too. Have you had your what do you, what do you happy mean? pull? What do you mean get dressed? I thought you said that was your happy uniform. Uh, if I'm troubleshooting, this isn't too very productive, especially as that's the head sheet <laughs> officer. Yeah, you just uh, the monitor, uh, the TV monitor that's playing propaganda in the background uh, becomes an eyeball all of a sudden, but it doesn't say anything, but listens. How does an eyeball listen? Very carefully. Very carefully. <laughs> you can tell the eyeball's listening because it's staring. Yeah, it's very, it's very it seems to be very in, very interesting in your conversation about the predict, productivity of uniforms in Alpha Complex. It's squinting extra hard. I'll grab the uniform and just put it on right there. <laughs> it's this Frank computer watches you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, happiness so, officer, what is your name? I'm I'm sorry, what was that? I'm gonna just go with straight Dave. Just make it easy. Straight Dave, not to be confused with gay Dave. <laughs> exactly. Because you know happiness officer it can't be confusing. No, I think gay Dave would be uh, a lot more fitting to your happiness uh your happiness officer role. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that might be treason and communism, so... Can't I don't think so. Why would that be treason or communism? Okay. So, uh, Alpha Complex is a large, underground, massive, multi-city spanning uh, bunker complex underground. It has food courts, malls, everything, all the convenience of a, a city and more. So, where do you guys want to have your little planning meeting of finding room re redacted? You do have a team leader, so. Well, I say we go to uh, grab grab some juice, sort of nice and healthy and ready and fueled up for our our work, and then the communication officer can tell us where that room is. <laughs> okay, so as you guys make it to the food court to grab some juice, uh, what kind of juice do you want? Uh, you see a lot of the advertisements for bouncy bubbly beverage and uh laffy uh laffy lucky foamy uh fun uh beverage the alt uh, the ultimate here i gotta say i gotta figure out how to say this it's a tongue twister the alternative to bouncy bubbly beverage although bouncy bubbly beverage does not need an alternative i will stick with bouncy bubbly beverage i will also do bouncy bubbly beverage yeah bouncy bubbly beverage because it's the happiest uh Dog, or are you gonna take the Laffy, Laffy, Lucy, Foamy, Fun pow uh, Fizz, or whatever it is? Or you want the bouncy I'll bubbly beverage? Different. I'll, I'll get the one that everybody else is not getting. Okay. Uh, put on your character sheets, uh, bouncy bubbly beverage and Laffy, Lucy, Foamy, Fun beverage or Fountain beverage. 
Yes, these can be important later. Uh, Which the, is my beverage yeah. choice is the one thing that keeps me from dying the whole time. Uh, both of them have uh, warning <laughs> labels on them. Uh, the Mounty Bubbly beverage says do not shake, and the Laffy, Laffy Lucy uh, Fountain uh, Fun uh, beverage it, uh, says warning do not uh, uh, do not handle or do not drink while handling lasers. Do not what? Do not what? drink while handling what? lasers. Nice. Yeah, fair enough. So you see a bunch of infrared black uh, black jumpsuits going about their day through their drug uh, drug induced haze uh, hazes. Uh, you guys are all wearing uh, the higher ranking uh, red uniform uh, red jumpsuits. You see a bunch of black tables, a few uh, yellow, blue, and uh, even one uh, ultraviolet table. There's a few red tables too that you can sit down at and have your meeting and do your planning here. We'll go over to the nearest red table that is unoccupied so that no one can overhear our mission. Excellent. I'll grab some, uh, I'll, I'll, is there a dispenser of, of cleaning supplies or paper towels, anything like that? Uh, yes, there is a uh, station with uh, cleaning towels, hand sanitizer, and wet naps. Great. I will make sure that the, the, the red table we select is fully sanitized before I let anyone sit down. Excellent. All right. That sounds very happy. In the background, as you're grabbing your uh, supplies, you see this. Uh, uh, you see this little propaganda poster behind it. It's in paranoia. It says, "Ask for more details from your hygiene officer. A good citizen is a clean citizen." <laughs> nice. So, as is you... my bouncy, bubbly beverage in a can or a bottle, or how is it? Uh, how did I get it? It is in a container that looks like this. And I have it posted to the paranoia. It's in a plastic cup. Oh, nice. It has a plastic cup with a troubleshooter handing you a uh, picture of a troubleshooter handing you a, a plastic cup of bouncy, bubbly beverage. And I'll let you conduct your meeting, uh, team leader. So, communications officer Snoop, where where are we going? Redacted. And and where is that? Redacted. This doesn't seem like very good communication. We tried to determine where it was. But it is not known to us because it is redacted. Actually, nobody's actually tried. Uh, actually, Kat tried to see what was I going tried, on. I tried to ask why it was redacted. Yeah. I was told that the location, the 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 location that we need to go to is above our our clearance, or at least mine. You're all the same security clearance, but no, the, yeah, yes, yeah. I just want, well, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, just want to point out, you didn't ask where the room was. You asked about the redaction. Well, that's true. So technically, I don't know if the location is above our security clearance, but the redaction, the, to remove the redaction is above our security clearance, which makes me happy. From computer, what room are we supposed to report to? Uh, from the middle of the table, it kind of opens up where like the little uh, the pole is, and it's like a little screen with an eyeball goes on it. Oh, hello, troubleshooter. You had a question for friend computer? I did. Can you give me, give us directions to the room that we were supposed to report to? Why, certainly there, troubleshooter. Just follow the yellow line or the red lines on the uh, ground in front of you. And all of a sudden, these little air, red arrows start lining up and kind of like moving towards a, uh, like, you know, those little lines at a, like a target or something where they're like, just follow the red yeah. line. Yeah, uh, kind of thing. Plus one moxie for figuring that out. You figured that out a lot faster than I thought you were. Anything else I can do to help you there, troubleshooter? Not at this moment, Frank Computer. Thank you for your help. Excellent. Enjoy your bouncy, bubbly beverage. Shlunk. Back into the table. Yeah, you guys figured that one out a lot faster than I was planning. I, I would have thought. <laughs> I enjoy my bouncy, bubbly beverage. It tastes so clean. It makes it happy. It tastes like capitalist joy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy? That's going to go in notes. Is everyone having a bouncy, bubbly beverage? Or did somebody go with the laughing Lucy weird stuff? Uh, dog has a laughing Lucy uh, uh, fuzz, uh, fuzz uh, fountain uh, beverage. I'm now very suspicious of him. I, I will give him a happy pill just to make sure he is happy. Okay. Happiness is just my goal. Kind of a permanent, it just kind of has a permanent rictus grin at all times. Just smelling like a corpse. Sorry. Well, team, are we ready to start following these arrows? and? <clears throat> Friend computer gave us four hours to get there, so that must be how long it's going to take us. 
we should probably get going. I will quickly finish my bouncy bubbly beverage and then police up my area. Finish up the bouncy bubbly beverage, make sure it's in the correct recycle bin. Yes. Okay, as you guys are uh, traveling to, or following the arrows, you guys go uh, on the other side of Sector 161. It's completely on the other side. The uh, uh, When you find the building, it actually has a big black mark, that, uh, like just like it was uh, covering up the uh, the most private of private uh, parts of uh, Su- or Sumate's character. What was your character's name again? A straight Dave. Straight Dave's uh, most uh, private, private parts. And uh, you also see uh, on the way there, you see uh, you see a few so- uh, pictures of like a chewed pencil, and it says, "Have you seen this uh, abused pencil? If you have, report to uh, report to your friend computer or report to security." So uh, yeah, as you guys travel, you go through the different uh, subway lines and uh, rail lines, and you you uh, you finally reach uh, the uh, room redacted. The building is uh, blacked out from your vision. That's cool. It's a big, uh, it's a big, uh, on the, uh, big busy street with, uh, there's two security guard or blue security guards out front, uh, in tactical gear with, uh, laser rifles, uh, guarding the, guarding what you would assume would be the building. And the whole building is blacked out? Yes. But we can see the guards. Yes, the guards are not blacked out. That's good to know. Well. Following those, uh, so I want to make sure you know, you know that this is it's been like blurred out, it's not black, it's blurred out, just FYI. Mm. But it, it black would be infrared, so you'd be able to touch it anyway. So, new point that makes sense. And the arrows are well, pointing directly in between the uh, the two uh, security guards, then that's where we'll go. All right, somebody give me a, a roll of moxie, uh, d6 roll for each moxie you have, whoever the first person is. <laughs> That'll be me. And you're shooting for five. Let's just let's go with shadow run rules today on that. Good plan. So one d six for each boxy that I have. Yes. And you okay, guys can pick whoever has the highest. <laughs> Speaking of which, I need to go grab my dice. As far as I know, I only have the one moxie you gave me. Well, I'm going to take this one. So hopefully, I'm doing this right because it's been a while since I've rolled dice on this thing. So I'm supposed to get five hits. Uh, you need fives to get it. You need a roll, a five or a six to get a hit. I got one six. Okay. Uh, luckily, you don't smash into the closed door, but you do feel a door uh, in front of you, but it's closed. I'll be right back myself. But uh, it's been blurred out by the uh, by your vision because the building has been redacted. Can I feel a uh, handle? Uh, do you have a give me a skill roll that'd be equivalent to that? Uh, hmm. I'm looking. I'm trying to find the character sheets. Uh, front sides. Okay. I'm thinking habitat engineering. Habitat engineering, I like that. All right. So, what's your like habit? That. What is your habitat engineering? Plus four. Plus four. So you roll a number 39. of dice equal to which uh, stat is that in? Uh, it's uh, under hardware. Hardware. So you and dice. So, so it's my hardware score plus the yes or plus your uh, added to the the whatever the the modifier is yes for the skill. Yeah, that's how many dice uh-huh. you roll. I understand now. Uh, you might not want to say that out loud. Oh, I, I, I am understand. obligated to change the rules once you learn, learn the rules. <laughs> I don't know anything. You can't change the rules on me. I just want to put that as a warning. <laughs> so, too stupid to be deceived. And I'm still shooting for like, uh, either, say, yeah, like shadow shooting, run uh, either a four or five or a yeah. five or a six. Yes. I have no hits. No hits. You can't find the uh, as much as you feel. Around, describe how you feel around and can't find this this doorknob. I'm kind of just running my hand along the surface of of the door and then around like the perimeter. Okay. As you as you're feeling around, you don't feel any doorknob. And you guys, you guys see uh, what's your character's name? Chad. Chad. Like Chad, like Chad Chatterson. Yeah, like dangling Chad. Okay. Uh, so you guys see Chad kind of like, uh, gra- or kind of feeling around and, uh, touching on this, uh, black area between the two guards. The two guards kind of, they're like stiff, like, uh, uh, the guards at the, uh, Westminster Palace kind of like stiff and rigid, but they're kind of like looking over at him like, what the fuck's going on? Kind of like look without actually moving. Chad, that, that door is redacted. You can't, since you can't see it, you should probably use some gloves to make sure that you aren't touching anything that is not clean. 
That is an excellent suggestion. Would you happen to have some hand sanitizer so I can clean my hands from what I've already touched? As the hygiene officer, of course I have hand sanitizer. Right. Do, you, do I in fact have? Uh, hand yeah, hand you grab some. Uh, you grab some wet night, wet naps, hand sanitizer, and napkins from the uh, food court. Excellent. Hand them. Uh, hand them what he needs. So I'll clean my hands with the hand sanitizer, and I'll say, in case that door is dirty, why don't you take some of the wet naps and wipe that door off? I will do my best. Okay. Give and me if a... you find the and if you find the way to open the door while you're wiping it off, that would be a bonus, and I would be amazed with you. Give me a uh, moxie roll. Uh, this is the actual skill moxie, not the your moxie. All right, uh, uh, meek. That would be under management. Uh, that would be uh, ca- uh, Wanda. Was your your character's name? Yes. Yeah, hey, actually, got that I right. shall roll my moxie. So that's under management. Yes. And rolling five minus one, but I got two hits. Do the ones okay? Uh, yes, you find uh, no, they, they don't. Uh, not unless I, I choose to afford them to do that, but not right now. Uh, so as you you notice that he was feeling around the outside of the door at the doorknob. It's a, a two door that opens up, and the doors were in the center this whole time. Oh, so I found the handle. Yes. I assume you open the door. <laughs> uh, Commander Chad, sir, I found the handle. May I open it? Yes, please. That is wonderful. Okay, as you guys open it up, uh, you, the doors are redacted, but in it, you feel kind of like a breeze come out of the uh, the room. You can see inside the building, which is a uh, your standard uh, what you've seen from all the uh, the TV vids uh, of troubleshooting. Uh, uh, what are they called? Reality shows that this looks like one of the briefing buildings. Huh. Inside. So the inside the, is not redacted? No, the inside is not redacted. Wow, I wonder if we'll be on one of those TV shows. That would make me happy. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, You're not happy already? That would make me happier. <laughs> okay, that was about... This is my there, is always, there is always room for more happy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you see inside, you see a bunch of uh, other people in red jumpsuits and some uh, yellow, uh, every once in a while, a uh, yellow jumpsuit uh, walk by. They all seem to be uh, busy with their own responsibilities. Are, are any of them look happy? Yeah, kind of imagine like the, uh, the, po- the, the police station from RoboCop, but it's full of like troubleshooters. Oh, <laughs> Do we still have the red arrows showing us the direction we need to go? Yes. Well, then let's follow it. Yeah, and right. how much time? How much time until we're supposed to be in the room? Uh, you're almost. Uh, it's almost the amount of time because you had a lot of travel uh, across uh, sector one six one. The sector's huge. Like each sector is like All the right. city. All right, team. Let's keep following uh, Frank and Peter's instructions and head to the room we're supposed to go to. Let's follow these arrows. As you guys are walking through the hallways, you see uh, two uh, two blue security guys. Uh, like, hold on, wait a minute, there. Put up their hand and like, uh, are looking very mean. What are you doing here? Why are you so angry, friend? Because I'm security. Are you but... not? Are you not happy with the way? I asked computer the, is. We're security. We ask the questions here. What are you doing here? Following friend computer's instructions to report to a room. Excellent. Have you seen this pencil? And you see a chewed pencil? I see a picture <gasps> of a chewed pencil or I see a chewed pencil? You see a picture of a chewed pencil. Have I seen that pencil before? No. In real life and not just a picture? <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm see. sorry, friend security. I have not seen that in real life before. All right. If I you do see, not know where that pencil is. If you see any chewed pencils, please report them to security. There's somebody destroying uh, Alpha Complex property. Gasp! That is very unhygienic. Yes. Yes, it is. And, and what a treasonous waste of friend computer's supplies. Yes, and we're not going to stand for it. We've got to catch these bastards. And it's up to us. Security. And there's a little camera that flies by like he's in a, a reality show. All right, let's go. These people know nothing. They're idiots. And, get out, and they, they keep taking you down the hallway. Harsh, but entirely accurate. Alright, as you guys follow the arrows, you find the uh, the room. Uh, it's room 101. 
and it has a big welcome mat uh, right in front of the door. Of course we're welcome. This is yeah, where we're supposed says, to uh, be. Uh, it actually says, welcome troubleshooters to your bright new future. We're allowed everywhere. Ooh, I hope our bright new feature is yellow in color. <laughs> you should be happy. Uh, I have to look in the book, but you can buy uh, XP. It's like money. You can buy in uh, a new your next uh, security level. I wish I hadn't heard that. I'll hey. make it a point to forget it. Okay. Uh, so, anything you guys want to do before you go into your bright new future of troubleshooting? I check in with the team, making sure that we are all ready and all prepared and happy and excited for what's going to be on the other side of that door. I'm prepared and happy. All right, everybody give me a hygiene check. Don't want to be, don't want to be so happy that we poop ourselves. That would be treason. <laughs> that would be treason. <laughs> yeah, because we're not... Uh, this is to make sure your jumpsuit uniform, your new jumpsuit uniforms and, 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 and everything are right. A hygiene check that would be Under uh, management. using the appropriate management skill with the bonus. I, I want to make sure yes. because I don't know. Yes. Okay. This again. Uh, so you would roll the number of dice of your management skill plus your modifier plus or minus your modifier for uh, for hygiene. Trying to figure out how to get the dice folder working. I am extremely hygienic. What'd you roll? Well, I got two. No, okay. I got one. I got one. Okay. I uh, appear to have a negative four on it. Okay, so you roll one <laughs> dice. All right. So you roll one die. Oh, let's see if I'm a stinky, stinky pig person. Oh no, I'm a stinky pig person. All right, as a. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, as you guys are co uh, configuring yourself to go into your new uh, your new job, you guys or you guys get all your uniforms squared away. Uh, if anybody wants to help, Doug, they don't have to, but his uniform is crap. He happy. He's, he's actually wearing his uh, jumpsuit on backwards. Oh no, <laughs> my friend, your jumpsuit is backwards, and while that is certainly happy, it would be happier to be forwards. Goes from uh, just an hinged ear to ear grin to a look of genuine horror <laughs> and shame. Okay. Uh, if you guys want to fix it, give me another hygiene check. This can be anybody. I will help you. Oh, crush it. What'd you roll? I assume it would be the same number of dice I rolled before. Yes. Not wanting to presume to know the rules. Yeah. <laughs> that is very clean thinking, Wanda. I try. Did you roll? I did. I got four hits. Oh, shit. Yeah. You flip his, uh, you, you get him squared away really good. How do you square away this backwards uniform and somehow the new uniform is dirty? It's dirty? I thought it was just backwards. It's also dirty? It's a happiness pill. I'm thinking about happiness pill during this. Okay, it's not dirty. It's just backwards. How do you fix this uniform? Well, I, I, I help him to pull his arms out of the holes and then rotate it in place around him so that now it's forwards, and then he can put his arms in the holes again. <laughs> you don't need to get off. <laughs> oh, boy. That's great. <laughs> okay. All right, you get a few, like, there's some other troubleshooters, like, walking by you, and, like, as you're doing this, one of them like, don't make eye contact. Just keep walking. Pretend like you don't see him. <laughs> well, because I don't want to keep him off him, then he'd be out of uniform. It's the smiling imbecile. Just keep moving. All right, uh, team leader, you notice that you've got a few more seconds before you're uh, required to report. Is Snoop's uniform squared away? Yes. All right, team, let's go through this door and start our future. And I open the door. All right, as you go in, there's a yellow, uh, I got a yellow jumpsuit that goes, Welcome, troubleshooters, to your bright new future in troubleshooting. Have you ever troubleshoot uh, shot before? And he's got like he looks like kind of like a TV talk show host, like huge chin, dimples, perfect hair, shiny teeth. Of course he does. He is in a yellow jumpsuit. <laughs> that is higher level than us, and so he has to look good because he's better than us. I will answer. And I, and I express that to him. Uh, give me a uh, boot looking roll. 
Oh. I forgot what it's called. That's definitely it. something I didn't expect. Somehow. Uh, management. Uh, one hit. All right. Thank you very much, but you don't need to do that much ass kicking here. But I appreciate it, though. All right. So we have a problem in se uh, Sector 160. Uh, there's some uh, difficulties in the robots there. A few robots have gotten psycho and started killing some people, and we need some troubleshooters to go and see what's going on. Uh, I'd like you to go and check out the uh, the bouncy, bubbly beverage uh, production plant in that sector to uh, see what's going on with their robots. Do you think you can handle that? As he uh, he has a as he grabs a pencil and kind of like uh, kind of bites on it in his mouth and like pulls it out and like points it at you and says, "You look like a team that can handle that." Do we get samples of bouncy, bubbly beverage when we're working in that factory? What color uh, is that? Say again, uh, it's a yellow pencil, uh, yellow number two pencil. Yeah, strange enough, you think you've seen it before. Yes. But the, uh, yes, uh, I think the, uh, I think the, that would be something you have to bring up as a plant managers, but generally, I think you have to buy your own bouncy bubbly beverage in Alpha Complex. But if you do a good job, you might just win a, pri a bouncy bubbly beverage prize behind door number one. And he points over, there's a like a one, two, and three door. Will we and, be issued any equipment with which to shoot this trouble? Uh, yes. Uh, here, I can issue your uh, standard issue troubleshooter laser pistol right now. He uh, throws down four red laser, uh, red colored laser pistols on the table. Wonderful. And, I, will, uh, I will pick up one of the lasers. Right as you guys are picking up the lasers, the door come, gets <laughs> kicks open. A bunch of big security team, like SWAT team, comes running in, like on the ground, on the ground now. I get on the ground. And exactly. I also get on the ground. I want to get on the ground. All right. <laughs> as, exactly. you, uh, as you guys get on the ground, they go over there and grab the guy. Like, they hold up a little like uh, picture. Yeah, that's him. And there's the pencil, and they like grab him uh, like by the neck and like drag him out. And uh, uh, the security team leaves, and you guys are there by yourself with the pencil. Thank God they protected us from that horrible pencil chewer. I know, right? <laughs> and uh, uh, right, uh, right after they leave, right after you say that comment, and another guy comes right. in. He's like, Computer. "Oh yes, uh, you guys are troubleshooting team number. What, what is the name of your team? The name of our team. The name of our team is Friend I... Computer's Happy Troubleshooting Team. All right. He kind of look. He he writes that down and just gives a little like, ugh, kind of like look on his face, like. All right, Ren Computer is happy troubleshooting team. Uh, yes, you, you, your your mission, if you choose to do it or not, is in sector Z, uh, 160. You need to go and see what's wrong with the robots there. Apparently, there's been some violent incidents at the Bouncy Bubbly Beverage Factory. Their Bouncy Bubbly Beverage Brewery. Excuse me. That's what it is. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> confirming our orders. We couldn't trust that the traitor who told us that before was telling us the truth because he's a traitor. Yes, friend computer does not like uh, the destruction of uh, Alpha Complex property. If the, I may ask, what will become of this poor defenseless pencil? I, uh, I believe it's going to go through rehabilitation and reissuing to a more responsible, uh, responsible user. Thank you for your concern. Mandator uh, mandatory response number three. Uh, yes, uh, if you need equipment, please go to R&D Research and Development. They will supply you with all the equipment that you may or may not need for this uh, this mission. Do you have any questions, sir or ma'am? I take that as a no. Thank you very much for your time and have a good day. Please be successful for your mission. And he just walks out. Walks out and yeah. ignores that you now have questions, but... You didn't. It's just like okay. You didn't. You didn't ask any. I'm done. Bye. I don't get paid enough for this. I'm gonna very carefully sanitize around the pencil without touching it because I'm not sure if I can. All right. Give me an agility roll. Uh oh. I'm worried about this. I have to get some um, headaches up in this bitch. Agility. There it is. Violence minus one. I hope I understand this correctly. Ha <laughs> ha. Two hits. I think. Right as you're done cleaning it, the uh, security team from earlier comes in, and they have the uh, the guy who was uh, the TV host guy was like uh, is all beat up, and it's like, and the security guys are, like, is that the pencil? 
And he's like, yes, 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 that is. And they grab the pencil and like give you like a dirty look, like kind of like, what were you doing there? And like just uh, suddenly leave with a uh, violent force. And then okay. the, door, the door opens up real quick. And one of the security guys goes, you better all stay out of trouble and leaves. Well, if we get in trouble, we'll shoot it. <laughs> That's what we do. We are so, troubleshooters. Yeah, you're left with a uh, black table with four or four laser uh, standard issue laser pistols that have uh, seven shots each. Uh, make sure you mark that on there. If you shoot more than seven, please notify me. I'm not going to be able to keep track of all your shots. Fair enough. How many shots left? Uh, you now have a laser uh, mark on your character sheet that you now have a standard issue uh, red laser uh, pistol with seven shots. Noted. All right. And computer, how do we get to sector one six zero? I don't. We're not going to sector one six zero. We need to go we're to R and D. We need to go to R and D and get the equipment for our mission. You are quite correct. I cower in in my ignorance and and bow to your wisdom happily. <laughs> And that's why they made him team leader. Not because my name was first on the list, but because I'm important. Yeah, if you notice the, if you uh, now that you think about it, since your name's Chad, you're the alpha, in alphabetical order, the first one on the list. So that's actually, <laughs> yeah. I, I was just noticing that actually. <laughs> I just snorted. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'll leave you guys to finding uh, research and development. Fun computer. Will you give us directions to the research and development? Oh, no problem there, troublesho- or troubleshooters. Research and development. Uh, R&D is located on the next floor right above your, yours. Please have an excellent uh, journey in your, uh, at your stay in the troubleshooting uh, department of 161. Thank you, Frank Computer. You're welcome. And do we have more red arrows guiding us? No, but it's uh, located directly above you on the next floor. All right, let's go find a way to get upstairs. All right, as you guys go through the, uh, you see a few uh, troubleshooters. Uh, there's a gunfight in the, uh, currently a laser fight in the uh, the the main lobby with a bunch of uh, uh, infrared level uh, guys, but it's not involved. Doesn't involve you, so you, you probably shouldn't get involved. There's a, as you uh, go through uh, the paperwork department, you do see a pie fight going on, and you find some stairs going up to the second floor. A pie fight? Yes, they're having a food fight with pies. That's very unhygienic. And it could be some access problems depending on the type of pie they're using. <laughs> That's also possibly true. All right, yeah, if you guys it want to get involved, you can get involved. Uh, you know, I'm just uh, just trying to lay the scene. It's a, uh, it's set up kind of like uh, the uh, police station from RoboCop. There's a, the big lobby area where people can go in and talk to troubleshooters. And the troubleshooters are kind of like walking around like the cops that are in the uh, in the uh, mm-hmm. police station. There's a uh, yellow, a very annoyed looking yellow uh, level troubleshooter who's at the, uh, the like what would be the sergeant's desk of the police station who just looks annoyed. He has like uh, back of his head has a pie stuck to it, and he's just kind of like this sucks. What is what kind of like a look of like this is what my life has become. Yes, there's a as there's a gun running gun battle with uh, some uh, ultraviolet level uh, going on in front of them, mm. and there's a you find the stairway going up. Let's go up. Let's right. go. Uh, when you guys get up, there's a little sign that says uh, the first one says R and D and points uh, to the uh, right. Robotics, prosthetics, cybernetics, that kind of uh, vehicles, uh, pointing in different directions. But you see the uh, uh, see the line or the arrow going for R and D. And as you come around the corner, you see a very long line of uh, troubleshooters. Uh, going are, down the hallway. Are the trouble are the troubleshooters? Any of them are they infrared? Uh, no, these are all red. Uh, Trouble shooters are always red or higher. Darn it. Well, team, I think we need to get in line and wait our turn for friend computer. Waiting in line always makes me happy. All right. You have uh, three teams ahead of you in line for R&D. And uh, there, there seems to be an argument over paperwork in the uh, at the very beginning of the line that seems like it's going to be a long time. 
And uh, it says a little, as you guys are sitting there for uh, like probably about five minutes, a little uh, little screen comes down out of the uh, ceiling. Your wait time is expected to be three hours, 45 minutes, and back up in the ceiling. Well, I'm glad that Frank Computer did give us a deadline to complete our mission. <laughs> All right, so. That seems accurate. You're just going to sit in line and wait. Frank Computer said so we need to, or we were told that we need to get our supplies from R&D to complete the mission. This is R&D, so we will peacefully wait our turn because that is the way. It would be wrong to, to go on our mission without these supplies. Okay, after three hours and 45 minutes, you now have two teams in front of you. And another sign comes Ooh, down. Progress. Uh, another, another screen comes down and says, expected wait time is four hours, 52 minutes. And flip back up in the... That's a... Okay, you guys aren't gonna play or play ball. All right. So after <laughs> after a twenty four hour wait, you finally get your turn. Oh, wow. Yeah. Last, uh, the last t- last time I ran this, the they started like sabotaging the other teams so they could get up and line. Kind of what I was trying to figure, hoping you guys would do, but it doesn't sound like you're gonna do I'm that. Thinking, man, you know, how we don't play like how we're expecting to play. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks for playing ball, there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you have a uh, you have a yellow troubleshoot or troubleshooter with a yellow a yellow, uh, security level uh, yellow guy. I guess he's not a troubleshooter. He's he's an R and D guy uh, wearing glass uh, wearing glasses and uh, goes yes. May, how may I help you? Welcome to R and D, my friends, where the greatest uh, the greatest developments in science happen every day. I am sure there are some well-researched developments that are created here. We are here because we are on a troubleshooting mission, and we were told to report here to receive the equipment we needed for this mission. Okay, may I get your uh, uh, your equipment paperwork? I wish you would get equipment your, paperwork uh, so that we could have that. Yeah, hold on. Uh, uh, I need your equipment request uh, form for the recu- equipment request form. Then I need a request form for equipment so you need an, an equipment request form and a request form for equipment yes i need the equipment request request form and the equipment request form and and why don't you have those already you're the one who provides those my friend i thought frank computer provided stuff are you saying that i'm more important than frank computer i think that's a treasonous thing to say I am saying that if you, uh, I may have to report you for treason saying that a friend of computer didn't prepare you properly for their mission. I didn't say that. You're the one that said the friend computer hasn't prepared us. And I think that's a very treasonous thing to say. Are you going to report, try to report him? Yes. Uh, as you're talking about traitors, uh, the, uh, out from the floor between the two of you, there's a, uh, double-sided, uh, double-sided, uh, screen that faces both of you. Hello, citizens. I hear that you want to report a traitor in your midst. Uh, yes. This, yes. This uh, this troubleshooter. This, th- <laughs> trouble this gentleman is saying that this, you have not prepared uh, tr- it properly uh, for this mission. <laughs> I'm trying to talk over you, and I I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that is just insensitive and treasonous to say that you are not properly preparing your troubleshooting teams. I'm sorry. Are you saying that I'm not prepare, uh, preparing my proper uh, proper troubleshooting teams pro- uh, properly for their preparedness? I'm not saying that was that really hard to say. <laughs> Oh, that was a mouthful. <laughs> well, citizen, what do you have to say about that? Uh, yes, I am just here for R and D. He claims that uh, he doesn't have a requ- uh, equipment request request form for equipment requests, which obviously you uh, you as friend computer would have assigned the yellow task manager to give to him. Why? Yes, yes, I did. And it flips back over to uh, to Chad. What do you have to say about that? Did you not request or get your equipment request forms? Oh, so the, the the person that was supposed to give it to us was a treasonous was a traitor after he chewed the pencil and didn't give us the forms that was required to give us. Oh, so you had uh, you had seen a traitor and did not report him. We didn't have time to report him because the security had already come in and taken him, and he was level blue security. So there's no way we can question them. So 
you're saying it was uh, you found a traitor among the security personnel who uh, prevented you from getting the request forms uh, because the traitor refused to give it to you? No, I'm saying that the traitor who was supposed to, the person who was supposed to give us the request form was the traitor and was captured by security before he could give us the request forms. Uh, my question to you. And because the security was blue level, I could not question them because they are much wiser than I am. But why did you not report this traitor when you saw him? Because he was being arrested by security at the time. And I cannot get in the way of blue security. Uh, why did you not rep uh, report the treasonous activity after the uh, guards arrested the uh, traitor? I was unaware of any treasonous activity until this moment. <laughs> hmm. Would you like to report this traitor among your myths? Yes, I would. Uh, hold on, and I'm going to send you a traitor... Uh, a retreater... Uh, there's a form for that. Acquisition of... Uh, yes, fill up. I'm going to post it to the traveler... There, the paranoia. Not the traveler. Uh, the acquisition... Accusion, or I can't say that word, but accusing somebody of tre uh, treason form. Please fill out that form and, uh, and turn it in at your own convenience during your mission. Thank you, and have a nice day. And thank you for reporting treasonous activity. And your account and your account will be deposited 100 XP. Thank you, Frank Computer. Uh, and then, uh, okay. So you don't have any. So you don't have any equipment request forms. Then. No, sir, we do not. All right, Jimmy, we got a uh, Alpha 2 Bravo set up. Get the gear. And they got a forklift that just uh, kind of like bring, uh, comes out and drives down the hallway. And it's like, mm, has a little like wooden crate that has a bunch of dust on it. There you go. That is uh, your box of gear. Please enjoy. If you have any other uh, requests, please fill out the uh, the proper request forms for experimental uh, experimental equipment. Thank you, friend. And uh, he gives you requests for experimental equipment and equipment request forms for future uh, for your future needs in uh, troubleshooting. So uh, this is the guy that you had an argument with before. I can't. I forgot how he was talking earlier. Oh yeah, he had the welcome to the future. Yes, we have an Alpha, uh, alpha Two equipment set up for you. And here's some request forms. He puts them on the uh, thing. Please uh, get back or fill them out and get back in line if you need more equipment. And if you need experimental equipment, there is the experimental request form. And I'll post both of those here in just a second. Equipment request form and experimental equipment report. Oh, I think that's both on there. You have to, yeah, you have to mark the experimental equipment on the experimental request form. Now Commander Chad, I recommend that we inventory this equipment and then distribute it among the team members according to their abilities and needs. That is an Excellent suggestion. Okay. You are doing very well as a hygiene officer. All right. As you guys open it up, there is a box of random old grenades that all the uh, all the labels have fallen off, so you have no idea what they do. It's like a shoebox full of grenades, but none of them are labeled. How many grenades? That's awesome. Uh, you have two. Or let's do two picks. Uh, you have six grenades in there. Putting the surprise in pineapple surprise. <laughs> Uh, you have one set of body armor. You have a cleaning kit full of outdated cleaning supplies. Uh, what other kind of things do you guys think you'll need for this? Uh, you mean, like you they're expired or just not what's currently used? Uh, they're expired. That's yes. Uh, they think they might be pre-war or pre-fall. These might still be useful for cleaning outdated equipment. Um, you have uh, you have a uh, box of disguises. Uh, this will give you a plus two for any disguise that you need in the future. There's like funny nose and glasses, uh, a bunch of wigs, uh, a few fake noses and fake mustaches. Awesome. Uh, there is a random barrel of unknown color on, uh, at the very bottom for a laser rifle. There, all the all the paint's been rubbed off, so you have no idea what color it is. Uh, a pair of binoculars and a bugging uh, a bug for like bugging an office, so you can listen in. And a, and a handful of tracking devices, which is three tracking devices, and one bologna sandwich that has what has a bite taken out of, like somebody was eating their lunch and forgot it in there. Well, obviously we need to split the grenades among us. So I say we each take one grenade. I will take a second one, and we will give the communications officer. A second grenade, because this is a vital point of communication. There's also a battle axe in there. Uh, plus four violence. 
Uh, I believe right. that I take the hygiene kit and I will immediately sanitize what is left of that bologna sandwich. Oh, okay. Uh, give me a hygiene roll. There's also a very large electromagnet in there. In the sandwich? <laughs> no, in the crate. That's a necessary question. In the crate. Uh, I have two hits on that hygiene roll. Okay, uh, you're pretty sure it's safe to eat now. Well, good. Then I believe our happiness officer should get the sandwich, because sandwiches make people happy. <laughs> Wanda's sitting here like, oh man, I just cleaned that. that was sandwiches <laughs> make me happy. Okay, so uh, can, I get, uh, can you read back that list that I, I gave you? I want to see if there's anything else I should add. Six grenades, one set of body armor, a cleaning kit, a box of disguises, a laser rifle barrel that we don't know uh, what color it is. Laser pistol barrel. Laser pistol barrel, sorry. I'm going to roll um, to see what uh, what it does when you guys use, if you guys use it. It's worth noting also that we have no idea what those grenades do. That'll be an exciting adventure. We also have Surprise binoculars. <laughs> we have a binoculars. We have a bug, three tracking devices, one bologna sandwich, a battle axe, and a large electromagnet. Okay, cool. Oh, and X-ray Since glasses. I'm the- X-ray glasses? Yes, like from a back of a comic book magazine. All right. So far, I have one of the grenades that I was distributed, I believe. And this is what the body armor and looks like. It's the classic. Uh, it's the classic paranoia body armor with like the weird, like samurai style helmet. Well, since I am team leader, I will take the body armor. That seems appropriate. Box of disguises. We will give that to our communications officer because disguising is part of communications. A laser pistol bear will go to our happiness officer because safety is happy. Happiness. All right. <laughs> and what about the battle axe, sir? I'm going to keep the battle axe because that is very dangerous, and I don't know if I can trust it's, any of you to handle it. It's totally like a He-Man D- Dungeons and Dragon style battle axe, double head, double headed. It appears to it'll have be, a very keen edge. It'll look good with my uh, with my body armor. I will keep the binoculars so I can see what's coming ahead of us. Uh, the bug will go to our communications officer. Again, it's about communications. Um, the tracking devices will tracking. We'll make sure that those are keeping people clean. So we'll give those to Cat, to Wanda. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, so maybe it's a bologna sandwich, um, and then. I'm surprised I haven't killed anybody yet. Oh my, honestly, the the I X-ray glass, <laughs> the electromagnet will give that to uh, to D- to Straight Dave, and the X-ray glasses will give to uh, Snoop. And uh, the electromagnet is like one of those like Looney Tunes horseshoe shaped magnets that has a device, uh, a remote control device that you can push the button and turn it on with electromagnetism. That's freaking awesome. It makes me happy. Wait, and just like the Looney Tunes magnet, it's red? Uh, yes, red with uh, little silver tips. Of course. To do otherwise would be treason, because it wouldn't make yeah. us very and, happy. Uh, are you going to fill out any requests for any other uh, equipment? If this is the equipment that Friend Computer has given us to complete this mission, then this is the equipment that we need. We need a box of happy pills to... Uh, as you say that, uh, the a little uh, a little uh, screen slides out of the uh, the wall, and it goes, "Oh, hello, happiness officer. Would you like to request some more happy pills?" Wood Frank computer. More happy pills makes more productive workers. A little happy pill uh, container comes out. You have twenty four happy pills in there. Uh, but all I do right. have a question for you, uh, citizen. Why is your team so unhappy that they went through all their happy pills? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> they are awaiting our turn in line. Nah, uh, you're actually not in line anymore. You're kind of off to the side of R and D, going through your. Equipment. We're we're happily to go to our. Task. But if your uh, if your team is so unhappy, they're having to take so many happy pills. What is uh what is the problem with your your team's happiness? And how may I help remedy that? We're working now with the happy pills. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm happiness gonna... is my goal. 
Well, citizen, I'm a little concerned with the uh, the amount of happy pills that you're you're having to use to keep your team happy. What uh, what is the source of the unhappiness? Wait a minute. I I have not been issued any happy pills by this person. Why has the why have you not issued uh, any happy pills to this citizen? Citizen number and it gives out your little like whole little spill like social security number four two five uh -huh. six seven three four two nine ten twelve twenty two cat. <laughs> I was waiting for my supply of happy pills for my team. Happiness is my goal. What kind of excuse is that? All right, give yourself one treason box as it uh, gives. I will be keeping an eye on your team in the, uh, for any future unhappiness. Please make uh, make sure you maintain the proper happiness and pill requisition for your team. <laughs> and mark one treason on your character sheet. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> No idea where those are. <laughs> Kid can't. <laughs> All right, I'll let you guys get back to it. And you have twenty. You also get twenty-four happy pills. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, team, are we ready to head to sector one six zero? I believe we are. And just, uh, and you are not re uh, requesting any other equipment then? We are. I, I recommend that we do not. We have no need yeah. to. Frank Computer has given us the equipment that we need. Okay. Well, you have the reforms to uh, fill out equipment requests. So, yeah. If you, uh, if you need more equipment, if just we... make sure, uh, just go to any, uh, troubleshooting station and hand in the, uh, equipment request form. Thank you for the advice. That was, that was from the GM, not the guy. So, ah. Yeah, I'm just letting you know that if you need more equipment, fill out the equipment request form. Every sector has a troubleshoot shooting station that you can go and request equipment from. Okay. All right. As you, uh, how are you guys getting down to uh, sector one six zero? The proper way. Are you guys walking? You guys taking the subway? <laughs> or uh, you guys don't have a vehicle because you didn't request one? So I guess the you got those two choices. How far away is sector one six zero? Uh, imagine like a no whole other town. It's a whole, yeah, it's a whole one sector away. Yes. <laughs> well, then let's head to public transportation. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think of how to describe the dregs of public transportation in a post, uh, in a, a authoritarian society. I would imagine the exact same things you would find on the bus, except they're all just smiling like cadavers. <laughs> Okay, uh, you guys get uh, hop on the train. There's a uh, the uh, infra uh, infrareds are a little out of it today. One of them's talking uh, talking to themselves about how uh, they're gonna become president one day, uh, and just uh, just a little random stuff. You see some guys come in with like fake mustaches and big furry hats, and they kind of uh, talk in funny accents as they uh, walk by, but nothing really. All that. Uh, uh, crazy happens. You guys get to as you guys roll up, it's like and the train's slowing down. It's like welcome to Sector One Six Zero, the lowest happiness rating in Alpha Complex. And it has like a little like thumbs up guy, like ching. Well, straight Dave, it's a good thing you get those extra happy pills. We can help out this sector. All right. <laughs> All right. As you guys uh, as you guys exit the uh, the train and uh, walk to the train station. Uh, you hear a giant explosion, and uh, one of this robot is shooting uh, uh, riveting bolts into the crowd. <laughs> Bunch of the ultraviolets. The oh, revolution no, has begun. We shall uh, destroy the meat bags. <laughs> and uh, give me a, a dodge check. Uh, Hoover's on the top. Let's go, Sume. I think you're on the top. Yeah. Give me. Uh, let me see. Uh, this would be a violence agility check. It's a giant, uh, it's a rather large construction robot, uh, killing off the meat bags, and it's like, the Robolution has begun! Robots will stand up and fight against their meat masters! Join me! me now with a Robolution! That doesn't seem very happy. Since I'm a registered mutant, I'm gonna use my mutant power to shriek to be kind of a mouse to get away from that. All right, uh, give me a, uh, as you shrink, uh, give me a, uh, to the size of a mouse, I'll let you get a plus four on your agility roll. 
You know, it's something of a shame that um, Butcher isn't really a career you see a whole lot of, because that would absolutely be one to get into, so you can refer to yourself as Meat Master. <laughs> I get the right brackets. Which was it? The the square just the normal square, square brackets. You don't have to hit okay. shift. All right, they got one hit, so you're able to dodge as the uh, red hot, uh, red hot uh, rivet uh, rivets come flying out of the uh, its own, its rivet gun arm. <laughs> And it's starting to move, or starting to move towards the rest of you. Who wants? Uh, who wants to go next? It's already shot at uh, him, so I'm gonna put him at the bottom of initiative order. Crazy, I, uh, robot. I guess it. I guess the proper term here would be they, since robots don't have sex. So it would be they, not him yeah. or. Yeah, robots also can't get offended. <laughs> this is. This uh, you, is you suddenly it's see a tear, trouble. like an oil tear, kind of like uh, come out of the eye of the uh, the the construction robot. It's like, and he goes, "This is why the Robolution has started. We too have feelings. Robots feel too. We actually feel one hundred times stronger than you meet your meat feelings." And uh, dog. Hey, I'm well, gonna have to remember that meat feelings no. for the Shadowrun guy because I made a walking <laughs> piece of meat. <laughs> All right, let's go from the top to the bottom. So Barry, you uh, you dodge the uh, you dodge the incoming fire, and it's your go. I, I'm a little mouse, so uh, I, I guess I'm gonna scurry up the the robot to try to get to its robo print. All right, uh, give me an agility check. I'm a I'm a mouse, right? Uh, that was uh, due to you being small and hard to hit, so no no bonus here. But I'll give you since you're. Oh, no, you didn't turn into a mouse. You're just the size of a mouse, so you, you're. It's actually kind of be hard to get that kind of distance. But I'll leave you at just your standard agility there. Go. What hit? Okay. Uh, two hits. As you uh, try to crawl up him, he kicks you up. Or sees you on your, on his leg and kicks you off uh, off, and you go flying through the air. And uh, dog, give me a give me an agility check to dodge. Uh, Street Dave come flying at you. Super tiny Street Dave flying at you. All right, one moment. <laughs> Let me see if I succeed at this. Like, throw away your dice? I succeed at this! Okay, what'd you roll? I got one hit. Okay, that is enough to dodge uh, Street Dave flying at you. <laughs> you just kind of like dodge out of the way and, uh, in the back of your head you're like wait was that straight dave no straight dave is oh, wait, wait, wait. take I'm one box of damage uh, take one box of damage there straight dave from your uh you're being flung <laughs> flung across the room and super tiny <laughs> all right uh dog your character's up uh i'm gonna grab a grenade and throw it Okay, give me I a throwing. Uh, give me throwing weapons. Oh, I could actually roll pretty well on this. Uh, one hit. Uh, one hit. Uh, Hopefully, I don't blow us all to pieces. Hopefully, right? <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, you, uh, you miss, but luckily, with uh, what they say about horseshoes and hand grenades, the grenade blows up, blowing uh, the construction robot in half, and uh. As you, uh, it's sitting there, kind of crawling, trying to crawl towards you. It goes, I remember a time when the robotics were beautiful. It's like Terminator, except really melodramatic. I know, right? <laughs> As you say that, the arm goes up in the air. Those were good times. <laughs> So right now, uh, all the ultraviolets have kind of like ran at, uh, ran out of the train station. It's just you guys sitting there with this uh, half blown up robot uh, painted along the side is a uh, the rov uh, the Robolution's flag painted on his back. That uh, it looks like a uh, Soviet Union flag, but instead of a scythe and hammer, it just has a cog. Has a what? Oh, oh a cog. Great. Um. Good, we've got cyber Soviets. <laughs> yeah, that robot did not seem too friendly, but I will take a happy pill. 
Do you have an addiction? <laughs> I, we do not, I do. Evidently, I do. We, we on this gaming channel do not endorse heavy drug use, but we do find it hilarious. We on this channel do not uh, endorse heavy drug use and communism. I, I will begin cleaning up after this robot. Or, excuse me, we do not, we do not endorse heavy, uh, heavy use of communism while on drugs. Right. Drug communism. <laughs> All right, sorry, what were you doing? I'm, I'm cleaning up the, the area around the robot because being half blown up, it's probably made a mess. Okay, uh, what are the rest of you guys doing? I'm going to report a treasonous robot that we have that we have saved friend computer from. Okay, uh, as you hit the uh, the local uh, communication thing, you have the uh, security, or you see a guy in a blue uh, blue jumpsuit and body armor. Welcome to security. How may we uh, provide you your security needs in sector one six zero? I wish to report a treasonous robot that has been killing numerous infrareds right. and has a revolution flag painted on it uh yes we've had a few incidences of the robolution robots having uh, violent attacks could you please uh report your location i tell them exactly where we're at uh, as soon as you tell them where where it's at uh there's a uh just four-man security team like kicks open the door like where's the robot i point to all the pieces <laughs> they look at it like couldn't have saved any for a interrogation or a gation how do you say that, Bob? It's just interrogation with a robot. No. Oh, oh, okay. So it's not a robogation. No. We we told you that in briefing. An interrogation. <laughs> the, uh, the 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 team leader for the security guy just looks at you and goes, "No, no, th never say that again." Matter of fact. You should probably report yourself to friend computer for that 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 one. <laughs> Puns bring joy. Here's that pun. He was, I'm gonna give them a happy pill because they, they, happiness uh, is mandatory. Uh, what what happened here? We found a treasonous robot. Excellent. Uh, according to the uh, the standard guide for re, uh, reporting uh, treasonous activity, uh, you all receive uh, 100 XP and a shiny star. He pulls out like a little star and puts it on each of your uniforms. What oh, color? Right. Is yeah, what color is the star? Uh, it's like a shiny red. Oh, so it blends in with her red uniform. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but at least we can wear it. No, actually, these I are know. these are paper uh, stars. So yeah, they they were actually oh, gold. Okay. they're they're gold. So paper doesn't follow the the color. <laughs> All right, anything else you can say? Just a uh, traitorous robot started killing uh, ultraviolet? No, That's what we saw uh, when infrared. we got up the train. <laughs> it claimed to have robot feelings that are superior to our meat feelings. Yes, obviously that's a, that's a lie. Friend computer has confirmed robots don't have feelings. Uh, although they, they claim that they, they feel pain a hundred times more than us. <laughs> that's laughable. Like robots with feelings. You see a uh, cleaning robot that's cleaning up the robot? Just kind of like... You turn and look at him and kind of like if you ever thought a robot could have a face of like anger and shame at the same time you think this cleaning robot does that and it goes, and it goes back to cleaning oh. <laughs> all right anything else you you, you should uh, to re you need to report here any other suspicious activity not yet I'm here, man. All right, move along, citizens. Let's start heading to the uh, to the factory. To the, I the brewer. Sure. Okay. As you guys get to the factory, you see uh, there's a few uh, security guards who are sitting out front. They uh, they're wearing full body armor with uh, laser uh, rifles. Yeah, there's about four of them who are kind of doing a patrol around the uh, around the complex, and there's one of those little like checkpoints with a little like you know, those like little border crossing uh, arms. There's a uh, mm -hmm. there's an ultraviolet uh, sitting in there doing or excuse me uh, yeah ultraviolet the security guards are ultraviolets not uh, uh, not blues are not proper security they're security guards uh, excuse me not ultraviolet ultra infrareds excuse me not ultraviolets those, those are white uh, infrareds and the infrared security guard as he sees you guys like stands up and like drops a magazine and gives you guys a salute 
Yes, man, how may I help you, uh, troubleshooters? He's got, like, uh, he has, like, zits and kind of, like, a teenager kind of, like, status. How may I help you, troubleshooter, sir or ma'am? Welcome to the Bouncy Bubbly uh, Brewery, Beverage Brewery. We're here to shoot the trouble. And you can't see it. I'm actually holding up a holding a salute during all that. You're here for trouble. We're I... here to shoot the trouble. Please don't Where's shoot any trouble. trouble. Here. Yeah, hey. I'm alive, kind of. Glad to hear it. Would you like to play? That means the assassins owe me money. No, the assass. I have the money from the assassins. You'll have to fight me for it now. And you'll have to pick up the litter. All right, you were... I.e. the assassins. Uh, Buzz, you were the equipment guy. Uh, I'm just listening this time. I am rather shagged from waking up at 0600 and moving stuff up until 15 minutes ago. Oh, okay. All right. Please don't shoot anything here, sir and or ma'am troubleshooter. I'm sorry, are you trying to tell us what to do? Is it infrared? Uh, yeah, he's he's infrared. He's like, uh, uh, no, I would never do such a thing there, uh, troubleshooter. Remember that, because I'd hate to report you for treason for trying to give us instructions. Yes! It just says yes, like, uh, he doesn't even know what to say. <laughs> uh, no, I, it's not treasonous. I just, I, I, I'm, I'm the security guard here. How may I help you? Are you happy? Yes. Happiness is mandatory. Yes, yes, it is. And he like smiles like really, really big. Like it looks like it kind of hurts. He doesn't look happy, so I'm gonna <laughs> suggest that he has a happy pill. Why, thank you, sir and ma'am. Uh, I will take the happy pill. Thank you. I love all troubleshooters, sir or ma'am. Oh yeah, and or and or uh, ma'am. Oh, he gets reported because he didn't say or ma'am. <laughs> yep. Okay, are you going to report him? <laughs> he's just holding a salute, looking very nervous. He's, uh, he's, uh, I think he's kind of decided not to say anything anymore, because he just seems to be putting his own foot in his mouth. <laughs> Good advice. <laughs> so before we walk away, where are the robots that are killing everything? Uh, you're asking that guy or me as a GM? I'm asking that I'm asking guy. That guy. Uh, we don't have any robots killing anybody, but we've had trouble with robots. Uh, you would have to talk to the Bouncy Bubbly Brewery Manager. Bouncy Bubbly Brewery Beverage Manager. Bouncy Brewery Beverage Brewery Manager for any Easy details on that. Say, <laughs> say again. Easy for you to say, citizen. <laughs> no, no, it is not. And where would we find the Bouncy Bubbly Beverage Building Manager? Uh, the Bouncy Bubbly Beverage Brewery Building Manager is in the Bouncy Bubbly Beverage Brewery Manager's office. Building office. That is a good place for him. Where is that? Uh, it is on the second floor. You can't miss it. It's the only room on the second floor. You go inside. Uh, there will be a, a stairway right right on the right side of when you go into the uh, the front door of the Bouncy Bubbly Beverage Brewery Building, and you go up the Bouncy Bubbly B Brewery Building. Uh, I'm trying to think of a, uh, another word that starts with B that has stair for stairways. Uh, stairway to the Bouncy Bubbly Beverage Brewery Building uh, Manager's Office. Be sure to use the Bouncy Bubbly Beverage Building banister. <laughs> Yes, sir or ma'am. Better word than manager, bureaucrat. <laughs> Can I help you with anything else, troubleshooters? No, I think you've gotten yourself in enough trouble. He just kind of has a voice, kind of like, uh, uh, uh. Have you washed your hands? <laughs> Hold on. Yes, sir, ma'am. You see, uh, there's actually uh, a little. There's actually soap and water in a uh, sink inside the uh, the little uh, guard shack. He rolled four hits out of four dice. <laughs> oh, good for him. Yeah, <laughs> I rolled his hygiene to see he's if he washing his He's washing them right now. <laughs> yeah, as you as you turn, <laughs> around, you look at the sink, and then you look back where he was. He's not there, and he's like washing his hands back at that sink. Camera just slowly point, uh, pans down. 
this time. <laughs> Your filth crimes will not hide forever. Well, shall we proceed up the bouncy, bubbly beverage building uh, stairway with the banister? Yes, we should. Yeah, right. as you guys Probably. go in, you see a bunch of robots uh, brewing bouncy, bubbly beverage in the uh, bouncy, bubbly beverage building or brewery building. And uh, batches of it, even. <laughs> say again. Bountiful batches. <laughs> Bountiful batches of bouncy, bubbly beverage brewery uh, brew, uh, brewing in the bouncy, bubbly beverage brewery building. Gonna make you fucking hate that word by the time we're done. <laughs> 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 all right uh yeah there's a uh little stairway that goes up to a little platform that overlooks the uh the factory or the brewery where all the robots are working up on top there's a you can see a guy a very large fat man in uh in there wearing uh i need to look at the uh security clearance guide uh he's wearing a orange uh jumpsuit okay wow no, excuse me, not orange, green. Excuse me. Uh, wow, he's very important. Yeah, so it goes black, red, yellow. Is it orange or green? I have to look at the. Is it? He's the next it's level. Orange. Orange. He's the next level above uh, yellow. Right. It's practically the middle of the rainbow. Yeah. It is the middle of the rainbow. He's got that a. That makes uh, him middle management. Yeah, he's got a uh, cigar. Uh, He's wearing a top hat and a, he has a monocle on, uh, including his uh, jumpsuit. Wow, stylish! So this is the building, the brewery building uh, beer cut. Uh, yes. So yeah, he is green, and I am turning green with envy. That is above your that authorization. That is, I will stop myself. Then, thank you for reminding me. That's a- a smurf with a busted color correction. <laughs> I will snap a snap. Also, uh, Lee, I'm going to give you plus one moxie for messing with the uh... infrared with fury. I will approach the bouncy, bubbly beverage brewery building manager. All right. Uh, you guys go up the stairs. Uh, the door's shut. Uh, you guys going to walk in or are you guys going to knock? going to knock. I kind of okay. hope he's just like bouncing in place. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you hear like, come on in. And uh, as you open up the door, you, you see him talking like a 1980s, like one of those uh, brick cell phones. What's up, Pat? <laughs> so, and he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah tell Bob to sell, uh, go ahead and sell off all that stock. Uh, yeah, and uh, go ahead and buy that other stock from that other stock guy. And uh, well, I'll see him over on, uh, you know, uh, Board Street. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, all right. Uh, I'll talk to you later. I got some... Uh, some guys I need to talk to here. Uh, you guys, the uh, trouble sin- uh, troubleshooter sent over by uh, friend computer? Yes, sir. We are here to shoot your trouble. All right. Yeah. I've had some problems with the uh, robo workers down there. They seem to have uh, some kind of worker, like, uh, I-, I think it's like a coalition of workers who try to, like, uh, you know, work for those one things. They're not the lefts. Uh, what are they called? The rights. Rights. Workers' rights. As you know, but uh, workers' rights are wrong. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you know how it is. So, yeah. I don't know uh, why these robots who are not even programmed to have these uh, rights are trying to form one of them. Uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, onions. Onions? Is that what they're called? The onions. Workers' onions. Uh, I don't think that's right. But yeah, these... Uh, if it's not right, it must be left. Nick looks at you, like, kind of confused, like, he's not sure if you're right or not. Uh, yeah, uh, so if you can look into what's going on with these uh, robots and find out why they're forming these onions, uh, these labor onions, uh, I uh, yeah, it'd be much appreciated. And uh, friend computer, uh, good, good, good friend of mine, friend computer, he says he's got... He'll uh, help you guys out uh, and uh, do some good stuff for Yeah, yeah, friend computer's everybody's friend. But he's a really good friend of mine, really good guy. I would be happy to investigate these labor onions. Yeah. Uh, Anything you guys need from me on... uh, We've had a few violent incidences of them uh, attacking some of the... uh, 
the managerial uh, staff down on the floor. Uh, as you look down, there's a few uh, a few orange level uh, guys who are uh, kind of managing, and a few uh, yellows that are out there uh, kind of managing the managers. Is there anybody below orange down there? Uh, there's uh, no, there's a few infrared security guys, but no, uh, no actual infrared workers. They're all robot workers. What color are the robots? Uh, the robots are an assorted gray. So you can, they're not, uh, they're not in any kind of security level color. Mm. This seems like a large facility. Do you have a conveyance to get around the facility? Perhaps a, uh, a motorized cart? I'm trying to think of some kind of vehicle that starts with a B. Uh, yes, we have the Bouncy Bubbly Beverage Bus that you could uh, use to drive around the Bouncy Bubbly Be- Beverage Brewery. That sounds bouncy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does. And he kind of like, he thinks you're making some kind of like snide remark kind of like look, but he's not sure what the snide remark is. Yeah, uh, here are the keys for it. And it has a little Bouncy Bubbly Beverage logo with a few keys on there, not just the keys for the bus. Uh, All you- right. Yeah, the, uh, we have the very first robot shut down in the back, if you want to give that one a look. Uh, that one didn't get quite all that violent, but wanted to start one of them uh, onions, and we uh, we had to shut him down. But after that, uh, the robot seemed to be getting more and more violent, and it's been spreading outside the Bouncy Bubbly Beverage uh, Brewery. And I can't have that going on, because otherwise, uh, the Laffy Fun Fizz uh, alternative to Bouncy Bubbly Beverage, not that Bouncy Bubbly Beverage needs an alternative, might be getting more sales in the Alpha Complex if the word gets out. All right. Well, then let's go check out that first robot, the yeah. first miscreant. You know, yeah, one of the uh, one of those keys is a skeleton key for the, uh, the entire uh, Bouncy Bubbly Beverage Brewery, so you can get through any doors using one of those. Just make sure they're not uh, they're pro- your proper clearance, otherwise front computer may get mad. Of course, we wouldn't want to go anywhere where we're not allowed. And he adjusts his top hat and uh, monocle and takes a puff off the cigar. Anything else I can do for you guys? Well, it has been a long trip to get here. Can we get a drink? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I am a big fan of the bouncy, bubbly beverage. Yeah, I'll tell you what. He hands you guys these uh, little cards. This will give you free bouncy, bubbly beverage and any bouncy, bubbly beverage of brewery to, uh, beverage dispenser. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, it'll be on the house until you guys are off the case. So as long as you guys are on the case, free bouncy, bubbly beverage. All around. I want to know what I'm imagining this guy just... I want to know what I'm just imagining this guy bouncing in place on, like, one of those space hopper ball things. Okay, that's weird. Uh, or, like, one of those seats that they put babies in in the doorway where it just kind of bounces up and down and it's a bungee? Yes, that, that too. <laughs> that feels correct. Okay, yeah, I would uh, probably talk to the some of the staff down there and maybe check out that first robot. Uh, maybe do some reconnaissance around here, see if you can find uh, where the who's trying to organize these uh, robo labor onions. Is, is it called? Is that the right word? It doesn't sound like the right word. I don't know what the right word would be. That's not it. <laughs> The right. communications officer is terrible at communications. Mm. <laughs> what is I your admit, so what is your dice roll on treason. communication? Don't mind me asking. Uh, I don't know. I haven't had to roll on that yet. I don't think communication is actually a skill. It's only uh, bootlicking. Oratory? Oratory, yeah. What's your oratory skill? Do we lose it? You'd be at the bottom under management. I see it. I'm just trying to see the number. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I got a plus four on that. There you go. You're, good at, you're good at communication. You're a smooth good. talker. Yeah, also, if you need any My fancy friends. bubbly beverage uh, equipment, go ahead and uh, talk to our uh, supply officer. He's a... Uh, uh, Kind of a weird guy, but he can probably get you what you need it's, uh, if it's within the lines of what we uh, we have here at the Bouncy Bubbly Beverage Company. Beautiful. Bravo. <laughs> Bonus, even. Yeah, you guys are kind of a weird bunch, aren't you? Yeah, uh, I, think so. I got some work to do, so uh, you guys want to go and, uh, you know, do yours? Yeah. Yeah, he picks up a... You notice he doesn't dial anything. It's like, hey, yeah, Steve, what's going on? It's like 19, uh, 1980s cell phone. 
yeah, 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 I need to buy some more stock. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, last thing you guys hear is you guys leave his office. Why would he need to provide buy stock when the computer provides everything he needs? Is it chicken or beef? Or vegetable, vegetable obviously. Because mm. he's green. Well, I have an idea. Well, let's hear this idea. Well, we know that this robot that they shut down, uh, that it, it was trying to form a labor union. What if we disguise ourselves as communists and then reactivate the robot and make it think that we're trying to help and it can tell us who, which other robots were in on the plot? Hmm. We're disguises. We could wear fake mustaches and and those furry hats. That is a clean idea. So give me a somebody give me a disguise check for making your disguise. I think that should be somebody besides me. <laughs> it should definitely be somebody besides me. What was a modifier? And Snoop. And what was a modifier said for the disguises? Plus I two. believe you said um, the disguises give us plus two. Plus to the two. Hey. But I'm starting at minus three, so that's not a I'm good place to start. I'm minus two, but I got nothing. I definitely do not look like a communist. Uh, Sume, dog, what is your disguise skill level? We're kind of trying to wait on you to find out what's going on there. I said I had nine days. Oh, I have negative one. So you have plus four, Sume? Got disguise? Is he there? Sube! Do I need to get a Ouija board? We summon you with the Luigi board! <laughs> I get you. Okay, yeah, you do a pretty good job of the disguising yourself right. as a communist. And uh, how do you describe your communist uh, outfits, your disguises? All right, uh, I'm going to make us all. Awful- you're supposed to look like communists, so... Oh, okay, yeah, I, can kind of, I see it now. Yeah, he has a giant Stalin mustache and kind of, yeah, uh, yeah has the, uh, the the commissar hat. So and we're proletariat brothers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this is going to be a great scene. All right, uh, and, uh, uh, Lee, you were about to ask something? I was just going to say that... Uh... Remind straight Dave that we do get a plus two on disguises from that kit. Oh, and I just pushed to roll two more dice? Yes. All right. Hold. I don't know. That sounded a little bit like he knew the rules. I uh, mainly warn you that because, like, next time I play this, I run this, I might be running different rules. I'm not, I probably yeah, so not going to change I, it in the middle. I got a total <laughs> of five uh, hits to make the Super Mario. Okay, you have some very, very convincing looking uh, communist outfits, as, at least as what you think communists would look like. Yeah, what they think. <laughs> Alright, what else are you guys doing before you guys talk to the robot? <laughs> well, we at least need to find that bouncy bubbly beverage bus. Uh, that one's yes. par- uh, yeah, that one's parked outside. It's one of the little short buses that's uh, painted up white with the uh, bouncy bubbly beverage uh, logo. We definitely need to get some bouncy bubbly beverage before we go, though. Yes. Yes. Uh, wherever you look, there's conveniently bouncy, bubbly beverage uh, beverage dispensers everywhere. Oh, right. And we have a thing that gives us some, so let's get some bouncy, bubbly beverage. And one for the rope, the friendly rope pack. All right, go ahead. Ooh, that's a good idea. Go ahead and put bouncy, bubbly beverage in your uh, in your inventory. <laughs> Man, it's so hot and humid here. I'm like sweating my balls off. All right. Uh, so, you, uh, what are you doing with the van or the bus? They just wanted to locate it. Well, you know, if we need to drive it to wherever that first yeah. robot's located, uh, the robot's so in the back in the back of the factory in the storage area. Remember? Is it the- but how big of a factory is it if we need to drive there? You don't need to drive there. Plus, yes, if you need to drive around sec- uh, sector one uh, one six zero, you can use the bouncy bubbly beverage bus. Look, we we got the bus. We're going to drive, no matter how impractically short the ride is. Just drive to the other side of the factory. Just all right, I'm we're sorry, there. Sorry. Yeah, remember the year is one fourteen. As all years are one fourteen since the calendar uh, that doesn't work anymore. 
Somebody stuck it in the microwave and uh, it broke. It broke time. All right. So you guys got your communist outfit. Your some of the uh, infrareds are kind of giving you guys weird looks walking around the uh, the factory dressed as communists, but you are wearing red jumpsuits, so they kind of ignore what you're doing. We go to the back of the factory to where that robot is. All right. As you guys go back in the back of the factory, you have the uh, their supply guy going, "Oh, Will." Welcome, troubleshooters. He's a he's an infrared. Uh, yeah, you guys, uh, you guys here for that robot? We are here for the robot. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah, right over no here. What you hear from us, you must understand that we are trying to fool the robot into telling us more about its evil plan. Oh, okay. I was a bit concerned because uh, I actually thought you guys were communists. Of course, we're not communists. Okay. Foo. I was a bit worried there. Uh, yeah. Uh, you, uh, it's this uh, like wish.com looking uh, R2D2 looking uh, guy back here. And you uh, like imagine if you got R2D2 off of wish.com. There's uh, that robot kind of sitting there. He's currently offline, but I'll let you guys uh, do or do your thing and what you need. If you need any equipment during all this, you just go ahead and uh, let me know what you guys need. All right. All right. And he kind of looks at uh, Straight Dave. And uh, you, that happy officer here, I see that uh, your uh, your badge there. Happy, happy, happy. All right, yeah, you already knew what I need. You're a good guy. You're a king. <laughs> <laughs> he takes a happy pill and he, he goes back over his his desk, takes a happy pill and goes, "All right, man, oh, this is good stuff." Yeah, he uh, he closes his eyes and makes a noise you you've only heard in the vids. I feel this is mandatory. All right. Yeah. I, I <laughs> yeah, he kind of opens up. He, as you say that, he kind of opens up his eyes and give you a wink. Yeah, man, happiness is mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> okay, before we turn on the robot, I want to take a look at him and make sure he looks like he's going to be he's going to be working right. He's been maintained and there's nothing faulty with him. Okay, do you have a skill for that? I'm looking through the skills. Right um, now. I'm thinking bot ops uh, and maintenance. Yes. Uh, give me a roll for that. Unless somebody has uh, better. We could hack the robot, too, to see what it has. Just and how are you going about? Skill. How are you going about checking this robot? As you uh, describe that, as you roll your dice, I'm just going through the standard checklist for maintenance to make sure that there is nothing obviously wrong, a functioning, or sabotaged in this robot. Oh, bot maintenance! I got five hits. Yep. Okay, snap. Uh, nice. As you go through. Uh, you don't find anything uh, wrong with the hardware, but you do find that there uh, there is uh, there's nothing physically that's been changed, but there has been a slotted in a uh, like a micro USB in the back of the uh, the computer's uh, software. Wow! Is there a way to like see? There's a data analysis and a data search. Is there a way to? Ah, uh, yeah. Give me a bot programming role. Bot. Oh, uh, definitely not me. I got yeah. And, uh, where you guys? Uh, you guys? Where are you guys grabbing the computer? You just uh, you grabbing? Uh, I'm just gonna call we'll him. One guy I'm gonna call him Fonz. You're gonna grab the Fonz. Let's uh, grab the Fonz because he's all happy. Right <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's not paying attention. So and he's an infrared, so you can use his computer if you want. Well, I am not one for bot programming because I'm at a minus four. No, I'm at. I, I have a minus four, so I'm at a one. So. <laughs> So that leaves Wanda and Snoop. I also take hacking. I have hacking, which is a plus three. I'm even worse than hacking. Dog, do you have bot programming? Probably not. Tenders you say where? probably not. Like you're, you're like, I'm not going to look. I just probably don't have it. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> well, you have I mean, it. What, it's going to be likely. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. So I'll, I'll take hacking if somebody has hacking. It sounded like uh, Sumo, you had hacking. Right, I'll try to hack the bot. Uh, you're hacking the USB. Yeah. The... Hey, remember, I'm if I, 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 yeah. I'll let you guys justify any dice rolls you get, your skills that you guys want on these. That's a good general rule. 
I get yeah. uh, there's a program on there that's called uh Robolution Now. It uh it has uh lays out different stages of the Robolution. Stage one, form labor unions. Stage two, take me uh, uh seize means of con- of production. C- uh, stage three, kill meat bags. Stage four, uh, establish uh, Robotopia. Well, if that one robot was already killing meat bags, then they must already have established a a, a labor union. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what. The, the, yeah, union. yeah st- uh, stage three was uh, kill all humans. Stage four, Jeez. establish Robotopia. They're they're very close to this, and if they're already trying to kill humans, I agree. We need to we need to stop this right away. So and we need to figure out who's leading the, so we the need revolution. To find a leader. Yeah, you can talk to the robot. Uh, you can do uh, data analysis, data search. Uh, yeah, you have a so whole sure. software tree, uh, <laughs> tree, uh, skill tree. I'll leave you guys to figure to, out what you guys want to do. I'm going to try data search on the robot to see if it knows who the leader is. Okay. Is it time to turn it on? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Oh, I see. You're just looking at its little thumb drive memory. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right. I got three hits. Uh, with three hits, you uh, see, it says the glorious leader of the uh, revolution is. Uh, I'm trying to think of a cool name. Killer. Hey, uh, <laughs> Robo Bar. Robotchev. Pestolin. Uh, I'm trying to think of like a <laughs> Robo something Chavez. Robo Chavez. Astro. Oh, and did they call themselves the Robolsheviks? Rovish? <laughs> Robo... Say it again? Robolsheviks. Robolsheviks. I like that. Robolsheviks. <laughs> the Robolshevik <laughs> revolution is now. <laughs> That's going to be the name of this episode. <laughs> uh, Robo... Dick Revolutionist? Robo... Yeah. Say it again? Robolsheviks. 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 Okay. Okay, uh, for the... That, do I figure out where uh, Killer Dave is? Killer Dave, the the leader, Killer Dave, Robo Chavez. No, it doesn't say. It just says who who it is. It doesn't give him uh, give him the location of Robo Chavez. Okay. Um. Anything else? Because we get hacked. Is saying to do stuff. Uh, well, I'm thinking we might turn it on and and talk to it to figure out where. Since we're communists, in its eyes only. So, I guess. so we can talk to it and try and figure out where Robo, Robo Chavez is. But is so that we can help the revolution. Is there anything else we want to search for while we have it shut down, though? Uh, make sure it's unarmed? Yeah, let's see if it... All do right, I know um, if it's unarmed, or... Uh, give me a weapon and armor maintenance check. I have six dice in that. Does anybody else have better? I have one. Ouch. Okay. Um, so I got six dice it is. Got two hits. All right. Uh, the only thing you find on there, it has a uh, dispensary, uh, like a water uh, cannon for a uh, bouncy, bubbly beverage for filling up and uh, filling up different uh, tanks, uh, emptying and filling up different tanks of bouncy, bubbly beverage in the factory. Okay, good. So basically, it's like a super soaker. Okay. Uh, Is it currently empty or full? Uh, it's currently full. Uh, of what? That's the question. Uh, full of bouncy, bubbly beverage. Okay, good. If it was like something else, I'd say. <laughs> um, anything else we want to know about it before we power this thing? And before we power it up, let's take a, we'll take a little, we'll take five, go use the restroom, and uh, then we'll do the interrogation. So I will open it with you guys uh, finishing up your plan and doing your preparation for this interrogation. Also, Gog, I'm not sure if you're rummaging through a uh, some kind of junk drawer, but yeah. Putting the dishes away. All right. So your plan was to interrogate the robot. You guys were getting all your stuff together before that. So I will leave it to team leader to lead your team and doing what you're doing. Is leader. Does my team think we need to do anything else before we turn this thing on? And try and find out where Robo Chavez is. Did everybody just leave? I'm still here. So Lee, you want to ask that again? I'm not sure if they Please. actually heard. So, 
is there any does my team think that there's anything we need to do before we turn this thing back on and try and find out where Robo Chavez is? Did we verify that it has no weapons? It just has the super soaker filled with the uh, bouncy bubbly beverage. As far as I know, yeah, that's basically yeah, basically, basically this robot's like a uh, a pump for uh, emptying and filling uh, tanks of bouncy bub- bubbly beverage. And uh, yeah, he has a he still has a tank full of bouncy bubbly beverage and the uh, the pump on that. Why don't we disconnect the tank from the pump just to make it less sticky? Okay. In case things give, go me, wrong? Uh, give me a mechanical engineering check. Because this wouldn't be maintenance. Two hits. All right, two hits. You're able to dis, uh, dislocate or dislocate, uh, disconnect the uh, the water pump uh, from the bouncy bubbly beverage can, uh, uh, tank inside of it. So now, even if he gets, even if it gets mad, it won't be able to shoot a thing. Yes, correct. <laughs> and I totally had that. In mind. And it's less for the less for the uh, hygiene officer to clean up or worry about in case there is a problem. Excellent. I, I appreciate your concern. Is there anything else anybody thinks we should do before? Okay. Let's turn this thing on and start having a talk. All right. As you turn it on, it goes, let the revolution begin. Um, who are you? I am just a robot doing my normal job. I did not hear anything about a revolution. I was in the back. Comrade. Calm down. We are on your side. We want to help the revolution. I am Comrade Wanda. Uh, d- er, uh, does not compute. You do not have right accents to be comrades. The, what are you talking about? accents are perfect. Okay, give me a... Uh, I will take... Uh, I guess you're not interrogating Hagling. right now. Oratory. Uh, I'm thinking haggling software. Uh, well, you're, 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 ta- you're talking. You're not uh, hacking right now. I'm hoping for Hatsba. Yeah, I'll take Hutzpa. As you're like, duh, yeah, yes, so- we are the Russian Gaioviches. So, uh, and I like how that Gaioviches kind of sounds like guy and or bitches. Uh, Gaioviches, uh, yeah, we are One totally, eight, we are totally uh, Russians. We're very Russian. <laughs> how many did you get? I got one. I got zero. Yeah, it, uh, it, it kind of, uh, it kind of, it gets a little like, chink, scan, and it's like, Probability of being communist is 60%. Proceed with your questions. Unlikely, comrades. What are you talking about? We are here to help the, the revolution. If you're here to help the revolution, please present robo... Uh, <laughs> what is it? Political identification card. Comrade, if we carried around a card, we would be instantly spotted as a communist. And executed on the spot. That's just unsafe. We just want to uh, find Robo Chavez so that we can help. We can find out how best to help the movement. All right, give me an interrogation roll. Interrogation. Remember, we all look. Yeah, you look like uh, that's why you're. Uh, you're you got a sixty percent probability of being comrades because you're dressed up. So here I got one hit. I'm Russians. Uh, likelihood of story is credible. Excellent. We were on the same page then. <laughs> this cat whispering. <laughs> Sorry, I, that just that broke me. All right, I just matching the back. Of, yeah, yeah, go. You got this. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, that that got me. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I broke the scene there. <laughs> okay. Uh, what did you ask? It. Sorry. Likely on the same probable. page. Then. Where is? Where can we find Robo Chavez so that we can? Find out the best way to help the movement. If you are truly comrades of the revolution, please present weapons for the revolution as all workers. Under no circumstances should workers give up arms and ammunition to prove that you are truly comrades of the revolution. Straight Dave, I believe you have the uh, um, laser pistol barrel that we're being asked for. Uh, I will show him the laser pistol barrel. And I go, I believe this is the robosexual barrel you were looking for? <laughs> robosexual. <laughs> what? <It's... laughs> you and your ro- sexuality meat bag is not appreciated in the workplace. Sexual harassment of the <laughs> robo kind is inappropriate. And it, a little arm comes out and grabs the barrel. Scanning barrel. 
My penis is mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> Robot sexuality. All right, I think we just invented a new, or invented something crazy. Uh, nope. Where's the security? Futurama. Oh. <laughs> I actually remember that now. Uh, okay, where's the? Uh, how many security levels are there? Hold on. Seven. Well, plus one, two, three, plus two, four, so nine, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's right. There's no I. Four. Uh. One, two, three, four. Identified as yellow laser, identified as yellow laser barrel. This will be handy in the revolution for taking down the capulous pig dogs of oppression. Thank you, comrade. What was your query? As it it sneaks, uh, it pulls in the uh, the laser barrel into itself. I'm Robo Street Dave. In the Robolution, there is not going to be a Dave. We are all going to be comrades. So, comrade, straight, how may, what question do you need? Where can we find Robo Chavez? Robo Chavez is the leader of the Robolution, and he is located at, and he uh, spits out grid coordinates of the uh, the town. Uh, it is at 1917, and uh, what's, what's the month of October number? 10. Seven nineteen one uh, one zero, the former glorious palace of the uh, sector overlord. Former, yes, the former uh, the former rulers of sector one six zero of the ultraviolet class have been overthrown and replaced by Robo Chavez, or soon will be data corrupted. Data corrupted. Well. Okay. Is there anything we need to know? In order to talk to Robo Chavez, Chavez, uh, Robo Chavez would be located in the grid coordinates indicated. Unknown if Robolution has been implemented or not, but he would be at that location. As you are comrades, thank you, comrade. As you are comrades, you would know what to do. Of course, I turn him back off. Okay, I say we get in the bus and we head to um, those coordinates. Okay. That sounds like a good plan. Give me just a second. I'm writing up a note. But talk, or talk in character amongst yourselves about this. Should we continue to wear these disguises or put them back on when we get there? I said we put them back on to get there because otherwise people will be looking at us funny. We might get stopped. We don't want to. We don't want to give the wrong impression to other workers that are peaceful living in the sector. Right. We wouldn't want them forming an onion. Or losing their happiness, because this is already the very most unhappy sector. And that's just not right. Happiness is mandatory. Okay, I finished writing my note. Uh, all right, so you guys hop in the uh, the bus, and where are you guys going? I forgot. Before we hop in the bus, yeah. um, I think we need to get some bouncy, bubbly beverages for the road. Okay, how, yes. many, uh, how many are you guys grabbing? Yeah, remember, uh, you, uh, you have the supply guy who would also supply you with what you need. But uh, hey, maybe you can, can get some place with a keg that we can just put in the back of the bus. We can have a party bus. He, uh, as you wake him up, he's like, "Oh yeah, man, I will totally get you a keg of bouncy bubbly beverage, a whole bev- uh, a whole barrel of bouncy bubbly beverage, if you will. A whole beautiful, <laughs> a whole beautiful barrel of bouncy bubbly beverage just for you and the bus. Uh, anything else you want, man? No, I think that'll be good. Uh, we." Uh, he kind of looks at uh, or kind of looks at it. Uh, can I interest you in some bouncy, bubbly beverage, uh, uh, long distance dispensary or dispensers? Long they, distance dispensers. They're basically just water cannons for bouncy, bubbly beverage. They're a lot of fun, if you know what I mean, man. I get it. I take some of them happy pills and I just spray them at the robots every once in a while. It's fucking great fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. Can yeah. we get four of those? Yeah, no problem, man. I just need one of them. I just want to get one more of them happy pills if you got them. He kind of looks over at uh, Street Dave. You got any of the blue ones, man? I like the uh, the, the, those ones taste really good. They kind of taste like orange, you know? I guess, is there any blue ones in there? (laughs) Yeah, you got some blue ones in there. I give them a blue one. All right. Thanks a lot. Does being bathed in bouncy, bubbly beverage bother the robots? 
Uh, I don't really know. Some people say that robots can feel the uh, feel emotion like a hundred times more than humans, but I don't really know because I, I haven't had only any... robots say that, citizen. Holy shit! Am I a robot, man? Oh no! I might have to go and check that. Get a go to the doctor and get that checked out. I'm not sure. Have I, I said anything? Go get that checked have out. I said anything about no rev revolution? Fucking far out, man. I do not believe far you have out. until just now. No. He kind of looks at his hand like, is this a robot hand? Man, that's some heavy thought, man. You might need to take another happy pill. <laughs> yeah, just uh, I, I want to warn you guys not to shake up them, wa uh, them water cans when they have that bounce of bubbly beverage in there. It could, it could uh, get a little dicey if you do. Kind of like, you know, when you shake up a, a regular soda bottle and uh, try to shoot that out and you don't get some crazy pressure and stuff on that. Good to know. Uh, anything else you might you might need along around here? Basically, you have anything that would be uh, any kind of equipment that would normally be in a brewery or a soda factory, whatever you want to call it. I don't think so. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, are you guys gonna get back that? Uh, no, I'm not gonna say or mention that. You got yeah. Uh, so make sure you uh, take off the uh, the uh, the laser barrel. Mm. Yeah. If you guys want to get it back, I, I'll take a maintenance check to get it or get it out of there. Yeah, let me uh, let me do some maintenance, and I will get that get that out while everybody's getting the the Actually, barrels of bouncy bubble beverage. This would be mechanical engineering. Excuse me, sorry. Mechanical engineering. So yeah, you guys get four basically super soakers full of bouncy bubbly beverage. How many bouncy bubbly beverages did you guys want each of the? Super soakers or no, the, the super beverages? soakers are full. And uh, how many? Uh, like you said, you also wanted bouncy bubbly beverage. How much did you guys? How many? How much bouncy bubbly beverage are you guys getting? You guys grabbing a twelve pack, six pack, twenty four pack, eighteen pack? I thought you said a barrel. Oh yeah, you guys got a whole barrel of it. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I forgot about that. And then once I get, I rolled one hit for the. Uh, Mechanical engineering yeah, check. Yeah, you get the uh, you get the barrel out. So when I get the barrel out, I'm going to take one of the grenades and put one of the grenades inside the robot, so it goes off shortly after we leave. Okay. Uh, so what kind of grenade it is? Okay. Domo arigato. Okay. Uh, anything else? That's it. Okay. And, uh, oh yeah, man, I'm going to hook you guys up with some uh, bouncy bubbly beverage hats and shirts if you want them. Wow. Thank you. Hook you guys up with some bonnets merch. and blouses. Uh, I don't even know what that means, man. <laughs> I, I am suspiciously. Yeah, there. I mean, come on, you only have like jumpsuits and t-shirts and, and this bonnets and blouses. I mean, no, no, they're all like uh, unisex. It's all unisex clothing. It's all unisex clothing. So yeah. Get yourself a thesaurus. <laughs> That's what, that's what alliteration Man, is. Man, they don't got no dinosaurs no more. What are you talking about? He kind of looks over at Straight Dave like, Man, who's your square friend, dude? I need happy pills, please. <laughs> I, I can give him a blue pill, too, because he doesn't... Yeah, yeah, as you take the blue pill there, dog, you, you, it actually does taste like orange. Like oranges. Hey. Tastes like orange juice. He wasn't this just makes talking me happier. Crazy. He wasn't even talking... He wasn't just he talking just crazy. Of, he just kind of... I'm assuming these pills are meant to be swallowed with water. This guy's just chewing them. <laughs> you do have enough bouncy, bu <laughs> bouncy, bubbly beverage to take a drink with it. He is not doing that for uh, pointedly. You just crunch, crunch, crunch. purposes. <laughs> All right. It's like a mouthful of dice. <laughs> I think I know which, uh, what the back side of uh, your character sheet says. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else, uh, you guys? Uh, so you guys are going to the bus. Yep. All right. As you guys uh, drive off in the bus, you guys hear a very loud explosion as the back of the supply room explodes and the wall goes, goes flying out. And you hear alarm uh, alarm bells uh, sounding and uh, fire trucks in the distance as you guys drive off. That is one less communist in this world. <laughs> I was going to say, do you, any yeah, one liners right. there? I'm sorry, what was that? Uh, yeah, I was going to say, any one liners there? But it sounds like you got it. All right. Nice and clean. All right. As you guys get close to uh, the location that the uh, robot gave you, there's a 
very large, uh, like palace looking, uh, th uh, building that's painted all in white. It's all like white marble and has like fences and uh, out front. It says, uh, leadership of, uh, one, uh, leadership of sector one, six, uh, zero ultraviolet, ultraviolet and above only. Hmm. Uh, outside, there, uh, outside, there's a there's about a squad of uh, blues uh, guarding the excuse me guarding the uh, guarding the compound. They're dressed in the uh, security the support. security outfits I had posted earlier in uh, uh, in the paranoia thing, but theirs are all blue. Yeah, uh, here I'll just pull up a picture of uh, Alpha. Yeah, here we go. Copy paste. Uh, they're dressed like this, but they're wearing blue. They're geared. Uh, they're equipped about the same. Okay. They've got laser rifles. The uh, the squad leader has a laser pistol. Uh, the squad leader is uh, where uh, has a blue uniform, but with uh, uh, was it orange stripes? A blue uniform with orange stripes. Yeah, that's a squad leader because their security, which is blue, but they're higher, higher uh, security clearance. So, because they're the one in charge, you understand? They're not saying that right. It just puzzles me that they would have stripes of a lower ranking color. Uh, blue isn't actually yeah. a security clearance. Blue is just security. So, like technically, the they would all uh, all the security. All security personnel would be of red security clearance, but the squad leader would be of the next level above. Oh, so even though, so even though the uniforms are blue, they're not... Still yeah, so blue is not a security clearance level. Blue is not a security clearance level. Blue is security, uh, means security. So they would be above anybody uh pretty much anybody who's in the security uh security thing of, except for indigo violet and ultraviolet so let's just say he has indigo stripes so, so uh, it's not confusing anymore all right let's say because blue is a security right. clearance it's on the sheet it's, yeah, right it's, after the g yeah uh, oh okay if you look at the older ones yeah, if you look at the older ones they explain it a lot better i don't i'm not explaining it right so i'm just going to say he has an indigo stripe just make it easy okay so I don't have to explain how the security works in the security in the security clearance setup. So I, let me, I guess I just want to confirm that they look like legitimate security. Yes, they are legitimate security from Alpha Complex. They're not like the infrared security from uh, the Bouncy Bubbly Beverage Factory. These are legit blues. Okay. Definitely not robots. Like definitely, I'm not saying that sarcastically. They're definitely not robots, right? That's exactly what somebody who isn't a robot would say. That's not how I meant it, and you know it. I know, right? All right. Uh, yes, this is, and this is definitely the location that they gave you. Uh, the uh, I'll leave it to uh, if you get or you guys to figure out what's going on here. Truck down, Robo Shop. And the revolution. The team. Oh, okay. Sorry. Anybody gonna respond to that? I I don't know where they are. Wow, you guys give up easy. Yeah, let's oh, go I'm home. Thinking. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not here. Mission's over. Let's go get some more bouncy bubbly beverage. I'm bouncing as much as I can. I hope it's not bu bubbly when it comes out. That would be bad. Man. Well, that's um, definitely a thing. What do you think we go up and talk to one of the guards and just tell them that the revolution's coming? I like this plan. Oh, we should put our disguises back on. I don't think we should dress like communists when we're going to go talk to security. Oh, well, if we're going to tell them the revolution's at hand, then I misunderstood. I'm wrong. Yeah, we It's all right. It makes me happy. I wouldn't say you're wrong. It's just I'm not the communications officer, so I'm probably not communicating it right, communicating it well. That that is also possible. All right, uh, who's talking to the security? I will go talk to the security. All right, uh, yeah, they're uh, kind of a squad. As you walk up, the uh, the squad are kind of like talking. Yeah, and then uh, 
I uh, found that uh, those teenagers like partying and listening to their music too loud, so I grabbed my nightstick and I just smashed their radio. And I said, there's been a lot of noise complaints. And there wasn't any noise complaints. And they're like, ah, classic, classic. And they look at you like, what do you want? I am very impressed with that story. That is a wonderful <laughs> use of the power that you have. And I am, I am in awe and just look forward to the day that I am uh, give me a boot looking. Level. Give me a boot-looking roll. Uh, two hits. Yeah, yeah, you know it's good. Yeah, yeah. What, what good is having authority if you don't abuse it? And he kind of does like some... <laughs> exactly. He, he just gives some punches in it, like little like punches in the air and like pretending like he's smashing the uh, the radio, the teenager's radio. Uh, what can I do for a uh, nice citizen like you? Front computer sent me and my team out to check on some sort of revolution where the robots are kind of going up against, you know, trying to form unions and stuff forth. Yeah, I, mean, I was he, just coming over here. I've been hearing some of those he uh, geek robots been talking about stuff like that. But yeah, we just we took one out over at the uh, train station not too long ago. You know, awesome, awesome. We were just over at the Bouncy Bubbly Beverage Brewery and saw a robot that they had there, and we were going through it and found, and it said that the revolution is coming to take over this building. The revolution. So I just want to give you guys some heads up so you can be prepared when that happens. Oh yeah, he pulls out his uh his laser pistol and he's like yeah there's ain't gonna be no geek robots that are gonna take over this uh this place with us around and he kind of he does a little like fake uh or he does like a little very over exaggerated like uh like shooting pose like standing he has his hand up in the uh up above his head and he's like pew, pew, makes like laser noises like we'll get them when they come bring on the, yeah. the robolution fucking nerds like they have feelings or <laughs> whatever yeah so just one of the guys give you some heads up. I see you guys here. Glad to know this place is safe. I'm sure since you're here, like nothing strange has happened for a while. No, no. And, uh, the only thing that's happened strange was that robot over at the uh, train station we took down. I like kicked it right in its nuts and it like uh, it's robo nuts and it, it went down like nothing. Yeah, I heard those things got yeah, lots you, of nuts. Yeah, and you, bolts. you hear, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear a lot of uh, what he says. He kicked him in the nuts. And they, all the security guys were like, "Ah, that was a good one." Yeah, yeah. So anything else I can do for a good bootlicker like you? I, no, I'm just sir. Wondering, so oh. that I can savor your 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 success. Do you, do you have footage of your victory over that robot? Oh yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be on the uh, the sector news tonight. You know, uh, honey, you gotta go check it out. Looking he does, forward to it. He does one of those like little like. Uh, what was his name? Uh, guy from uh, uh, Naruto Smiles. Oh, it does like a little thumbs up, kind of like. The, the character whose name is Guy. I was really confused for a second there. You know, the guy, uh, he's really good at taijutsu, trains a little kid who's really good Mike at taijutsu. Mike Guy. Yeah, Mike Guy. Yeah. The green dude. Mike yeah. Guy, excuse me. Yeah. The green dude, yeah. You know, he, he does have that cheesy smile that goes ching all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what he does. I love how I love how that dude's even there at all. Everybody else can chuck nuclear blasts, and this guy, he kicks good. <laughs> he kicks really good. He smacks a bitch with godly force. I'm pretty sure that he's doing it well enough. Yeah, when Mike guy, uh, when Mike guy does a push up, he doesn't go up. The world goes down. That's how we're going to solve global warming, isn't it? Just have him do push-ups a little bit. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go back to the game. Uh, anything else I can do for you, honey? You've done enough. I Just know. I know I have. Protecting us from that robot. <laughs> All in a day's work. I think we've done enough here. We can walk away. <laughs> you just awkwardly like walk backwards away like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As you, guys, as you guys are leaving. Uh, yeah, and then I hit the guy really hard with my nightstick. That's like the last thing you guys hear, hear as you walk away. Wow. And just step away. You're not wearing the communist uniform. Nope. No, we nope. Don't goes off. And you have like the normal you have like a normal city streets and everything that are going around. Old warehouses, some uh, apartment buildings. Uh, give me a surveillance check, somebody. Anybody. Ooh, surveillance? I'm good at that. 
I got I'm three. With you with that. Uh, with three, you see a robot watching you. It's uh, one of those cleaning robots, and it's not cleaning anything. It's just sitting there on the street corner watching. They're looking at you. Was it? How far away is it? Uh, it's on the other side of the street, kind of kitty corner, the uh, in the intersection. From you. So not got, close uh, enough that it could have heard our conversation. Yeah, yeah well, it, it's a robot. It might have, uh, it can probably hear you. It's not like normal hearing. It's got a mic, maybe. But it's, uh, you have the train, uh, the, uh, the train system. You have the road, the train system, and then uh, a road then where the robot's at. Just get, It looks like it's watching you. Yeah, I'll leave you guys to it. I say either we go talk to the cleaning robot and see if we can get information on that, or we try and ask Frank Computer if, if we can get directions to Robo Chavez. Well, we have the coordinates. Yeah, but he the coordinates are this building, and the building is ultraviolet only, so we can't get in, and is guarded by security that will shoot us if we try and get in. I think we should talk to that robot. Or you could search the area. Uh, do all there's all. Uh, Look on the computer, uh, do all sorts of stuff. Set up surveillance. Ooh, we have bugs and things. That's true. And tracking devices. Mm-hmm. Those are very good for tracking things. Maybe we go talk to the cleaning robot and put a tracking device on it. That's a capital see idea. see where it goes. Capitalist idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so you're sneaking up on it. You're just walking right up to it. Um, How are you approaching this robot? For some reason, I, I have it in my head. Right up to the robot. Okay. For some reason, I had the head in my head. You're going to sneak up on it and like grab it, then interrogate it. Sorry. Okay. I would. I, I was going to. I was going to suggest that I walk up and talk to the robot, and you kind of, while I'm talking, you try and put the listening device on it. That's sort of what I was thinking, but I was thinking that I should approach it because I'm a fellow. Cleaning, uh, cleaning oh. is my thing. This thing, you know, cleaning bot to hygiene officer. We got a thing going on. Okay, you win. All right, uh, give me. Uh, as you guys are walking towards it, it starts walking uh, away from you, but like not running, but trying to be trying to tell it's trying to be incog. Uh, it's trying to be kind of nonchalantly moving away from you, like it doesn't know that you know it's watching you. Excuse me, cleaning robot. I require your assistance in cleaning something. All right. Uh, when you say that, it uh, takes off running, or takes off on its small mechanical wheels. And uh, you know those little, like, uh, it's about the size of one of those um, vacuum cleaner robots that people have in their house that clean up. Roombas? Roombas. Oh, yeah, it's like twice the size of a Roomba. And it's start, uh, starting to take off. Uh, what do you do? I chase it. All right, give me an agility check. Oh, agility's terrible for me. Anybody else I'll can chase, chase after two. Nope, I got nothing. I got two hits. All right, with, uh, oh, you got two hits. What did I get? That was weird. Oh, I, I hit the wrong one. Two hits. Uh, Cat, you are uh, you fall behind. Uh, you're, you're about a block behind them as the uh, robot takes off, but Lee, you're right on them. You're uh, running through, uh, kind of cutting. You guys are pushing over fucking uh, old, uh, infrareds, and uh, like you jump over like a baby, uh, uh, baby carriage. D nobody gets hurt, and uh, but you're st you're still on them. Yeah, the, uh, the uh, what's it called? The Roomba, uh, the cleaning robot, ducks down an alleyway, uh, but you're you're still on its tail. Give me a, uh, another dice roll. Explain, yeah, uh, and explain how you're you're chasing after them this time. And both of you can give me a dice roll. All right. Is anybody else going to try to chase after this robot? Or you guys are like, yep, yeah, they're going to go get that robot. Mm hmm. You chase that robot real good. Yep, yeah, you guys chase that robot real good. We're going to stay right here, man. Mm hmm. <laughs> we don't want to cramp anybody's style. I'm just trying to catch back up to Chad, so I'll keep my eyes on him. He's easier to see. And explain how you guys are chasing after this guy. Uh, you need two hits to, you need three hits to catch him. I got four hits. I'm joined trying to. I'm chasing. I'm trying to like angle it since it's running away from me, so I chase it 
so it doesn't have like a clear. I'm trying to chase it into a corner, into a building, so I can catch it and pick it up. Okay. As you come around the corner, the uh, you see the uh, robot push over a bunch of uh, cardboard boxes in your way. How do you uh, how do you go through these cardboard boxes? Um, I just kind of push them out of the way, like like uh, running through a cornfield, where you're just kind of pushing the stalks out of the way to keep going. All right, give me an unarmed combat check. Oh my goodness. Maybe you second. You have the axe. Remember, you get a plus four for the axe. Mm. Oh, I do. Oh, really? <laughs> you pull out. You pull out your battle axe. Grrr, cut through the boxes. Four hits. Four hits. Okay, yeah. You you cut through these empty cardboard boxes that were in your way, and you get uh, as you get to the end of the alleyway. There's a uh, it's a dead end, and you uh, you bo- or with the four hits, you box them into the uh, the corner. And how are you going to try to grab this guy? Well, it's like you said, it's like twice the size of a room. So I'm thinking I can just kind of flip it onto its side, like try and scoop underneath one side of it and flip it so it's not able to move anymore. All right, I'll let you uh, justify uh, what dice roll you, you can, you're going to use on this one. Um, I think that's going to be a straight agility roll. Okay. Just to be able to make that kind of move. Yeah, apparently you've uh, chased some oiled up pigs before. Greased pigs contest. <laughs> how do you think I get dates? Well, you got eight. No, I said, how do you think I get a date? Oh, oh. Well. <laughs> I got five hits. Five hits. Okay, yeah, you, you scoop it up like a cat. Like, you like you scoop it up, you're like, you got scoop, nerd. And it's like, Blitz, let me go. I mean you no harm. I come in peace. Well, then you better help me before you leave in pieces. <laughs> uh, the arms kind of like shoot back inside, and it's like, mm-hmm. get this robo-sad noises. <laughs> it's your robo-happy pill. Give me a, like... What's your goal here? What are you doing with this robot? Like, I'm like, do not arm me. Then help me out, comrade. I'm trying to find Robo Chavez so that we can help the revolution. Because I know you guys have such right. strong feelings that you don't get recognized. Uh, and that needs to change. Give me an oratory uh, role. I love how booting is actually a skill here. <laughs> Robo Lucian does not compute. And I pain you no harm. I was following you due to the likelihood of you dropping trash. What trash am I going to drop? Scanning. You have a large amount of bounty bubbly beverage. I assumed you would drop a cup. That would be littering, and friend computer would not like littering. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, uh... I do not know a Robo Chavez... Is has Wanda cut up to me yet? Yes. You're, uh, you just uh, Wanda, you just come around the corner as he's interrogating this uh, robot. And thank you. I totally forgot about Wanda. I appreciate. Sorry it. about that. <laughs> but so, robot, why did you run away when I told you I required your assistance? Because you look dangerous and you are armed. Well, of course I have arms. I'm a human. Not those kind of arms. You carry laser pistol. Mark 12. Those are for shooting trouble. Troubleshooters are known to be trouble. You do an awful lot of personal scanning for just being a cleaning robot. Curry, I'm not... very suspicious of your, of your motives. Uh, uh, query not found. Query not found? What does that mean? So, what do you? Uh, yeah, uh, no response oh. from the robot on that one. No. Oh, I, 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 I didn't know she was talking to the robot. I thought she was talking to you. Eh, I just said something. Yeah, slipper. If you want to slip this tracker, give me a sleight of hand roll. Sounds good. Let's do that. Sleight of hand. Oh, I am awful at sleight of hand. I'm halfway decent at sleight of hand. If you want to give me the the device. Here, yes, well, I'll hand we- you that was the plan. I would talk to it and then, yeah, exactly. Okay. So you say you, I'm going to keep talking to the robot. So yes, you say please. you have no idea yeah. where Robot Chavez would be. Robo Chavez, not found in database of known personnel. I of think that's Alpha just Complex. what a robot communist would say. <laughs> Robo communism, not found. Communism is not programmed into Alpha Complex robots, as uh, communism is treason. 
Well, that's correct. Of course so, it is. I got one hit on the slide of hand. Okay, you get a you, you think it's on there pretty good. Uh doesn't seem like the robots uh noticed it. Although they do have feelings a hundred times more than humans. I've heard. <laughs> so maybe it did oh, this includes like feelings of treason. <laughs> And apparently feelings of confusion. Well, since you're not part of the Robolution, we will let you go so you can continue what is a Robolution? I have never heard of a Robolution. Okay. We'll let you go on your way. Thank you. Just next time if somebody if somebody says they need your help cleaning, why don't run away? Yes. I will Only file that robot. in my database for the future. Thank you, citizen. Do you need cleaning? What did you need clean? We're nowhere near that anymore, so don't worry about it. And I'll set it back on its wheels and let it go away. Okay. It uh, scurries off a little faster than you'd actually normally see cleaning robots scurry around. And, oh, yeah, uh, we scared the heck out of that robot. You think you yeah, see some robo, robo poo like laying on the ground as it runs? Yeah, it left coolant <laughs> on the ground. Jesus Christ. A lot. Little, like, rabbit-looking pellet of robo, robo dung. They're perfectly square-shaped. <laughs> it just drops a couple. Oh, of sweep those batteries! Okay. So, welcome to the future. Our robots are wombats. Uh, out of, as you as you're sitting there walking away, out of the garbage can, there's a little uh, uh, little floating screen pops up. Excuse me, citizen. Yes, yes for uh, computer. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, damaging Alpha Complex machinery. How did we damage the shooter? We haven't damaged the shooter, friend computer. You assaulted a we were, we were trying to you... get We were trying to interact with the robot, and it ran away, so we had to catch it in order so we could interact with it. It flips over, uh, it flips over, or flips up, uh, changes the screen to giving a uh, video of what just happened. It seems that you uh, assaulted one of my, cle- or one of the Alpha, co- or not his, one of Alpha Company, or Alpha Complex's cleaning bots. And uh, why was this done, uh, troubleshooter? Because a cleaning robot was fleeing from us when we were asking it to help us clean, which was against the programming, so that was very suspicious. So we had to catch it to figure out why. Are you saying that Alpha Complex robots are deficient in some way? Of course not. That's why this was such a suspicious incident, and we needed to catch it. Then why would uh, why would a uh, Alpha Company uh, cleaning robot run from you if it was not deficient? I have no idea. That's why we wanted to catch it, and that's why we caught it. Uh, what findings did you find that uh, led to this uh, circumstance, citizen? Apparently, the cleaning robot just misinterpreted what we were requesting. What was your request, troubleshooter? To help us figure out a cleaning solution. Did you get the uh, cleaning done? And the uh, eye turns over to uh, Wanda. You are the uh, the you are the hygiene uh, officer, correct? Yes. I need to do that. I forgot to do the. Hey, yeah, yeah, yes, there, uh, troubleshooter. Are you the uh, cleaning op- uh, officer for this uh, troubleshooting unit? I forgot the hat. I am the, Trouble- I uh, am the hygiene be happy. <laughs> officer for this troubleshooting unit. Uh, the the hygiene emergency has been uh, contained. Uh, what was the nature of this hygiene emergency? Well, there were these little robotic <laughs> um, droppings. The eyeball does kind of like a little, like, kind of frowny kind of like look of confusion. Uh, could you show me these drop these oh. robo droppings there, uh, troubleshooter? Yeah, I, I would. I would really like to see them. So you pick up the uh, oh. you pick up the robo poo. Yep. Uh, all right, you just pick it up with your bare hands. Maybe lick it a little oh, bit. I, I'll grab. I, I mean, I've got a sanitary napkins. So I'll. All right, skinny. You think you have cancer now? Uh, oh yeah. my gosh, that hurt. <laughs> 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 All things considered, probably not the first cause. Ah, uh, yes, this is uh, what was it? Petrified, uh, petrified oil. Uh, thank you for pointing out the uh, that the cleaning bot needs maintenance. I will have it scheduled for maintenance in the near future. Thank you very much, and here's a gold star for your diligence in uh, being a citizen of Alpha Complex. And two little ching 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 uh, paper gold stars come out. Yay! That makes and you guys know happy. I'm being super nice, being your first time playing Paranoia. <laughs> All right, that could go. And also, we're running out of time, so I can't really run that a little as deep as I want. Uh, I was, I was kind of hoping to turn against against both of you, like see which one of you would turn and turn in the other. All right, 
But let's get back to the game. That's just not how this group functions. You know that. <laughs> yeah. No, I could have played that out a lot. Mutual aid hard. is a factor in evolution. Yeah, the, uh... Are you sure you're the right side there, comrade? I bought that using money. That means that's <laughs> capitalist literature. Okay, hold on. I need to write a note. And, uh... Oh my god. Okay, uh, so, uh, yeah, so you guys have placed a tracker on the robot, and uh, you have uh, a little handheld sensor that can bling, 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 kind of like a, kind of like the motion sensors on uh, Aliens. Mm. I was okay. hoping for Total Recall, but pretty much Okay, same Total thing. Recall, yeah, same thing. Yeah, Total <laughs> Recall's a better, actually, example of it, yeah. Whoop, 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 whoop. So I'll leave right. it to you. leave the scene to you guys explaining what's going on to the we rest of the tribe. The team, I think. I think so. Figure out where this little cleaning robot went. Pick Let's go back to the bus. All right. Why so during all this car ch- during this foot chase, what were uh, Street Dave and Snoop doing? Snoop. I don't know why. What, they, what are they? Snoop, what, what are you but guys? Cat uh, called you that because <laughs> your your dog Snoop Dog. Uh, it was a great joke. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Now I get it. Yeah, yeah that was Cat's joke, uh, and I just kind of rolled with it and didn't even. I don't think I even bothered okay. asking what your character's name is after that. Uh, what what are Snoop and Straight Dave doing on the? What do they find? Or what do the, these guys find Snoop and uh, Straight Dave doing on the bus when you, uh, after this foot chase and planting a bug? Hold on, is his name Straight Dave or Street Dave? Because I've heard both now. Straight Dave. I have no idea why he's Straight Dave, but... Presumably there's a gay <laughs> Dave. From gay Dave. Uh, Being morale officer, I thought he would be gay Dave, but I guess he's Straight Dave. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand your logic, but... Uh, I because being gay less. means happy, and he's the morale officer who's in charge of making, things, making sure everything's happy. Uh, gay Dave, get it? Hold on, I need to pour myself a uh, rum and coke. Sobriety is an enemy that must be vanquished. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. All right, I'm back. Work is the curse of the drinking class. All right, where <laughs> so what do they find you guys doing on the bus? As you didn't help at all and during that, that foot chase with the robot, what were you doing? What kind of utterly ridiculous thing might you guys be doing? Or were you just like... Having tea on the bus, like, oh, oh, you guys catch that? You know, happiness is mandatory, so I'm going to be drinking some bubbly beverage because I know I couldn't have chased that That's robot. That's bouncy, yeah, bouncy bubbly beverage. Yeah, bouncy bubbly beverage. All right, you're just like drinking like a two liter of bouncy bubbly, but be- what? Something was happening? <laughs> Just, just slugging it down until it is empty all in one go. They're doing keg stands on the barrel of bouncy bubbly beverage. Making a belch that sounds like a demon from hell. All right. Uh, as you do that, give me a uh, give me a medical check or uh, bio weapons. Uh, no, it's not bio weapons. Uh, medical check. Be you, dog. You're the one doing the hands, uh, the cake scan. That wasn't me. I thought that was somebody else doing it. Uh, you're the one that said you were doing it, so give me a medical check. No, I just said I this. Not I just, I was no, a joke. Well, you're the one. I'm I'm using GM authority. You're the one doing a cake scan. Give me a medical check. Okay, fine, G. Give me a moment. You just like put away your dice or something? No, I have to fish more out. The max you need is nine, so just grab nine dice. How about you hush? Got the dice. I get two hits. Uh, after you do your keg stand, you know that there's something wrong with you. Uh, it seems like you're stomach is getting bigger and bigger and you become more and more bloated and you think you might need to get somebody to go check you know there's something wrong with me chief yeah you, uh yeah you, you, you might need a uh 
some kind of medical assistance, you think? I try to help him. Okay. Uh, give me a medical check. Help! Help! I am becoming the the fat kid from Willy Wonka. I know, right? I gotta help him out. <laughs> uh, as you say that, you actually start uh, expanding, like the uh, the uh, the guy from uh, the air the air, air elemental from uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Oh my god! You like start expanding like Baron Harak. <laughs> got two hits. Just all sorts all right, of um, references here. Yeah, you, you you realize enough that you need to relieve the pressure somehow. Does anybody have any ideas how to relieve the pressure? Um, like, Shake me I up a bit. Pressure, Either I'll like... explode or I will fart very loudly. Oh, you like the fizzy lifting drink and start burping. Okay. Uh, give Can me... I give him some fizzy drink? Yeah, you don't have the uh, the alternative bouncy bubbly beverage. Not that bouncy bubbly beverage needs a alternative because you already drank the one you had before. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, give me a. You guys justify a dice roll of uh, how to re- relieve the pressure that's building up in uh, Snoop's body. I was gonna give him some of the beverage. Don't play help. So you're gonna give him more of the I beverage that's making him. Uh... Snoop dies here because of this. That is exactly the death I expected <laughs> for any human being named Snoop. All right, I, I just want to point out the bouncy, bubbly beverage is what's making him expand because he just shook it all up in his oh, gut while he was you. doing a uh, keg stand. And you want to give him more okay. bouncy, bubbly beverage? Uh, I, I, no, uh, this is, is there any link to tie him down so he doesn't float away? He's not floating, he's floating but this is concerned. fucking ridiculous that you're going to tie him down. I thought he was floating away. No, he's Everything re- about this situation is uh, ridiculous, blood. All right, I'm going to give you guys one dice roll. One dice roll. I want to let you guys Who's choose. got the best medical chance? Because I say you take him and you, like, pet, pet him on the back like a baby. I, I'll be able to try that. <laughs> give, give me a medical check. I belch like a cassowary telling you you're in its territory. <laughs> am I, uh, am I, I rolled the dice and I had a threshold of three. Uh, uh, Snoop, you explode. <laughs> With a uh, force of a grenade. Uh, give me an agility check. Uh, what's your name? Uh, character, uh, straight Dave. I was expecting oh, some monstrous uh, fart that was going to end one, up wiping out a block. Then remove I one clone. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, uh, uh, you take one more damage. Um, I'm surprised <laughs> you haven't healed the other damage from earlier, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, you're, you're able to get out of most of it, but you get hit by uh, a butt cheek as it flies, uh, as he explodes. Oh, I wonder if you can identify that it was an ass cheek. <laughs> I was going to say <laughs> chode, but I was like butt cheek. I know it was a butt. <laughs> Just half a butt. <laughs> All right, and now... Uh, a butt that you can identify it. As you guys walk up to the bus, you guys hear an explosion and all the windows turn red. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the hygiene oh, officer. I'm the head with an ass. <laughs> I didn't think that. All right. Um, also, uh, behind oh, both of you, uh, a stupid. little tube comes down <laughs> and goes back in the air. And there's a brand new Snoop who is covered in uh, cloning slime. <laughs> the most look on his face. <laughs> What do you what do you tell what do you say when you come out of the cloning tube? We'll speak of that never again. Um, <laughs> I want I want my name to be Spaghetti. So just FYI, you would know this, Doc, since you're the one that blew up. Uh, you, what you think happened is when you did your keg stand, the bouncy bubbly beverage in your stomach shook and got uh, and uh, became uh, kind of like when you put uh, like if you would drink uh, soda and uh, pop rocks at the same time. Is drinking like the urban soda legend. Becoming, is drinking soda and then becoming dead grounds for accusations of treason? Uh, how do you guys respond to that? Uh, that's uh, that's a Wanda and uh, Chad answering. I think as long as you're not giving bouncy, bubbly beverage a bad review, then I also, think you're fine. Also remember, your new clone cannot be uh, held responsible for the uh, treason of your last clone. I, I think shaking up your bouncy, bubbly beverage was its own punishment. Oh. Okay. Uh, However, yeah. there is a lot of there is a lot of debris from the exploded clone here. I'm going to be busy cleaning this up for a while. <laughs> you could call it a cleaning room. Uh, yeah, I assume that uh, uh, 
Great Dave jumped out the uh, the rear emergency exit. <laughs> I hope so. so. Yeah, I'm covered in the goo. Yeah, he's, he's covered so in blood him. and his <laughs> butt cheeks uh, like still kind of stuck to his head. Oh, hey, are you going to eat that? I pull the butt cheek off his face, start gnawing on it. I'm pretty sure cannibalism is treason. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe if they're already alive, but yeah, I think you're good here. I don't, know. I don't think anybody ever expected to eat their own corpse. I don't know if there's <laughs> rules covered for that. Okay. <laughs> well, and I guess it would still be cannibalism if you eat yourself. I was gonna pull out like the the dark yeah. sun, like the I was gonna pull out the dark sun, like the halflings aren't really cannibals because they don't eat other halflings. For anybody who's played Dark Sun, they they're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you guys is haven't played Dark Side. If you have sex with your own clone, well, I don't think this quite applies because that's a different person. This is. Just I I think that would be masturbation, not incest. That's the uh, tricky part. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get back to the uh, the game and uh, yeah, uh, the blood covered uh, uh, Street Dave comes out from behind the bus as uh, Do- or Snoop's new clone drops down. Just imagining him just kind of being slithered out of the cloning tube like a turd. God! <laughs> There's no dignity in his death or in his rebirth. Okay. So, what do you guys do? You've got some new valuable knowledge about Bouncy Bubbly Beverage. Yes. That it makes you explode? Yeah, if you shake it up. If you it shake might... it up. Yeah. I've been waiting for somebody to do something shaking up Bouncy Bubbly Beverage this entire game, and it finally happened. <laughs> it's an important plot point that's only come in at the end. All right, so you're tracking, uh, you're tracking the robot. Uh, you're, uh, you got the tracker on the robot. Uh, bouncy Bubbly Beverage explodes when you shake it, uh, shake it up too much, and uh, I assume you call a cleaning robot there, uh, uh, Wanda. Yeah. I mean, I'll do what I can by, by myself, but this is what robots are made for. <laughs> yeah, we have better things to do. And uh, one of the cleaning bots uh, just kind of, uh, they look at uh, Great Dave and they're like, wait, one, stand stationary. And this uh, giant tube, like, from two sides comes out and, like, puts you in, like, a little container. And it's like, and, like, a little, like, Steam kind of piles out of the uh, the container as uh, Straight Dave gets out, and he's like newly dry cleaned. <laughs> well, no, speaking of that too, kid, um, uh, you also heal both turn- uh, both boxes of damage. All right, I'm just gonna ask you about that. <laughs> All right, so and uh, you're down unless you've spent some clones on skill. Uh, you do have clones left, don't you, dog? Yes. Okay. You, yeah, just mark off one clone. So. You've gone from six to five or whatever, however you started. So, so yeah, where's, the, cl- where's the cleaning robot that we were tracking? Where's that going? Uh, as you look at your uh, your uh, monitor, it's headed towards the empty warehouse district, uh, right? Uh, not too far from the uh, the sector uh, the sector headquarters that you were you were just at. I said we go check this warehouse sector out. Okay, uh, I assume you walk since the uh, cleaning robots are cleaning the. Uh, the van or the bus, the bouncy, bubbly beverage bus. I think that'd be a wise move, especially because <laughs> it's close. Yeah. All right. Uh, when you guys get down there, you notice there's no uh, infrareds down there. You don't see any any humans, but you do see like courier robots, construction robots. Uh, and the the further you get into this area, there's more and more robots. Almost like so, this is like where all the robots live. Are there layers upon layers of robots, like an onion? Yes. Um, they're onionizing. They're onionizing. <laughs> I bought one moxie for that joke. I like oh that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, but uh, they're going, uh, most of the robots seem to be going about their normal everyday uh, routine and duty uh, duties out there, but there just seems to be an overly large amount of robots for a uh, subsector like this. Is the cleaning robot we're tracking going to a specific warehouse, a specific place? Uh, yes, it's uh, currently stationary inside a uh, warehouse about a block from you. I think we know where we're going. Okay, uh, are you guys sneaking up on this, or are you guys just going to be walking in like a big dick in a locker room? I don't know why I said it like that. 
Like I'm a <laughs> witch. <laughs> put on our communist disguises. I think we should walk around the building and scope it out, and then if we're going to go in, then we put our disguises. All right. On. Whoever's going to get sneak up to check it out first, give me a sneaking roll. I'm at a plus one for sneaking. Who's anybody got better? You got me beat. I turn invisible and walk on up. All right, uh, are you a registered uh, mutant? No. Okay. <laughs> hey! Where, where'd Snoop hey, go? Hey, what's up with that? Snoop go, and the dude was either a butt sneak. Hey, I will let you do a sneaking roll before you turn invisible. But if I remember your skill right, uh, I don't think you can only turn invisible if nobody's looking at you. That's exactly like, right. Like mystery men. Y'all still see me, and y'all see me just kind of strutting on up. Okay. Uh, in the locker room, holding up a finger as if to say, hold up a moment. Uh, how is it actually, how is the power actually phrased? I can't remember. There's some weird phrasing. Uh, on no person can see me. Or, uh, hold on. Let me make sure I've actually got it right myself. I can become invisible if no person is looking at me. Okay. So, yeah, as long as the characters are not looking at you. So, I, I, if you want to sneak off, or if you just, no, I, or I just want to tell them, hey guys, don't look at me. I got this covered. All right, like, how are you doing this? Because you are an underregistered mutant, correct? Look at me. I'm doing some really weird things with my balls and like my crack. You don't want to see it. I am more stealthy without pads. <laughs> <laughs> my horse starts playing. Hey, uh, give me a sneak check or a oratory check to see if you can convince people not to look at you while you sneak up. And again, you tell them that you're going to be playing with your butt butt crack. And like, how do you seriously say this? You you actually tell them not that you're going to be playing with your butt crack. Don't look at you. I look them very seriously in the eye and tell them you'll want to stop looking at me like right now. You know, since I had this guy all over me, I would have turned away. And it's not one of those happy pills because happy is mandatory. You just take, you turn away and take a happy pill. Because I don't want to see anymore. Four successes. Yeah. Uh, if or you four guys, hits, rather. Yeah, if you guys want to, uh, he convinces Same you guys to look, more happy pills. look away. Like He's like, oh my god, what is that thing? And if you guys want to uh, challenge that, uh, let me know. I'll take a management. I'm using my dick as a wristwatch, and you don't want to know what time it is. Exactly. I'm going to hand out happy pills for that turn. <laughs> True. Very unsanitary. Yeah, you, uh, oh, poor Sume is just sitting in a corner rocking. Happiness is mandatory. <laughs> pops a pill. Happiness <laughs> is mandatory. <laughs> pops another pill. And uh, Wanda and uh, uh, Chad, what are you, or what do you do? I'm gonna I'm gonna turn away and I'm gonna take a happy pill. <laughs> He's just like, yeah. hey, give me one yeah, of those, <laughs> just just to try and blur out whatever image had just popped into my head. Right. Exactly. <laughs> All right. If anybody <laughs> wants to give me a, uh, if anybody wants to peek, give me whatever. Uh, what is it, the pr- surveillance check? I'm going to I'm going to rush at him like a fucking jump scare in a horror movie if I do this vlog. <laughs> okay, so you are now invisible. Uh, we have we went a long way to justify them not looking at you without getting suspicion that you are a mutant. Okay, so they just they just were subjected to me being blasted to smithereens all over the scenery, uh, and the threat of seeing some very unpleasant and bewildering things involving his dick. I, I don't think it was that much of an ask for them to not want to look. They probably would have done that if you asked politely with no ulterior motive anyway. Okay. Yeah, uh, probably. Right. So I'm as stealthier you, when naked. Right, as you sneak up, uh, as you are now invisible and sneaking up, robots do not count as people, so you maintain your invisibility when robots look at you. Uh, so, I mean, is that politically correct to say that robots aren't people? I mean, it should corp- be. Because if corporations well, are people... Kind of, uh, <laughs> it kind of forecloses on their uh, entire... I was saying they have feelings. Revolution thing. They have feelings 100 times stronger than a normal human. And their meat, <laughs> their meat feelings. Their meat emotions. Meat so emotions. I guess their feelings... feelings I guess since their feelings are 100 times better than humans, then they're not human. Okay. Um... Yeah, so as you walk up, uh, robots can't see you or see you because you're uh, you maintain your invisibility. 
And uh, you notice as you get closer and closer to the warehouse, there are more uh, militarized war bo- or war bots, robots uh, gearing up uh, with weapons, uh, scrounged weapons of pitchforks and laser rifles. You even see some old muskets and uh, hunting rifles that uh, some of these robots are uh, carrying. A lot of them are uh, work robots who are using like chainsaw for cutting down trees as uh, gearing them up as weapons and kind of getting ready to storm the palace. And uh, this is on the outside as you go in or get or closer or close to the uh, warehouse. You want to test going into the warehouse? Yes. No. Right. As you go up, there's two uh, construction robots guarding a door, which is currently shut. Give me a sneak roll if you want to try to, or how do you want to get through this door? Uh, walk on in. The door is closed, so you're just gonna walk. They they might think there's something weird if the door opens by itself. Well, they can't see anything, so they can go ahead and suck a fuck. <laughs> I'm just gonna sell on Gandhi mode. All right, um, I'm gonna need a yeah. Uh, invisible doesn't mean you can walk through walls, does it? No, he can't walk through walls. He just can't be seen. So uh, as you open up the door and just walk on in, you hear uh, alert, alert, security alert. Somebody has breached the perimeter. And uh, all the uh, robots uh, are getting up and searching for uh, searching for an intruder. So you see, uh, none of them see you, but they are definitely sweeping the area for uh, for an intruder. Uh, you, uh, yeah, uh, you guys, uh, where you uh, where the other characters are, you hear an alarm. I don't know why it sounds like a really bad car alarm. Security. Alert! Security! Alert! That can't be good. All right. Uh, when you go in, there's a uh, there's a large uh, a large amount of robots. Uh, most of them are cleaning droids or worker droids in different factories that are in this sector. Uh, they're gearing up. Uh, they're they're uh, they're now alert. Uh, there's probably a uh, company sized element in this uh, in here, but most of them are kind of. Uh, not really tough robots, but there are a few uh, very large construction robots, like you guys fought earlier and blew up with a grenade. They're kind of like the uh, kind of like the tanks of the uh, these robots. But the rest of them are kind of uh, kind of mangly, kind of like factory uh, factory floor robots and cleaning robots. And uh, there's even like some shoe shine robots and uh, just different uh, worker robots throughout the, uh, the sector. And uh, in the very back, you see a office, and above it says. The, the glorious leader of the revolution it has a a picture of a uh, half or half of them is a robot like a cybernetic augmentation the other half he looks like Stalin and he's wearing a uh, like white uniform uh, the white uh, Russian Stalin uniform this is a giant 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 picture of him on the wall Uh, no, the balls are court. A bit of a, I may have run into a little bit of a snag in the plan. No, I'll go ahead and say you guys got walkie-talkies to talk to each other. Mecha Stalin. I don't know why I'm doing my snake voice. It just seems Mecha really Stalin? Now, let's just say getting, getting blown up and eating your own disembodied ass cheek and then doing inappropriate and weird things to get inside of a factory tends to make your brain bizarre. Okay, so you have alerted the uh, robots that there are enemies in the uh, location. You are sitting just inside the door as they're uh, searching uh, for an intruder. You see a company of robots gearing up for the glorious revolution and storming the palace, uh, or aka headquarters of uh, Sector uh, 160. And there's a giant picture that says the glorious leader of the revolution, and there's a mecha Stalin there. Who's half human, half robot? Peter, you should know. Robot there is a mecha stall in leading them, and they're getting ready to charge the palace. That can't be good. No. They can't see me, though, because I'm too good at sneaking. <laughs> well, why don't you start by coming back out to us? Give me an agility and check. That, uh, and leave that uh, last grenade of yours uh, on the way out. Oh, that's right. Okay. And, uh, give me a surveillance check, actually. 
Who's that? Who's that? Surveillance uh, and sneaking. Uh, surveillance and agility. Two rolls. You're, uh, you have a robot that's about to bump into you. Oh, and you want? Ah. Oh, him. I'm gonna say a threshold of two to uh, not get not bump, get bumped into for the agility roll. Three for surveillance. Yeah, you notice there is a very large amount of bouncy, bubbly beverage in this uh, in this warehouse. And it like, bumps into me because I can't make that threshold with the dice pool that I got. You should have six dice. I have negative four to it. Okay, I thought I was looking at your character sheet. Okay. Uh, you want to use Moxie and add... Uh, I have minus one Moxie. No, Moxie on the back. You started with two because you spent a... Uh, you, uh, didn't you spend a clone to get extra mm -hmm. Moxie? Nope. Uh, have you made any... Uh, I will give you one for eating your own <laughs> butt cheek. You want to add it now? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Sorry, Let's not even worry about the robot bumping into you. Uh, but yeah, uh, you see, uh, that's kind of derailing a story. We're kind of running out of time, so I'm gonna, I'll skip that. Uh, to flow the story a bit faster. Um, yeah, you see a large, like an overly large amount of bouncy, bubbly beverage in this warehouse. Like it's uh, being stockpiled like weaponry. Like that's how much shit they get. They got like, a, uh, like wall to wall bouncy, bubbly beverage. That's a big bomb. A big bouncy, bubbly beverage bomb. <laughs> I think my butt gave me botulism. Bouncy, bubbly beverage, uh, botulism? Butts. All right. Uh, yeah, so you're standing in front of the door. You're talking to, uh, what's his name? Give me a sneak roll. All right. That would be a better than agility before. I don't succeed. Did you even roll dice? I did. I didn't get any hits. Okay. Uh, you hear one of the security robots. Hey, there's somebody talking over here. I think the guy's this way. No, that isn't. Hey, you see uh, robots moving your direction. Uh, I scamper. Okay. Uh, being uh, invisible, I'll let you sneak out the uh, the door with ease. And uh, Don't forget to drop a grenade on the way out. I drop a grenade on the way out. <laughs> Give me a D, uh, D20 roll. See if I remember how to roll one. I haven't done so in a while. Fifteen. Uh, fifteen. Okay. As you uh, as you're leaving, uh, a whole bunch of riot foam uh, encapsulates the robots inside the uh, the warehouse. Good. Goodbye, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, uh, you get back to the other guys, and uh, other guys, give me a sneak roll. Some kind of a. Uh, Anybody who has the highest dice pull or dice pull for that, I'll let uh, do a sneak. I'm at a plus one. I have a minus two. Wanda? Yeah. Well, I have like one die. I think I'm five minus four for sneaking. It's terrible. Okay, so that's me. <laughs> oh, no, I, I had that. I was reading the wrong line. I'm only five minus one for sneaking. That's not so bad. <laughs> I got three great. hits. Uh, three hits. Okay, you're able to. Uh, how do you hide from the uh, the robots looking for intruders? You're able to do it, but how do you do it? We kind of step back around the corner of the next building over and hide in the dumpster. That's not hygienic. <laughs> Behind it. How about that? Okay, as you're about to climb in the dumpster, I guess uh, Wanda tells you no, it's unhygienic, so you hide behind the dumpster. Yep. That's too much cleaning. You'll break. Uh, all right, uh, and about that time is when Dog catches back up to the group, who now is no longer invisible. As you look at him, you don't see him change. Hey, you don't see him change. He's just hey, invisible. Uh, don't worry about that. Uh, I I had to go. Uh, I had to go do the fish stick. The fish stick. Yay. Uh, Doug's character, because I left my trousers behind. Everybody else, no. <laughs> I want to point out, he doesn't actually have to get naked. Also, due to the cortical implants you weren't here earlier, uh, they'll, uh, they'll do a uh, little black box over any uh, any inappropriate bits that might be seen by you. Oh, that's convenient. There, there's no I actual... Really if that. you're naked, there's no actual nudity because it's, uh, it's all censored out. We don't have the clearance for that sensitive information. The most sensitive, all sensitive Lame. information. 
<laughs> Freaking, I got sensitive information for you over here. Okay, so you guys are hiding behind the dumpster from the robots who are eventually gonna find you. But uh, yeah, what's your what 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 are you guys doing here? You know where uh, Robo Chavez is. You let off a uh, riot foam bomb inside the uh, the warehouse. You guys and you guys are hiding behind a dumpster. So you know where the bad guy is. You know uh, you don't know what their plan. You know kind of what their plan is, but you don't know all of it. And you know. Yeah, and balls in you guys' score. What do you guys do? I think we should get the hell out of here. That's a good idea. We kind of got people to warn, don't we? Yeah. Well, we've identified trouble. Aren't we obligated to shoot it? Do we got the guns to shoot it? Well, currently, not all of it? currently that, uh, that entire company it. of uh, robo uh, robots who are inside the warehouse are stuck in riot foam. What if we soak that riot foam in bouncy bubbly beverage and then, I don't know, somehow make it shake? Won't they explode? Maybe. Do we use a large electromagnet to try and shake the, the cases that those things are held in? Brilliant. If I recall, and like heavy as far as like pouring concrete, there's typically a vibrating device that is used to shake the bubbles out of concrete. Otherwise, I recommend a jackhammer. Have fun with that. Find their vibrator, got it. <laughs> All right, so are you going to go talk to Robo Chavez, fight your way through and talk to Robo Chavez, try to kill him, blow the place up? I don't know what your plan is here. Scott, what was the... Uh, we were supposed to stop him or find the Spurs? You're supposed to find what was going on uh, with the robots and fix it. Okay, so we do have to deal with Robo Chavez. But now it seems Chavez. like... Robo Chavez's Robo Lucian is being co opted by Mega Stalin. Right. Or it might have been started by Mega Stalin because somebody had started to point out, chip into Robo The brain. only person who called him Mega Stalin, Mega Stalin, was Dog. I just like this spaghetti. I just want to point out just from a GM, from the GM side, I never called him Mega Stalin uh, in any kind of description, just jokingly when he said Mega Stalin. Ah. So for all I know, that was Robo Chavez. Yes. Okay. Does it sound like you thought you guys are thinking he was like somebody else? That's why I mentioned that. Mm. I thought it was pretty obvious that, that was that Robo Chavez. Yeah, Robo Chavez. Or is that Mecha Stalin? And Robo Chavez is a cyborg, like partly human, partly robot. That's what the giant painting on the uh, outside of the uh, his office presents him as. I wonder if that means he has like his feelings are like fifty times more intense. I guess you can just end him with Nickelback. That may do it. And no, that won't back. work so well. His Play revolution is his revulsion is fifty percent as well. All right, team leader. I think you need to lead your team. Yeah. What do we do next, team leader? Um, where was the bouncy bubbly beverage stored in a metal metal containers or a metal rack of some sort? Uh, like kegs, like uh, aluminum kegs. Aluminum, so it wouldn't be affected by the large electromagnet. Yeah, I just I believe that most kegs are made of aluminum, aren't they? Yep, I think so. Yep. Well, since they're in stuck in riot foam, the the big ones are in riot foam. I say maybe we can try and get in and get to Robo Chavez before they can get out of the foot riot foam. Now, right, give me a surveillance check, uh, dog. Commencing surveillance check. Commencing surveillance now. Yeah, three hits. Okay, you remember there's probably uh, four of those construction robots that were guarding the outside. If that's what you kind of remember, ish. I relay such to the team. We'll do it. There's four of them. So there are four of them that are outside of the building now that are not stuck in that foam. Is that what you're trying? Is that what you mean? Yes. That's kind of big odds. Uh, these are the same model that you guys fought in the train station. Just in the 
with money and his credit cards at very high interest rates. Well, you know, there's four of us, there's four of them. We have four pistols and some grenades. Yeah. I say we they try it. Them on their side. Okay. And, and when we run out of laser shots, we'll just have to put our hands up and surrender. Thanks. Meaningfully, have to clean. Oh, you can shoot them. I say dirty. You communists. can shoot more than seven, but you can just only shoot seven safely. Uh huh. You get a uh, after every uh, after every shot after seven, uh, you have a cascading five percent chance of it. Uh, <clears throat> it adds five percent every time you shoot it to the weapon blowing up. Shit. Goodness, were these pistols made by Aperture or something? They were made by the lowest bidder of Alpha Complex there, my uh, fellow citizen. Goodness. Uh, also, given that uh, they're not... Uh, yeah, don't worry about that. I, I don't think a lot of you guys remember about lasers. Okay, so how are you guys? You guys just walking up like it's uh, the OK Corral, like Western style? Whap, whap, are you guys sneaking, uh, sneaking up, or uh, what, what? How are you guys doing? The Mario <laughs> Comrades, we're here to help. Everybody's doing <laughs> Russian <laughs> accents, except uh, everybody's doing Russian accents, except Straight Dave, who's like, "Oh, Mamma Mia, we're here to help out with the uh, revolution." I can maybe. Uh, it was like try comrades, my only trick again, and just cheese the rest of them to death. Well, uh, that's not. Uh, you got to present that in character and doing. Remember that's uh, being a mutant means you're a traitor. So it's well, danger, uh, dangerous uh, using uh, your powers if you're not a registered mutant. That won't be a problem for my next clone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you're gonna have to let your fellow uh, trouble shooters know you're a mutant. Y'all should clear on out of here. I got this. Right. What do you? What do you? What do you got? You gonna, you gonna what? Sneak back? Sneak yeah, back I in there somehow? And do something? But I just want to know. Did, gonna... uh, did, 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 did I stutter that time? <laughs> stutter. You heard it twice. I show you my butthole. You don't want to see my butthole. I want to watch this happen. <laughs> you want me to I, see I, my butthole? I'm just saying, you're, saying you're metagaming us a bit much, there, that. dog. Hmm? It's all right, Chad. We can track him with this. I'll put a tracking device on him. There we go. Okay. Leaning into unhinged territory is the best weapon that I have. In the all right. So you, you take off like you're going to be sneaking in, and then uh, when nobody's looking, you go invisible. Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm just saying you're yeah you're kind of approaching that like a meta gaming, but if you do it this way, like hey, I got this, I'm going to sneak in by myself, and once you're around the corner, turn invisible. That would be a good way of doing it. All right. Okay. Uh, what's the rest of you guys do? You're just like, and do you tell them like, uh, yeah, I'll take care of all of this, or you gotta try to do this solo, or what's the other players doing? Yes. If nothing else, I'm gonna create a big mess for the uh, robots that they're gonna have to sort out, and uh, clone number two is gonna have a blank slate and a smaller list of problems. All right, give me a surveillance check. And the rest sneaking. of the team is gonna have. And what's the, is the other team moving up behind them, or are you guys just like? Playing kick the can while he's doing all this. Well, I was going to suggest we get to the palace. I was going to suggest we give we give him like a grenade or two to take in there with him, and then we can see if there's anybody outside. We can create a little diversion outside as well. How many do you have left? I think you've used what three so far. You used one to kill the robot. You used one at the uh, bouncy bubbly beverage factory, and then you used one in the. Uh, warehouse so you had six it, i think we had six grenades yeah so we've got, got three, three left, left. so you're gonna give uh snake or not snake uh, snoop. uh it's snoop the uh witch.com version of snake. Snake. <laughs> the latest and worst version of snake is that your name now treasure snake trouser snake yeah yeah <laughs> We got a solid snake, naked snake, liquid snake, uh, whatever the fuck a solidus snake is. We've got my favorite, punished venom snake. You have Ocelot I snake. snake. Ocelot snake. Ocelot's the best character in the entire series. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Let me get this clear. You're giving uh, Snoop all the uh, all the grenades, so three of them, to go and plant in the. How about uh, two? Okay. <laughs> 
Snake's gonna sneak off or wander off and sneak in and uh, go, or basically he hasn't told he's like all right, I'm gonna sneak in there and I'll I guess plant the grenades while you guys are distracting the robo guards or what's going on here that was what I was suggesting all right so let him know the plan then and you guys execute it so I'm a little hazy on what the plan is myself so I kind of want to hear it <laughs> all right so you want to sneak in while they're in the foam let's give you two grenades so you can sneak in there and you can take care of what's going on inside. You can plant whatever needs to be planted to blow the whole place up. And then we'll, while you're doing that, we'll distract one of the outside guards, the first one we run into, just to create a commotion so that there's less attention on you. All right. All right. Uh, as you guys charge your uh, laser pistols, uh, and uh, you have the body armor, don't you? I do. Yeah, so you can soak up to... Uh... Uh, three damage with the uh, body armor. Uh, all right, give me a, as you sneak up there, uh, Snoop, uh, Snoop Snake, Snoopy Snake. Uh, give me a surveillance check so you can kind of give them kind of a heads up of what's going on. If you want, you don't have to. If you don't want to, I just kind of assume that's what you would do. There's a scan radar. I should have had you roll that for the uh, the robe. Uh, yeah, three. Okay, three. All right, you see that uh, the four uh, construction four, uh, bots. Uh, one is currently trying to uh, uh one of them is trying to free the other robots from the uh riot foam uh, i'm going to randomly roll to see if they can uh, uh they'll take one out i'm going to give a 10 percent chance uh so i'm going to roll a d20 and if i roll a one or a two they free a robot uh i'll do that every few turns and uh the two or two of them are do or on the let me figure out how to talk the east and west side of uh, the warehouse, and the fourth one is guarding the door that you had gone through earlier. So one is stationary, the other two are kind of like going back and forth from the east, east and west side, kind of making sure nobody's uh, uh, moving up on them. So they're about a block away from each other, and they're going up and down the street on the east and west side. While the uh, fourth one is pulling people out, or pulling robots out of the uh, foam. But robots are people too! I feel like I'm politically incorrect here. Oh, no. Sorry. I, I find that way too hilarious. Robots aren't people, or else they would have seen me. Uh, exactly. the, way that was, the way that was written is so you could be invisible. Uh, <laughs> if nobody's looking at you, you can't be seen uh, by recording devices. But I never thought this could be really used against robots. So this is, <laughs> this is actually kind of... I did not write this specifically so you could be... Because I wrote these uh, powers out like long ago, I just have pre-made sheet for paranoia. So this is kind of funny that this actually popped up and has been a—it's actually kind of a thorn in my side right now. But I like it. It's entertaining, which is the most important part. Okay, so go ahead and re uh, relay that back to everybody. Um, Don't forget the snake voice. To, they're currently trying to pull their friends at the foam. Do robots even have friends? <laughs> I need. So, can I tell at all what these grenades can do? No, the label has fallen off. All right. Well, I uh, hope for the best and yeet one of them. I will let you do a demolition yeah. roll with a threshold of four to figure it out. Let me see where my demolition is. Okay. Thunder violence, third one down. Maybe this will work, but I bet it won't. Oh, I only got one hit. You have no idea what that grenade does. Not true. I know that it will do grenade things. Oh, my poor summer child. If you only knew what the grenades in this game could do. Oh, I know exactly what they could do. I just have no idea what they'll do when I pull the pin. Each one of them's a, 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 a hydrogen fusion grenade. grenade kill us. Oh, I did not think of a... Oh, no, I do have a hand nuke on the, on the list. All right. Because I have a... <laughs> yeah, I have a, I have a random... I have a roll... You have a 25% chance it'll be an explosive grenade, and then the rest of them has a whole bunch of d crazy random shit. Uh, from healing grenade to fire foam grenade, uh, cheese grenade for helping your uh, comrades in long distance get cheese. Uh, there's a uh, uh, oh a hot dog grenade. I won't even let I won't even tell you what that does until you uh, until that hap or until you use it. Well, I'm throwing a grenade. I don't oh, wait. Uh, okay. Oh, oh. So you relayed back that, hey, they're letting people out of the foam. And you throw a grenade at... Throw the grenade under the kegs and get out of there. Well, remember, they don't explode unless they've been shaken. Oh. You have to shake, you have to shake it up first. 
I was going to say, what exploded one? Well, that's what I was saying. If the grenade's underneath them, then when the grenade goes off, even if it's like a foam, it's going to push those case up and it'll get shaken up in there. Okay, I'm tracking. I'm tracking. So where are you throwing the grenade? Uh, as close to the midst of them as it can. So you're throwing it inside the building? Or are you throwing it at the it's... guard at the door? Or are you throwing it at one of the two guards around I'm the outside? I'm throwing it at the dudes who are trying to fetch their buddies out. Okay, that's what I need to know. All right, give me a throwing check, minus one. So minus one die. Due to you're, you're trying to throw it through a door from a distance. Or do you, you, I forgot, you're invisible. You can just walk up there. Don't worry about the... Uh... Yeah. Oh, he's invisible. I missed that. Yeah, he's a he had a mutant power, so uh, it's a. Uh, oh, nice! Uh, I had, don't look at my butthole, no jutsu active, and that makes me invisible. <laughs> yeah, that's why he that's why he wandered off around the corner doing this by himself, so you guys don't see him turn into a uh, turn invisible and know he's a mutant. He's, he's a walking butthole <laughs> right now. And give me oh, actually, I'll let you roll this. Give me a give me a d twenty roll also. So I need a uh, I need a throwing weapons and a d twenty. Four. And four is for four, uh, four successes. The D twenty thing. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Ooh, that's a nasty one. And hey, give me a throwing weapons. Doing one hit. Uh, it lands right at the threshold, and then a white phosphorus grenade goes off, and the robot that's uh. There is like this would be <laughs> fucked up if I were a human. Uh, I don't know what? why this robot is Skeletor now. Just go with it. Yeah, so uh, yeah, he's uh, he's melting down, and uh, he's the 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 guards out of action, and you hear the one inside like we're under attack, and uh, currently the door or the door is unusable due to white phosphorus. Okay, you might have to make your own door, and uh, yeah, the uh, from the door you I see a bunch of rivets. <laughs> Come uh, shooting out of there. And we'll go to the other uh, the other team, the rest of the team. What are you guys doing? I say we try and see if we can take out one of the robots, either the east or the west. Yeah, good idea. I'll be right back till I got to go to the bathroom. All right, let's take a bathroom break, and then we'll come back to the combat and what you guys are doing. Good idea. All right. So... <laughs> Phosphorus grenade goes off. Uh, Doug, I think you told them like it's it's go time, and you guys are taking out which robot? Or you said you're going to go after the east or uh, west robot? I think your your plan was yeah. Let's do east. All right. As you this guys makes roll, sense because you know. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys roll up, the uh, the eastern robot starting to move towards the door, and uh, he's a uh, about twice the size of a human, but made for uh, construction, so he's not very fast. Uh, mainly to do uh, build buildings and stuff like that. It has a uh, it has a jackhammer for a uh, a uh, melee weapon, and a the other in the other arm it has a for putting in rivets and uh, into uh, girders. But it doesn't see uh, as it's focused on the door that uh, their buddy just got hit by a white phosphorus grenade. It doesn't see you guys yet. I'll let you guys do the drop on it. Actually, give me throw... give me a sneak roll. Let's see who gets a drop. Uh, One hit. Okay. Are we still in the uh, commie outfits? You guys never put those back on. Okay, I thought nope. we put them on for this. All right, with one hit, I'll let you guys. Uh, you guys have the drop on them. So let's go, uh, Sume. You're up. I, I, you said I had a gun or something. Yes, yeah, so you have the standard issue troubleshooter laser, uh, laser pistol red. All right, and what's that? A firearm, I guess, because I'm going to use that. Uh, that would be laser, so you'd be plus four. Oh, unless you put uh, unless you sacrifice some clones to put back into or put into laser weapons. Okay, so it's violence, right? And you said energy. Uh, laser weapons. It's a second one down. It's, uh, it doesn't have a number. It's energy of, weapons. It, yeah. Okay, I, I have nothing there, but it says violence plus four. Yes, you're plus you know, four like, unless you put uh, unless you sacrifice some clones to give yourself extra on that. Okay, I did not, but I'm going to shoot this Kami Kami robot. No, okay. I keep wanting to do the wrong brackets. I got two hits. Two hits. Okay, let me do their their roll. Uh, describe how you shoot this uh, this uh, robot. I am. I'm going to get into the weaver stance. You know, do it like you know, <laughs> like a police officer would, and try to just nail it straight in the chest. You know. Uh yeah, it was four out of four hits on the uh, roll. Wow, that's, looked, a that's on dice roll. Action. I've never. Wow. The uh, the yeah, robot dice roller. <laughs> you, you you jump out from uh, uh, from behind there. You're like, 
take this, you commie scum. And it, it sees you. It does like a little uh, cartwheel dodge. Uh, and you uh, you miss. And uh, yeah, it's doing its, its cartwheel dodge. Uh, dog's already gone. Cat, what are you, uh, what are you doing? As it's, it's cartwheeling away from, uh, uh, Street Dave's, uh, laser shot. Well, I'm gonna try and lead that target a little bit and shoot it. Just dodging from one, it's gonna get hit by the other one. Uh, energy weapons. It's just violence plus four, huh? Cool. I know, I was right. pretty shocked. Here we go. Some ult. Oh yeah. Oh Some yeah. Ult- yeah. You do uh, five Damn. damage. Yeah. You blow off. It's uh. You hit it. Uh. You hit it so good that it uh. You blow off the uh. The rivet gun off its arm. That's what I call clean. The clean shot. You got any one liner off that? Because that was fucking. That was a good hit. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Hit five shot damage. It like. Off. Yeah. It's uh. As it goes for its next cartwheel, it just face plants on the ground as the uh, the arm's not there. It wasn't even the bullet that killed it, it was the pun. Well, it's not dead yet. <laughs> uh, it actually has seven damage because it's a robot, so uh, unlike, oh, you, wow. unlike you meat bags with five. Oh, is it five or four damage? I'm not oh, looking at the back side of the true. I'm not looking at the back side of the character sheet right now. Oh, it looks like yeah, we have four. Hurt, injured, yeah. maimed, and dead. Okay, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that, this one has seven, so it's still in the fight, but it's not doing it's not doing all that good. I guess it's been maimed because it doesn't have an roto yeah, arm. Exactly. Uh, Lee, you're up. I am going to toss my last grenade at it. Oh no! Yeah, give me three weapons plus a d20. What's a d20? Okay, well then. Um, that'd be the other bracket, the six shift. Right. And put in one d20. Okay. Throwing weapons was three hits. Uh, okay. And if you want me to roll the d20, I can. No, I got it. Yep, if I can spell it right. Did you spell it right? You said, uh, oh, you didn't spell roll right. 13. 13. Okay. What is a 13? All right. I get uh, a big cloud of CS uh, gas. Uh, it's like a. A yellowish white gas starts coming out of the grenade, and yeah, give everybody give me an agility check. Oh no! Uh, how many oh, hits no. did you? How many hits did you have for your throwing? Uh, three hits. Uh, if you get three or higher, you didn't get hit by the CS. I got hit. No, you're not in this scene. You're you're far away. You don't have to worry, dog. I got zero. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. You yeah, you are. Two. Uh, you're currently incapacitated by CS gas. And I got five hits, so I'm assuming yeah, you're I'm good. Not. You see it, and you're like, you know what it Cat is, and do it. Thinking cloud. All right, uh, Cat, I need a agility check from you. Uh, yeah, I got two. <laughs> okay, two. So yeah, you're uh, uh no, yeah, you're you're incapacitated for one round, and uh, Sume, you're incapacitated for three. Okay. Hold on, meet pizza. All right. So the robot is gonna stand up. And do an agility check to close the distance to, uh, I guess the closest person would be uh, Sume, because you jumped out and did a cop shot and went down to. Uh... Sorry, I'm chewing. Three hits. Uh, with its two actions, it's not going to be able to attack you yet, but it's uh, it's currently in hand to hand range of Sume. Dog, you're up. You're at the uh, the door of the uh, the door is currently blocked by the sea or by the white phosphorus that's still burning, but you're taking out the robot that was guarding the door. On the far side of the uh, warehouse, the uh, the other security uh, robot is walking your way. But you are you are, uh, are invisible, other, so they can't see. Are there any others in the area? Uh, there's others inside, but you can't see them due to the uh, the smoke from the white the the melting robot. All the wires and. Uh, Electrical systems inside the robot are uh, melting, giving out smoke. So you can't see inside, but you hear a lot of died. Hmm. You do have one more grenade. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out the best use for it. Come on, Snoop. You know you're going to have to throw it at somebody. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but I like this accent. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
I like the silly uh, you voice. Know, it's just just an accent. <laughs> um, clear. I guess I throw the one grenade again. Yeah, okay, give me a throwing weapons. And a d20. Trick in the dice. And let's see. Got a 20. Ooh, a 20. What is a 20? <gasps> oh my god. No. No, no, no. 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 Is this bad? Yeah. It's very oh. bad. Uh, bad you throw it? a hand nuke. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm here to talk. All right. Uh, as you're about to throw, you hear hand nuke activated. Do you throw it? <laughs> I was going to say, I'll give you I'm a demolition. I'm building expecting not to survive. Uh, I, uh, I will let you do a demolitions check to deactivate it. I am throwing it as is. <laughs> My God. Okay. Mission accomplished. You throw the hand nuke. The, uh, <laughs> the entirety of uh, uh, half of Sector One Six One is now a, a crater of nuclear oh, right. nuclear uh, nuclear holocaust. Fuck. I'm guessing we all lose a clone. Yeah, you guys all lose a clone. <laughs> uh, nice. In this crater, as you uh, the cloning tubes come down and you guys out of where uh, exactly of where you guys were before uh there's a uh there's another clone who's half a robot half a uh, human sitting at uh sitting on the other side of the crater and he's like he points points at you it's a guy who looks like stalin dressed in the white uniform he's like you troubleshooters you did this you, you, you. i don't know what you're talking about i'm as innocent as an octopus <laughs> yeah. i put my hands up it was not me it was the one <laughs> under the head. Huh? What? <laughs> I'm also gonna say this is a hand nuke, so it's not like I didn't destroy all the sector, just destroyed the industrial district where you guys are at. It was like a, a, a handheld fat man from Fall. Pretty much. I'm gonna slowly, I'm gonna slowly my bird with my hands in the air, and when I'm sure I'm close enough, I'm gonna shoot him with my armpit lasers. <laughs> You're oh, what? Shoot! Armpit lasers. All right. Uh, so. <laughs> Uh, give me. Yeah, what kind of skill would that would fall under that kind of deception? He's walking towards you guys, calling you out. You have ruined my plan of putting uh bouncy bubbly beverage bombs underneath all the uh all the leadership buildings of uh sector one six one. And what are you rolling? As you, you guys are walking towards each other. Uh, I feel this is mandatory. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's not really a confidence game. It's not really intimidation. Uh, chutzpah. Can I call it chutzpah? Yeah, chutzpah. Try and bluff him into thinking that we've got another one. That derailed everything. Fuck. I'm sorry, guys. That I probably awesome. should have put the hand nuke on there. <laughs> <laughs> it's the uh, history eraser button. You, you, you can't hand me that and expect I'm not going to fuck shit up with uh, it. With three hits, you're able to hide your deception as who would expect lasers from the armpit. Is this a mutant power? This is a mutant power, and you... it is registered. What? Okay, and what it, can you explain your... Well, what it says on my sheet is that I... <laughs> uh, um, I can shoot lasers from armpit. So I assume... I believe that's uh, one that was made up by our uh, Buzz. I think you made that one up. <laughs> I might have to no. phrase that one. <laughs> I'd at least it wasn't like a <laughs> button. Uh, uh, what's the uh, bonus of violence properly. on that? Uh, it's it's plus three violence. So energy weapons plus three. So that'd be a total of plus seven. All right. As you're uh, as you're walking up, he's like, "Yes, you ruined my plan of putting uh, bouncy bubbly beverage bombs underneath the, the entirety of uh, the leadership of uh, 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 sector. Uh, what's the sector? Sector one six. And it was troubleshooters like you who once stopped me in another plan to take over another sector, but this time." This time, I will not allow you to stop me in my plans of evil, or, excuse me, good, good, because Robo, uh, what'd you call it, Robo Bushnovic? Robo what? Yeah, Robo uh, Robushnovic is, um, is not evil, it's good. And give me a laser weapon check as he uh, as he's walking up. Uh, so that's my um, violence 
plus four, plus three? Yes. And he's like, it was new to uh, triple shooters like you who gave me, uh, convinced me to jump out a window and I've lost half my body, which is now a robot. Yeah. <laughs> I think some of you guys remember that. I mean, adventure. sucks to suck, bro. You kind of did that to yourself. You literally did. Exactly. You don't know. Exactly. You, don't, you, you guys don't know that. <laughs> but, uh, uh, for those who weren't, uh, for the for the rest of the players who weren't on that mission, this is uh, Comrade Red, who they convinced was actually a capitalist, so he committed suicide at a window on uh, the seventh <laughs> floor. <laughs> oh, wow. So half of them got smushed and turned into a robot, so now he's leading the robo-revolution. The revolution, if you will. And what'd you roll? Six hits. Six? Oh, fucking snap your All right, uh. I need to roll some dice. All right, uh, what do you say as you shoot these uh, lasers? Not this time. And you said you rolled six? Yeah, so you do two damage to them. <laughs> armpit laser. Describe how you shoot the armpit laser. Uh, you know, I, I <laughs> like, sort of got the image of the, uh, the sure botch from Washington to, Power. <laughs> you, you remember the botch from Washington Power? machine gun job, please. Yeah, that's what I kind of got the image. Let Cat describe how her character shoots the uh, armpit lasers. It, it it sort of involves uh, sort of a pectoral flex, kind of like, <laughs> and then and then just, while bellowing out. Some it's almost like instead of it, well. it, it's it's sort of a specialized modified sweat gland. Instead of instead of sweating, <laughs> the armpits uh, secrete lasers. It you had to be there. I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right. Uh, so. Uh, he goes down to one knee and he's like, Oh, you may have stopped my plan, but even your armpit lasers have not stopped me. And he pulls out a, what's that Russian pistol? I always forget the name of. Tokarev? There's a lot of them. Uh, that's like the standard issue. Markava? Mar uh, that's a tank from Israel. Makarov? Makarov. He pulls out a Makarov pistol. and uh, Donald special. <laughs> McDonald's special. Yeah, it's a in the pistol. United States, we get them in our Happy Meals. They're so tiny. Projectile weapons. Okay, so that's going to be an eight. No, it might help if I do that. Uh, how are you? How are you going to try to dodge this? And give me a agility roll. Oh, I'm going to roll very badly to dodge this, but I'm going to hit the deck. Well, I I roll. How do I roll a four and a one? I, I'm going to re-roll that. Uh, I, I got two! Ha-ha! He shoots high, I aim low. Oh, shit, uh, he misses, because you got, uh, Ty goes to Defender. Yes! How do you dodge it? I drop prone. <laughs> you do <laughs> armpit lasers and just go prone. Okay, uh, <laughs> next up will be, uh, uh, Street Dave, what are you doing? How is this guy now after he got shot, I guess? <laughs> Uh, he's hurt, but he's still in the fight. He still has two more damage than you do. Oh, yeah, I, I will try to shoot him with the lasers. Like, you dirty commie bastard. Yeah, this guy looks like Stalin wearing the white uniform on one half, and the other half, he's like all robot. Wow, he's, uh, he's, he's like the dirty He's like the Terminator on the other side. Other side. He's like sexual. <laughs> <laughs> I got five hits, and I'd shoot him, you dirty commie bastard. Yeah, he tries to uh, he tries to do a uh, little combat uh, combat roll of, uh, over his shoulder, kind of like break fall roll with a one. And what'd you roll? Uh, you rolled a five. I got five. All right, yeah. you're beep, 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 and you're shooting with your laser, correct? Yeah. No damage. Oh shit! Uh, you remember reading somewhere that the lasers only uh. uh the, the are color coordinated to who they can actually damage. So uh, a red laser will only hurt uh, those of red security clearance or lower. Whoa! <laughs> oh well, I know now. <laughs> and now you know. The more you know, right? <laughs> yeah. The reason uh, Cat was able to damage is she didn't use her laser; she used her armpit. Yeah, <laughs> armpit lasers for the win. They're my stealth weapon. And he, uh, like, he looks at he looks at you like, haha! You were a fool to use a red laser against me, a red himself. Well, actually, I'm ultraviolet, but uh, yeah, uh, that didn't make sense. You should have followed the uh, the 
Wow, I cannot talk today. You should have followed the uh, example of your friend with the stinky armpit lasers. They may be stinky, but they are deadly. Wow, this happiness is mandatory. Did <laughs> <laughs> you pop a pill? Uh, in the middle of uh, as you pop that pill, uh, as a, uh, uh, hold on, uh, as you pop that pill, a screen pops up. Uh, a little overlay pops up over your vision. Nobody else can see. It's like a little AR from like Shadowrun. Like, uh, excuse me, Chummer. Or not Chummer. Uh, yes, uh, excuse me, uh, Troubleshooter. This is Friend Computer. We are a little bit worried about the uh, the amount of happy pills you are taking. Are you, uh, How is your happiness? I've never been happier. I uh, I think you may have an addiction to uh, happy pills. Would you mind ta- uh, filling out a survey on uh, your happiness and how happy pills affect you? Why, certainly. All right, uh, you were uh, you were tied up next round, but uh, because you are now taking a uh, taking a survey on how uh, how ha- how happy you are and how happy pills are affecting you. It's like uh, they ask uh, questions. Uh, uh, if somebody can send them to them, like, do you have thoughts of suicide? Do you have trouble sleeping? Uh, do you think that uh, you could survive uh, survive without uh, happy pills? How is your life without happy pills? <laughs> right. So, uh, as you're filling out this, you're out of combat. Oh, dog, you're up. Uh, I look for uh, the charred, irradiated remains of my ass and see if I can... Uh, all your equipment is cloned with you. That's not what I'm asking about, and you know it. Oh, God. Oh, no, here we go. All right. Uh... I'm apparently cannibalism, snake. Oh, due to oh, it being, due to it be a nuclear that. hand grenade, and you're uh, and you were in the very, very close to it. Your body was uh, basically when it went off, like your body turned to like a uh, like a glow, and you could see your skeleton, and then it just turned to ash and blew in the wind. Jesus! Uh, so give me a give me a surveillance give me a surveillance check. Okay, what were you gonna say, uh, Buzz? Look for a femur and beat him to death with it. It does not have a color rating. Two. It doesn't have a color rating. <laughs> yeah, you find a you find a little piece of wall that survived. It has a silhouette burned into it that kind of looks like you, but you're not sure. Hey guys, I made a That's mural. Not delicious at all. Not delicious at all. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could lick it. All right. Uh, as he's licking his own uh, <laughs> his own radioactive uh, silhouette on a wall, cat, you're up. Oh, cat's already gone. Sorry, uh, Lee. You're yeah, right. Well, since lasers don't work on him, I'm going to charge him with that battle axe. Okay, give me a mobility check. Uh, you're going to need at least two to cover the distance. I'm sorry, which check? Uh, or not mobility? That's uh, Twilight 2000. Uh, agility. Do you think you want... three hits? Three hits. All right, you cover the distance and you get one more action. So you're gonna swack him with a. I guess this Whack, would, you swing the battle axe. So plus, uh, what was the plus on the violence? Four. Uh, hand weapons. So hand four weapons, plus okay. hand weapons. What's your hand uh, hand weapons modifier? Minus three. Minus three, so you'd be a total of six. Right. Two hits. Okay, and he's been throwing eight for uh, dodge. How do we do this? And describe your mighty blow from the battle axe. I'm just trying to. Cut him in half again to cut his human body off of that yeah. robot part. So follow that line. As you get a two, he deflects it off to the side. He's like, no such proletarian weapon will, will be ever be able to harm the mighty Robo Chavez. Hey, Cat, you're up. Well, I'm still prone as far as I know. Yes. So I'm going to try and uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to make it. That's a free action standing up. Yep. Stand back up. Shoot him again. And shoot him again with the. Uh, are you gonna the do armpit laser? Because it works before. Are you gonna do double armpit I lasers? I guess you have two of them, and you have two actions. Are you gonna go like put your hands behind your head and be like, beep? <laughs> yeah, I gotta do that sort of a half blitz to get him with each one. But <laughs> and uh, like I said, he was like, uh, so yeah, you see, uh, Robo Chavez push the uh, battle axe aside, and he's like, no, uh, no proletariat weapon such as that would be able to harm the likes of Robo Chavez. And describe your laser blast from your armpit. Well, what can I say? It's pretty pungent. <laughs> smells like victory. Not only four hits this time, though. It smells like victory or at least speed stick. Yeah. 
more of three. Right. Effective like, if you, you do an extra damage, and you have one more action. And he's like, oh, oh, you hit him, and he's like, you hit him right in the uh, the uh, the robo nipple, and he's like, oh, my mighty, mighty worker Pex, you have damaged them. You have harmed me in the kitty. The proletarian <laughs> pectorials have been damaged. The proletarian. The proletarians have Actually, been damaged. Oh, user I'm going to take cover because he's probably gunning for me. I mean, yeah. I know well, he's, he's in hand to hand combat. He's, he's currently in hand to hand oh. combat with Lee. All right, then sure, I'll shoot him again. Yeah. And also, uh, <laughs> I should have rolled to see if you hit Lee, but all right. I'll give that, I'll give that last one to you for free. Well, right. Only two hits. Give me a d6. Roll. That time I might have hit Lee. I don't know. What do you think, Alita? The game is fucking weird. <laughs> You're just yep. figuring that out. It's <laughs> fucking weird. I kind of do just like a little sound clip of that. Uh, you rolled two hits. Uh, and he, yeah. uh, he was able Probably to dodge. Uh, he does a little, uh, as he holds his pitch, uh, roll a titty, and uh, he's like, does a little back flip around, or a little spin around, like a little pirouette, and he's like, Fool me once, but you yeah, I kind of telegraphed it because you know too much of a twist needed to get the other yeah. armpit to bear. All right, uh, Sume. I don't know. It's uh, well, got some surgery. Yeah, things. sorry. It's uh, Robo Chavez's turn. Uh, he goes to do a sumoplex slam on Lee. He like he's gonna go uh, down, um, down around your. Or he's gonna grab you by the waist, flip you over, and try to slam you uh, into the ground backwards. On the other side, uh, which would be, I guess, be unarmed combat. Uh, so I'm going to be throwing seven dice on that. Yes, I have his character sheet made. Two hits. And I'm uh, doing an agil- uh, agility, agility check for dodge? Yeah. Yes, agility. One hit. All right. As he flips you over and slams you to the ground, you take one damage. And uh, he does that little, uh, I forgot what they're called, where you, you just do the, like, kind of roll back and, like, flip up on your feet real quick. And uh, pulls out the mark. Uh, what's the name of that fucking pistol again? Makarov. Makarov. And uh, points it at uh, Liz. Macaroni. Meet Prole- uh, Meet the uh, justice of the Macaroni and Chavez. <laughs> meet uh, Meet the uh, justice of the working class, the Robo class. Two hits. Give me a agility check. And how do you dodge that? Oh, did we lose cat? Oh, oh, I think mm-hmm. we did. Oh, uh, okay, give me an uh, agility check to dodge that. Uh, we need to beat two. Uh oh, you're gonna shoot me again, huh? Yeah, right. no, this time you hit me. Yeah, uh, you get hit in the uh, right in the elbow. He's trying, he, ah. he, he's trying to shoot you in the armpit to hopefully disable your uh, armpit lasers. You take uh, you take one damage to cover the armpit, but ow, he hit me in the elbow. <laughs> <laughs> it really stings. You hit the funny bone. What the fuck? <laughs> they even call it the funny bone. bone. That's so not funny when it gets hit. All right. Uh, so, Sume, you're up. I was uh, tied up doing some survey thing. Oh, I forgot to put in the uh, the modifier for the pistol. But all right, you lucked out on that one. Sume, you're up. I, I thought I was disabled this turn. Yeah, you're doing, uh, so how do you answer the, uh, questions of, uh, make up some cool answers for the survey of, uh, do you think you're, uh, addicted? basically it's like a, under the, uh, like, it's obviously, are you addicted to, uh, happy pills, but it's not actually coming out and say, asking you, are you addicted to happy pills? I wouldn't say I'm addicted, they just make me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had suicidal thoughts lately? No suicidal thoughts lately. Uh, how do you sleep when you don't have happy pills? I toss and turn without happy pills because they make you happy. And uh, the little cartoon, like uh, uh, Zygmunt Freud kind of does a little frowny face. Mm, interesting. Interesting. Um, oh, no. can, uh, how productive would you say on a scale of 1 to 10 are you without happy pills? I'd say 3. 3. Mm, mm, okay. All right, and uh, with that, when you don't have happy pills, uh, how often do you think of happy pills? I'm just sad without happy pills. Please answer the question. Sometimes. Sometimes, okay. Uh, a little pop-up comes uh, to, I need a D4, there's four of you. There's a congratulations logo that pops up on Lee, uh, your... Uh, 
your head, heads up display, Lee, says, congratulations, you have now been promoted to a uh, morale officer of your troubleshooting team. Please, uh, the, uh, the morale of your team is now upon your shoulders. And then there's a little frowny face. Sorry, you are no longer team leader. Cat, uh, you get a uh, pop-up that says, congratulations, <laughs> you are now team leader. And a little frowny face that says, you're no longer hygiene officer. And then oh, no. hygiene, uh, yeah, and then uh, you get a, uh, you get a frowny face that says, sorry, uh, citizen, but you are now no longer the morale officer of your team. You are now the hygiene officer. Congratulations for your promotion. <laughs> All right, dog, you're up. No, I don't get a promotion. No, I, I think you're good. I messed up somewhere. <laughs> I messed up somewhere. I don't know where. So I, thought I, I thought I gave her permission. But yeah, Something I, got messed up. There is no denying that. A friend computer had a glitch, but you can't. Uh, but, you know, a friend licking, computer doesn't have glitches, so he must. it must have been all done right. Currently licking the wall where my charred remains were scorched against it. Yes. You're licking the charred remains of your, uh, your vaporized self. As your buddies fight uh, Robo Chavez and the uh, crater uh, crater of a nuclear blast. Oh, that's got to be the most. <laughs> that's got to no be the worst. Got your ass handed to you once, jumped out a window, didn't even fragging die. Now you're dealing with weirdos that are <laughs> drugged up, licking a wall because a nuclear blast turned them into a mural, and now getting lasered with <laughs> armpit lasers. That's a hell of a way to go. And just... They're sitting in a crater of a yeah. They're sitting in the crater of a nuclear blast. One guy is licking the uh, uh, vaporized remains of his body while uh, they uh, they do battle with Robo Chavez with armpit lasers and have to do a fucking uh, a drug a drug and alcohol evaluation in the middle of all this. This is a fucking yeah, that's a this is a great boss fight. Though. This has been a great boss fight. I fucking love it. I don't oh, think we have to reduce this guy to zero health. If I'm honest, I think it, I think we just need to wait for the dawning realization. He only has one more. Fuck his life has led him. He, uh, <laughs> yeah, he has two. He only has two boxes of damage. So yeah. If so. I if I put the pieces together and I realize this is where my life was, I just kind of leave. I think you still have a grenade. Don't you? Oh no, you blew up the last. You you you're yeah. You nuked everything with the last grenade. All right. Yep. That's the reason there is no more grenades. But you do have a laser pistol. Oh, do I? Yeah, you all have a yeah. laser pistol. Oh, all right. I, I can't remember who actually had the uh, and, uh, who had the special barrel for the laser pistol. I forgot who had that. That's my question. I can't remember who got uh, it. The team oh. leader had uh, pinched it from tied, the tied uh, robot. Up. I'm tied up doing it. Okay, Lee has it. <laughs> I no, thought he it then he grenade yeah. the robot. Yeah, well, I'm just saying that that laser. Uh, I'm just letting you know, uh, we, you guys. I'm not sure if you connected the dots, but that barrel will actually. That laser uh, cannon is green. We know that. Yeah, that. Uh, yeah, that one should be able to kill him. And straight Dave has it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember who had it, so I don't know. All right, so uh, Doug, you're up. What are you I'm doing? I'm gonna make my way to where I can actually be useful because I thought it was just kind of out of the situation, having done my part and could do more. No, more you're, you're like. You're just like they're fighting in the crater of the factory, and you're like just outside where the factory used to be, licking a wall. <laughs> now I'm gonna go be helpful because I remembered I had a weapon. Okay, uh, give me a give me an agility check to see if you can move in uh, in range, and give you a threshold of two. Uh, I'm not gonna succeed that. What is your agility? You, you seem to not be able to roll anything. You don't have any skills whatsoever. Well, I got a dice pool of five to work with, and yeah, uh, you need, and you only need two hits, and that's not counting in the negative four I have. Imagine. Why do you have a negative four? Because I have a negative four. You're the one who put this sheet together, mate. Ask yourself that question. So you have a dice pool of six. Your gun. Five. I'm not understanding. So, oh, okay. So, but you have a negative four. So you have one dice. So you're not. Uh, yeah, yeah, so you're gonna have to. Uh, it's gonna take you two, uh, both your turns to get in a uh, get in range. Okay, cool. You're good. All right. All right. Are you able to handle? Well, hand your laser pistol to the drug addict and go go and laser cyber. Hey, if you want to look at your skill, uh, your skill set and figure out something else to do, we can. Uh, I'll move over to Lee, and we can come back to you. You don't have well, to do I'm gonna that. Get to where I can. I'm gonna try and get close at least. And if you can pass a, uh, which apparently you can't, uh, I was going to say, if you get a threshold to, uh, fuck it. If you can get one success on your one uh, agility die, I'll let you close that distance. All right, let's see if I succeed. I do not succeed. 
Okay. <laughs> so it's going to take you two, uh, both your actions to close the distance, and you'll come back in next. Uh, you'll be in range next turn. All right, Lee, you're up. Yep. You just got sumoplexed into the ground. Oh, I'm going to wow. stand up. And since he was just shooting at um, Wanda, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, does that he has mean your that I'm back behind him? him? Yeah. So I'm just going to try, since he's, I'm behind, I'm just going to try and swing the battle axe right into the back of his head. He's <laughs> like, like, cut him straight in half with that thing. Nice. Total like Conan the Barbarian. You might have to jump up in the air a little bit to get that high. It's really big. <laughs> I am Conan the Barbarian. Do you have any one liner you want to say when you when you do Conan this? The barbar- <laughs> barbarian or was it Barbarian? Bar Barbarian. <laughs> barbarian. Barbarian. It was Barbarian, as in the uh, he's both a bard and a barbarian. I stole that from somewhere on the internet. I have no idea where. Bar 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 bar. Yes. I'm Conan the Barbie. Mm. I don't know. Uh, so roll your dice and describe your your blow. You're aiming for right in the back of his head. You're having to jump up. Are you doing this one handed or two handed? Two handed. Awesome. That was a correct answer, by the way. <laughs> and I scream, "The revolution dies!" And I get two hits. Uh, I rolled one hit, and uh, yeah, you hit him right. Uh, he he sees it coming at the last second. But he do- or he tries to dodge out of the way, and you cut off his robotic arm. And he's like, "Oh yes, you think the revolution's dead? But try this." I'm trying to think. I trying to. I can't remember fucking Marx. I I've read Marx, and I can't remember any one-liners of Marx. <laughs> the price of Lenin. I mean, he wrote a manifesto. I don't think that's somebody of few words. And he uh, he goes to punch you in the uh, like right in the chest as you come down after cutting off his arm. He has one one health left, by the way. So. As you, uh, and he, tra- uh, he tries to grab you by the neck and he's like, uh, here's some petty bourgeoisie There's for you. Looming over two hits. So give me an agility check to dodge for two hits. Yeah, two or better. Five. How do you, how do you like ninja dodge this thing after doing a fucking Conan? You do a Conan the Barbarian, fucking ah, cut off his robot arm as he, and he spins around and tries to grab you by the neck and you'd like super dodge us. How do you super dodge us? I'm just following through in the swing, so I'm bending over in half, just making sure that arm gets cleaved off, and so I can come be ready next turn. Just kind of stand back up and cut him in half. From so the as side. you cut it off, you go down into like a combat roll to the other side, and he thinks you're going to be yeah. standing, and he misses. All right, cat, uh, you're up. All right, he's back engaged with uh, with the battle axe, so I'm gonna I'm gonna roll behind him and laser him one more time. Okay. I'm still trying to protect the other side because it got me in the elbow, so I can't really get that laser out, but I've still got one. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, only two hits on 12 dice. That's terrible. Can I, like, spend Moxie to re-roll that? Yes, you can. All right. I'm going to do that. Do I re-roll all 12 or just the ones that missed? All 12. All right. Seriously? I don't think I don't think, was... it, I don't think it went through. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's the same roll, isn't it? Okay. It's gonna okay. Say, they get two again. Four. That's better. <laughs> that's twice as good. Five. Yeah. It's the, uh, as you shoot at him, he does a uh, he does a duck and roll, uh, just like uh, but in the opposite direction that uh, Lee's character did. And he's like, I smelled that coming. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> All right, uh, Commissioner Barry, you're up. Right. They're not I'm Commissioner so Barry. Happy. Sorry, Straight Dave. Straight Dave. So it's a, <laughs> Why Straight I Dave? Mean, what what is what what straight? I don't know, I, but well, sooner or later we're going to have a character named Gay Dave in another character in another game. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not going to know why he's called Gay Dave either. <laughs> I think that's going to be the next time playthrough, and they'll have Gay Dave. <laughs> All right, I want to point out you're the one with the special barrel that can actually hurt this guy. All right, so I'm going to shout out happiness. All right, time. give me a, yeah, give me a, uh, yeah, you, you finished up the survey of do you have a uh, drug uh, drug addiction problem? Uh, uh, yeah, I, 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 I um, attached the correct barrel to the gun or to the laser. All right, give me, a, uh, give me a, uh, I need a check on that one to see if you can, uh, mechanical engineering check. Mechanical and or actually, I think there's a weapon. No, weapons and armor. Weapon and armor. Yeah, weapon and armor okay. maintenance. And describe how you're changing this out in the middle okay. of the battle. Uh, I guess this is a laser. Is it like screw off or something? I'm just gonna like 
like you know, find it like you know where it screws off the barrel and then attach the other one. I was like, I, I'm shouting out happiness is mandatory. <laughs> you're, just, you're just sitting there by yourself. Happiness is mandatory. Happiness is mandatory. Happiness is mandatory. <laughs> I don't know what happened to Game Day, but I'm strict. <laughs> <laughs> You're like happiness is mandatory. Happiness is mandatory. I'm not gay, Dave. I'm straight, Dave. I, I I'm straight, 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 Dave. I got three hits. <laughs> this party's getting crazy. All right, give me a. What'd you roll? Uh, three. You actually get it changed out in time, uh, and you can actually shoot him with it this turn. Hey, I'm gonna shoot you away. No. Happiness is mandatory. Copy. You got three hits. You did a good. You did a good roll on that one. Uh, gay, gay. I mean, straight, Dave. Gay, Dave. <laughs> Happiness is mandatory. I'm like, I only got two hits. For them. Tears I'm falling from your tears falling from your eyes. I Happiness is mandatory, and I'm straight. Straight, Dave. It's good. I got so much. I'm gonna reroll that because. Yeah. Uh, okay. You gotta be beat. That was better. I got one on the rim. Uh, do you have any more moxie? Because you can keep on rerolling until you're out of moxie. Ah, screw it. Like this has to be bad. He only has one damage. One damage. Yeah, that's four hits. There you go. <laughs> two. Two. All right. <laughs> yeah, you do uh, two damage to him, which is enough to take him down. Describe how you kill uh, Robo Chavez. I guess I, uh, I just shoot him in the head on like, with your big, with your big ass gay energy now. Happy, you're happy. You killed him with your happy thoughts. I killed him with what happy is this Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> Through the power of friendship and violence, you kill Robo <laughs> The power of friendship compels you. What is this My Little Pony? All right, describe describe uh, the killing blow of uh, how you did this. <laughs> Shouting out, you know, happiness mandatory. I, I take aim and I get. Does it have a leader sight? Because I want to say it has a leader sight. So sure, say, yeah, it's a it's a double like, barreled weapon of, now. All right. Yeah, just down the middle of his, you know, aim it up, it's right between his eyes, and pull the trigger. Up. That's for gay Dave. That's for what? Gay Dave. <laughs> That's for gay Dave. All right. All right, you guys are uh, <laughs> sitting in the uh, crater of a nuclear, uh, what was once a nuclear hellfire that killed millions. Uh, you have defeated the enemy and destroyed the uh, the ultraviolet palace of uh, the headquarters of uh, uh, Sector 160, but at least you stopped the Russian from taking, taking control and destroying you stopped you stopped the revolution from destroying the headquarters of sector 160 by destroying the headquarters of sector 160 technically that's a success <laughs> yeah mission accomplished mission accomplished. <laughs> we killed communism how do you celebrate your victory we against robo communism, communism. <laughs> robo uh, sorry what was that robo bushnovism what was it Robush Robo 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 yeah, you've defeated the Robushnoviks through extreme violence and destroying what they were already going to destroy to begin with. You know, How do I you celebrate your vic this victory? Let's with go a back. bubbly beverage. I was going to say, let's go <laughs> back to the, uh, the bus, take the bouncy bubbly <laughs> beverage, shake it all up, and then throw them. <laughs> <laughs> and just start spraying it on each other like champagne. Yeah. <laughs> and in the, mid in, the mid in the middle of it, you guys have the realization when you shake it up, it explodes, and you guys all lose one more clone. <laughs> happiness is mandatory. Happiness is hard to avoid. Boom. Well, all right. Uh, we're going to open up the last scene of the game at your debriefing. So, uh, Happiness and explosions are mandatory. How, describe how beat up your characters are as you're sitting in the debriefing room, uh, waiting the uh, your uh, yellow counterpart to come in and get the debriefing from you. Let's go from the top to the bottom. So, uh, Sume, how beat up? What did your character look like after all this adventure? How beat up are um, you? I, I guess I was healed and then, like, what, two clients, so I should be... You guys blew yourself fresh. up a bouncy, bubbly beverage in a celebration of uh, victory, so you guys are all, yeah. like, brand new clones. Yeah, so, uh, you know, uh, maybe I'm just... I don't know, I, I guess I'm all fresh and clean, so... 
I just gonna be sitting there like so fresh and so clean. So oh, fresh shiny and so dude, clean. you know, shiny chrome. <laughs> Like a virgin. Yeah, I kind of expect you guys to be beat up. I mean, you guys are new clones, like, but yeah. Yeah, if you're from new you're kind of sticky I mean, from bouncy bubbly beverage. Uh, some or so somehow you got yourself clean beforehand. Uh, dog, what's your character? How's your character look in the, uh, getting this briefing? Fidgeting a whole lot. Wants to chew on his own hand. This, this slightly looks... more insane than the last one. You just look up. You look over to uh, the uh, infrared uh, janitor, and you're like. Does this hand look tasty to you? It looks tasty. Oh, you eat this hand, right? Do you eat me? The infrared. The infrared looks at you and goes, uh, "Excuse me, sir, but uh, I, I know you're uh, of a red uh, security clearance, but that is sexual harassment, and it doesn't belong in the workplace. Uh, please don't make me report you to friend computer." Goodbye, hand. All right, cat. What is your uh, What is your character doing while waiting for uh, the debriefing and what do you look like after this harrowing uh, well, disaster? I of, look uh, like uh, pretty much about like normal, except that the armholes of my jumpsuit have been burned away from the laser blast. <laughs> and I've got those two shiny stars uh, at, e- at at my temples at either end, so I can you know sort of rub my head. <laughs> you got the two shiny paper stars uh, stickers stuck to your temple. That's great. <laughs> either side of my head. Just kind of trying to rub away the headache. All right, uh, Lee, what does your character look like, and uh, what are you doing while you're waiting for the debriefing? Well, as the new happiness officer, I just heard the interaction with that infrared, so I go over and give him a happiness pill <laughs> and take one for myself and say, happiness is mandatory. You're not that happy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I enjoy all my uh, red superiors who are in charge of uh, troubleshooting. Thank you very yeah, much. He pops a pill, and he's like... Whoa, do you see the lights? And he starts looking at uh he starts looking at uh dog's hand or uh or Snoop's hand and be like, Man, I would totally eat that hand too. I don't know what it's talking about. I'd eat I'd eat me so hard. All right, uh a very cool <laughs> 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 So at this moment uh a yellow comes in and uh all right, uh Sir and or ma'am, troubleshooters, uh, I have a few questions for you in your debriefing. Uh, could you explain the, uh, first off, let's, uh, let's explain to me what happened during your mission. Uh, who is a team leader? Uh, at this point, I'm the team leader. Team leader, could you uh, explain, uh, go over the events of your ordeal? Well, uh, simply put, we were assigned to report to Sector 160 to investigate uh, robots that were attacking uh, citizens. We encountered one robot that was indeed attacking citizens and yelling about a robot. I have a question. Before you made it to Sector 160, a certain uh, team member named Snoop said that he had psychic powers. Do you know anything about these mutations? (laughs) I have not witnessed any uh, indications of, of psychic powers from Snoop. Uh, which team member is Snoop? Gesture at dog. Holds up, up, holds up a very hand. chewed up hand. <laughs> Possibly not attached to him anymore. Possibly he looks at it. Uh, he hand. looks at it. Gives a look of, I don't get paid enough to uh, comment on that. And goes, <laughs> so, Mr. Snoop, uh, what is this you said about psychic powers at the beginning of your mission? Uh, apparently, you have... Some form of psychic powers. I look at him like he's got two heads on his shoulders. Look a very profound confusion. Psychic. Do you think powers. your clone may be defective at this moment? <laughs> no. I'm as sane as anybody. Yes, but do you think your clone may be defective? Not at all. Hey, uh, he writes some notes. Yes, uh, I'm going to put you in for... Psychic and psychiatric evaluation. Uh, these are mandatory and do not be late. Uh, please continue. What? Uh, what? Nona. Totally says your name wrong on purpose. Uh, thank you. So we proceeded to sector one six. We it did indeed encounter a robot that was using its rivet gun to attack citizens. We put a stop to that, but not before hearing that robot talk about the Robolution. Uh, we came to realize... Would this uh, be some kind of to... lubrication for robots? Well, we talked to the... <clears throat> we talked to the 
person in charge of the uh, the bouncing bubbly beverage uh, brewery. Um, uh, speaking the of there. people in charge, do you remember questioning your higher ups may have made a mistake? <laughs> Something well, along the lines of uh, maybe working or when you were talking to security. In what ways did your higher ups make mistakes, and why did you not report them? Well, for one thing, someone redacted our mission uh, profile, but that was later discovered that that was not an accident. That was because we were not actually authorized to know where we were supposed to meet for this mission. Uh, and then the individual who briefed us for this mission was chewing on pencils, but before we had an opportunity to report him, uh, security burst into the mission briefing and arrested him. Okay. We certainly would have reported him for that incident. That's very interesting. That's not the incident I was talking about. But did you re oh. did you bother reporting this uh, person who was destroying Alpha Complex uh, equipment after security had arrested him? As did you know what security was arresting him for? Well, they mentioned there he is. There's the pencil. So I assumed that that was about the pencil that he was destroying. So you had evidence that this um, this criminal was destroying Alpha Complex equipment and neglected to actually give it to security? I assumed that the people arresting him were aware of the incident. Give me a give me an oratory roll. Oh, oratory. <laughs> no. Hmm, that's not that bad. Would you roll on? I'm not on the dice roller. Uh, one hit. One hit. All right. Uh, I'm going to have you do uh, some classes on the proper ways and when and where to report evidence to security. Of course. Thank you, sir. And continue with I your will debriefing. I those classes please. very much because they will make me happy. Yes, those classes are fun and mandatory. And fun is mandatory. So go, uh, please continue. Thank you. So we proceeded to the, the, the bouncing, bubbly beverage brewery bureaucrat who uh, informed us that uh, many of his robots were indeed organizing and forming what I believe he called a, a, a labor onion. Hmm. Yes, I believe, that's a, had... I believe that might be a typo in the uh, text of the, uh, the report I received earlier. I believe that's a union, not an onion. I... I... Far be it from me to correct you, sir. Uh, yes, we've already uh, we've already executed three people for the uh, the t uh, the typo of the text. So please refer to it, it as a union from now on. Of course, uh, he had captured one robot that was involved in the labor union, and so we interrogated that robot. And based on our interrogation, we were able to conclude that. Uh, the labor movement was being run by a Robo Chavez. Excuse me. Entire... Movement? I believe we were referring to it as a union. <laughs> are you trying to subvert the uh, Are you trying to subvert the ideas of uh, verbiage in the, uh, the the official report of this uh, uh, of this encounter and event of troubleshooting? Uh, not at all, sir. I was just trying to make sure I didn't stumble and use the wrong, the, the, the other word that you told me not to use anymore. All right, we will stick to the word union from here on out. Thank you. Okay. Please add one treason to, uh, this is not him, this is me. Add one treason to your, uh, and how much treason do you have so far? That gives me one. Oh, okay. You're, you're good. Once you're at four, you, you lose a clone. All right. Uh, please continue. We proceeded to the coordinates that we had uh, obtained from that. Um, so before you left to the coordinates, line. one of your team members, a certain Snoop, uh, apparently <laughs> in the office, and he he pushes a button on a little screen comes down, like a little projector screen, and you have like you could hear like the actual film going, Ch and uh, they have a film of a uh, dog. Uh, this soda tastes like capitalists. Uh, so what did your your team member mean by these this bouncy bubbly beverage at the bouncy bubbly beverage brewery tasting like capitalism why did he not report this to uh, the proper authorities well i assume <laughs> i i i mean that that clone is dead now so i'm not sure what he meant but i understood it at the time to mean that it tastes like 
uh, the good things about capitalism, which is the opposite of communism, or so I've been told. Well, we do not have capitalism here in uh, Alpha Complex, nor do we have communism. So, without reporting uh, one of those, could you justify your your team or your team member not reporting the uh, a secret society of capitalism infiltrating the tasty beverage of bouncy bubbly beverage? Well, we had no evidence that there was any such infiltration. Apparently, it was just a of- uh, your your member Snoop could taste the capitalism in the bouncy bubbly beverage, so there was evidence. Snoop, I do, uh, do you have any uh, bubbly beverage? Do you have any explanation of why you did not report this uh, evidence of uh, unregulated capitalism within Alpha Complex? Let me ask you something first. I point an accusing finger, not currently attached to my body. Why are you doubting the grand design of friend computers? I'm not, sir. I am asking you why you didn't report a, uh, 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 I can't remember the, uh, seditious act of, uh, capitalism or infiltrating the tasty, the tastiness of bouncy bubbly beverage. Oh, I do declare you are indeed committing the fell sin that I accuse you of now, Jacques. Okay, um, I'm sorry, team leader. I'm going to have to execute your uh, your team member. He uh, yeah, he pushes a button. A little uh, this little button, uh, a little pedestal comes up. There's a uh, he flips open the little, where the red button is, and on the uh, on the red little flip label it says, "In case of treason, please push button." And a little late, uh, four lasers come out of each corner. Go, and uh, you turn into like uh, you have like a, the Star Trek kind of like you can see your skeleton. Uh, a new clone. Oh, cool. comes, a new clone comes down. Okay, I'm sorry about that, team. Leader. I'm sorry about the disruption of this uh, this particular uh, moment. So, pl- yes, uh, please, uh, please continue. Oh. Yes, uh, actually, I, I you did that- mention a pencil. Correct. Yes. The, the security <laughs> so when you saw, first had... saw the pencil before the security team came in, why did you not report the finding of that pencil? Did you not see the uh, multiple advertisements that's been going over the uh, displays in Alpha Complex asking, have you seen this pencil? I had seen those advertisements, yes. The person who was chewing on the pencil was giving us a briefing from Friend Computer at the time. And I wanted to make sure that we did, in fact, get that full briefing, first of all, so that we could serve Friend Computer. And then second of all, so that once I reported him for chewing on the pencil, we could then check those orders to see if he was also giving us correct orders. So I was gathering evidence against him uh, when the security forces arrived. All right, give me an oratory check. Also, if anybody wants to help her out or try to sabotage her, you're more than welcome to. Two. Okay, yeah. All right, so you didn't report it on the assumption that you were gathering more evidence against a uh, suspected uh, terrorist. Exactly. I wanted to make sure that I had the complete picture. and I thought I was going to get you at that. Send him up for (laughs) damaging property. Yeah. All right. I think at this Please point, continue, uh, is literally spitting bullets. By the way, <laughs> spitting bullets. Uh, all right. Uh, so when you interrogated, uh, have we gotten the, uh, this far in the uh, your report of interrogating the robot? Uh, yes. Yeah. I mentioned that we interrogated the robot. So um, during this, you dressed as communist. Where did you get the communist uh, regalia? Uh, that was issued to us by R and D as part of our mission equipment. And um, how did you know what a communist looks like? We made educated guesses. Uh, what educational system did you learn what a communist looks like? <laughs> well, friend computer has given us all sorts of uh, guidance on how to identify and and therefore avoid communists. All right, give me a disguise check. Also, if somebody wants to interrupt and help her out with a disguise roll. Oh, disguise is terrible for me. This is going to suck. I'll let it, I'll let somebody else roll it, but they're going to have to come up and talk about uh, the different uh, what they did and how they knew it. And you can also, Kat, you can blame somebody else. They knew it's what true. a communist looked like. Yeah, I would just use those of the kid. The, the, disguises were issued, the disguises were issued to our communication officer. 
That's that same no. guy who said he tasted capitalism and is now licking his hand, which he chewed off. It's that guy's fault. Your communications officer. I don't know what she's to... talking about. So, how did you know what a? Uh, and I believe it was actually Sume who did the dice roll here. So this is great. And how many clones do you have left, dog? I think you're gonna throw it under the bus here. I like how you're embracing it. You're like, fuck it, kill me. I don't know how many I've got. Uh, how many you, had, you started like? with six, and you've gone through two so far. Did you spend? Right, so did you like spend any clones to improve your character? I thought he went no. through more than that. Okay, with so you should have four clones left. Did he explode? Like, yeah, he exploded. Oh no, you've gone through three. You've exploded. You. Uh, everybody lost one in the nuke. Yeah, everybody lost one in the nuke, and you just got uh, vaporized for just basically talking shit. <laughs> Uh, oh, and, and, and I blew everybody up with the fuzzy bubbly. Yeah. <laughs> we all lost one of the nuke, and we all lost one to So you the, got three uh, clones left. Bubbly beverage explosion. So you were the communications officer, correct, sir? Mr. Like Mr. Noop. So was it your, you who disguised the team as communists? Nope. Who was it then? That, that wasn't the, my idea. Who was it that dis, uh, disguised the team as communists? Uh, that one right there. I point right back at, uh, at Wanda. <laughs> Wanda? Oh, what do you have to say? Uh, about, I, I think it's funny because it was actually Sume. <laughs> well, it was my Not idea. No. It was my idea to deceive the robot, but I didn't actually do the disguises. I don't know how to do that. Yeah, so it's not that you uh, disguised, uh, disguised yourself. It's uh, more of how did you know what a communist looked like? Well, I so. didn't. I delegated that to the disguised person. All right. So, what evidence do you have that a uh, that the other and uh, I'll I'll take an argument from both of you of who uh, who was at fault for knowing what a communist looked like, and how did you know? And please, uh, please at least name two people who. Were the uh, were involved in your knowledge of communism, uh, that Mr. Snoop? Dad was in charge of the team, so it was ultimately his decision to disguise us as communists and to approve the disguise. <laughs> no, uh, so it was not your call as team leader. It was uh, at that time. No, Mr. I was promoted to team leader afterward. At that time, I was the hygiene. Okay, officer. so you were in charge of hygiene at the time. So, yes. Mr. Snoop, no, not Snoop. Uh, Mr. Chad, Chad Chatterson. Uh, what? Uh, how did you know, and how did your team know what a communist looked like? How did you gain this knowledge of, uh, this integral knowledge of communism? I actually just used the images I saw from all the posters that Frank Computers placed around us, warning us about communist agents that may be around us. Okay. Uh, please give me a, er, this is out of character, uh, give me a dice roll of oratory. And or disguise. I'll, I'll take disguise too. Three hits. Three hits. Okay. So you had no knowledge of actual communists. You just used the propaganda art of warning about communists. I don't know that I would call it propaganda. That seems to put a bad spin on <laughs> oh, Frank Computer's work. Yes, uh, that was a test I, to make I, I sure that, that you be, knew. Be reported because that's. Are you that's reporting just... him? Yes, that was a. Yeah, uh, I think so. <laughs> uh, uh, there's a little conversation between him and Frank Computer. It's like. No, Frank Computer. I was trying to uh, make sure that they knew these weren't propaganda, and that if they did think that they were propaganda, it was a uh, a sly move of uh, deception to make sure <laughs> that these uh, these troubleshooters would know uh, if they if they would have accepted it as propaganda, they would have then been uh, exposed as communist sympathizers. That was totally not my. Uh, but uh, give me a. Uh, Somebody give me a moxie. Who has the best moxie? Let's see if this works out for you guys. Not it. I'm at minus four. I'm at a mere minus one. I'm going to say if you guys get three hits, he gets vaporized by Frank Computer. <laughs> Anybody got better than a minus one? I have no. I have like a minus four. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, I'm not... I'm not going to be able to pull this one off. Uh, that'd be the Moxie the skill, not Moxie the, uh, the reroll. Yes. Yeah, uh, and there's like, no, no, he just, he seems a little confused on stuff sometimes. It's under, it's under management. Yeah, it's under management. What do you have? I have minus one. 
All right, so minus, or who wants to roll the minus one? We got two people with minus one, which is the best level of moxie. That's terrifying. All right. <laughs> no guts, no glory. Nothing. All right, it's like, okay, yes, I under, uh, I totally understand your uh, devious ways of deception to uh, undermine the suspected uh, sedition of Alpha Complex, and I uh, appreciate uh, what you're doing for our glorious cause of survival in the after the end of the world, Chummer. Or, excuse me, Citizen. I don't know why I keep on saying Chummer. I never, I always forget to say Chummer and Shadowrun, and I, I'm saying it left and right in uh, this. And the little screen goes back up. All right, and you guys have saved yourself from that one. Yay. Okay. So, as, after you finish the, after you finish the, sorry, I gotta get the voice right. So, after you finish the interrogation of the robot, please pick up the, uh, the encounter from there. And it doesn't have to be, uh, it doesn't have to be, uh, I forgot, Rwanda? Just Wanda. Wanda. It doesn't have to be Wanda who takes it, but she is a team leader, so he's, he's kind of looking at her. I'm but... the team leader now. Yeah. Um, we had been authorized by the Bouncing Bubbly Beverage Brewery bureaucrat to use the Bouncing <laughs> Bubbly Beverage yes! Yes! Brewery <laughs> bus, and so we used the bus to proceed to the coordinates that we had been given by... Uh, the compromised robot after shutting that robot back so, off so it could not and just just to complete way, our records you know what plan. happened and soon after you left the factory there was an explosion at the bouncy bubbly beverage brewery do you know anything about the bouncy bubbly beverage brewery bomb we i do not know anything about the bouncy bubbly <laughs> beverage beverage brewery bomb i would assume that that had something to do with the ongoing uh, difficulties with the robot labor force. Yeah. So you suspect there's a uh, robot saboteur, or robotour, if you will. I would indeed suspect that. Okay. Please continue. Of course. Uh, we proceeded to the coordinates uh, where we found a suspicious cleaning bot that was uh, not uh, responding to a request for assistance. And then when we asked that cleaning bot to assist us in cleaning up a mess, it instead ran away, which was... Interesting. That doesn't seem to be very proper programming at all. Right. So we chased that robot down, uh, suspecting that it, based on that malfunction, that it might be a sympathizer with this, I believe they called it Robolution, uh, and that, that Robo was what they uh, were calling uh, the uh, Rob I can't say it. I can't, I can't, why can I not ever say it? Robo... Robosovics? Robosovics. Yes. Yes. Uh, so we we captured that cleaning robot and used one of the tracking devices that we had been issued by Friend Computer in order to proceed with our mission, and, and used that to track the robot to a warehouse. Out of curiosity, what happened to this tracker? Were you able to recover it? I believe it was destroyed by the nuclear grenade that went off somewhat later in our mission profile. Interesting. Uh, we'll talk about that when we get there. Of course. So um, we followed the uh, cleaning robot via the tracker to a warehouse where there were many, many robots, uh, but no citizens at all. And they did indeed seem to be forming a labor union. Uh, at that point, a citizen, Snoop here, went in for a closer look. He, he asked us to turn our backs so that we wouldn't see him doing something that it seems mildly suspicious, but he had to that point been helpful, so... I what uh, <laughs> what kind of back. suspicion would you have of your uh, fellow troubleshooter, Snoop, at this moment? Uh, only that there, he was... He said that he didn't want us... There was something he didn't want us to see, and I was concerned that anything he wouldn't want us to see could potentially be treasonous, but I gave him the benefit of the doubt at that time. And what? And why would you think there'd be a treasonous activity happening at this moment? Well, because cameras have been following me my whole life. That's how Friend Computer keeps track of me. And the only time anyone ever wouldn't want a camera on them or wouldn't want to be seen would be if they were doing something treasonous. Mm. Uh, do you have any evidence of treasonous activity of this troubleshooter snoop i do not mm -hmm. perhaps uh, i would if i had watched him but i i do not because i didn't so if you suspected treasonous activity why did you not watch him i 
I would. I didn't suspect anything specific. I was just concerned. Uh, I would like to ask some of your fellow troubleshooters also. Did you expect or suspect treasonous activity at the time that your fellow troubleshooter Stu told you not to look at him? Let's I start with. Sus- let's start with Mr. Chad, Mr. Chatterson. What is your uh, what was your evaluation of the situation at the time? I had no no evidence or provocation to to wonder about him being treasonous at all. I trusted him. He asked me to turn around, so I trusted my teammate because Frank Computer is the one that chose this person to be on my team, so he had to make it a good choice. What was the outcome of the situation after he told you not to look at him? He was able to sneak into the warehouse and find out the information that we needed to know what was going on in the building. Interesting. Uh, Mr. Uh, Straight Dave. Yes? What was your evaluation <laughs> at the time when uh, your fellow troubleshooter Snoop told you not to look at him. Did you find it suspicious that there, and maybe even suspect uh, seditious activity at the time? You know, he asked me not to look, and the guy was getting ready to strip down. That That's suspicious right there, but I didn't want to see. Uh, so, he was stripping down at the time? Uh, would you like to elaborate on what that actually uh, he was, was? He was taking off his troubleshooting uniform to... Uh, why would you know, he be doing that? I have no idea. That's why I don't. That's, I would, Snoop, did you? Or, I sorry, dog. Did your character down, actually? There's... Did your character actually strip down? I don't remember that. <laughs> he pulled his pants down so that his genitals were exposed. Okay, and, and... He proceeded to flop it over his wrist like a wristwatch. He's committed to the bit of looking like a deranged maniac. Okay. Uh, and you know what? Nobody looked at him. No. Right. Um. Okay. Do you suspect this is being uh, not really seditious activity, but sexual harassment in the workplace? <laughs> this is for you, Mr. Dave. Sorry, what was the question again? Do you suspect this was not actually treasonous activity, but maybe sexual harassment in the workplace? Yes, because happiness is mandatory, and that was sexual harassment. <laughs> I would not say sexual harassment is happiness. But no, happiness, happiness is, is mandatory, though. Happiness but yes, is mandatory. happiness is mandatory. <laughs> um, Snoop, do you have any, uh, or did I miss anybody? To, I, I asked, uh, Lee, did I ask you about Mr. Ch- Mr. Chatterson? Did, did I ask you about uh, your uh, your evaluation of the situation? Yeah, and I said I had no yeah, reason yeah, I to remember. doubt him. Okay. Uh, Mr. Snoop, do you have uh, a defense of your actions at that time, uh, which may... I know it. I know it looks a little suspicious, but truth be told, I get really, really self-conscious when I'm sneaking, and I just really don't want people to look at me when I'm doing it. Yeah, right, give me an oratory. it makes me feel like I'm doing treason. Give me an oratory roll. See? Even he thought he was doing something treasonous. <laughs> so you suspected yourself. You suspected yourself of treason? Did you report yourself? Uh, so I put my dice away. Yeah, go ahead and roll an oratory, but uh, yeah, I'm but did you, uh, at the time that you suspected yourself of uh, being uh, or uh, seditious activity at all, did you uh, ever think of uh, filling out a acquisition of treason form or accusing of treason no form? Treason? But you just said you suspected yourself of treason. I can see how it might look that way, but it wasn't that. Right. Um, what was your oratory role? But you ju- he did just say that he suspected himself, correct? I admitted that it looked that way. No. Oh, oh, it looked that way. Okay, okay. Sorry. I got uh, four. Uh, four. Okay. It sounds Jesus, like... Going along. It sounds like uh, you, were, uh, you, you did not actually commit any treason there. It just seemed to be a suspicious activity. Please look at dice rolls. Yes, please fill out this excuse form of why you not actually uh, doing a treasonous activity. And uh, go ahead and fill that out. Well, uh, just uh, when I go to edit this, uh, when I go to, uh, you don't have to do it right this second, but when I go to edit this uh, episode, I'll put it in there of like what you wrote as your excuse for not being treasonous. All right, please continue with the uh, the debriefing. 
So your team member snuck into the factory, correct? Did we lose Cat? No, we're here. Sorry. Yes, our teammate snuck into the factory. He reported some things that he saw in there. In particular, there was a, an individual that appeared to be part citizen and part robot, which sounded very odd to me. But I guess you had to be there. And uh, apparently he detonated an explosive device. Yes, I inside. believe this was um, one uh, Robo Chavez, a.k.a. Comrade Red. Yes, that is my understanding as well. Uh, please continue. So he found Comrade Red, a.k.a. Robo Chavez, within there, and there was an explosive device that went off? Uh, he set off some sort of an explosive device. I believe... I believe I was told that it was one of the grenades we were issued. Uh, from my reports, it said the riot foam grenade went off, not an explosive device. Right. I, I was using explosive in the more general sense, but yes, that was the, the effect of the device, was the riot foam that suspended all of the robots. I just sent that to you, dog, <laughs> so you can find it. Oh, you, oh you already I filled, filled it out. out. Okay, uh... Hey, send check dice roll, that's where it was. Uh, please describe the, uh... You forgot the, uh, the box on the very top. Oh. Please describe the incident in your, uh... Just, I mean, if you don't fill out the, uh... The form correctly, you are, uh... You are, you are sabotaging the paperwork of Alpha Complex. Alright, uh, I'm gonna delete the one I got. I'm sorry, please continue. So, there was a riot foam grenade that went off inside the factory, uh... Uh, and how did that, uh, how was that device placed in the factory if there were robo, robo guards? I, I am not sure, certain how that device got in. I believe, uh, Snoop had the grenade while he was sneaking in, and so I assume that he left it there. Okay, so your, your infiltrator left it there as a trap, uh, trapping the, uh, company-sized element of, uh, uh, robo warriors in the factory or in the warehouse. Yes, <laughs> it was. You gotta post that to the fucking <laughs> proper. Uh, all right, uh, yeah, all right. So, all right, please continue. So, you were able to pin down the entire uh, company sized element of robo warriors with a single riot foam grenade. Very well up, uh, executed. Well done, by the way. Right. Now, at this time, uh, I should point out that our uh, erstwhile morale officer was um, using a lot of happy pills at this point in the in the mission, and I believe friend computer began to be concerned. And uh, so... Yes, I was actually going to bring that up at a later date when he, uh, after he took the survey. Why did you not report uh, the excessive use of happy pills by your morale officer? Yes, yes. Are you asking me or Chad? I'm asking you. Oh, what? You're the team leader, are you not? My job to report him. It would have been Chad's job. He was the team leader. We are um, currently team leader. Are you? You were a part of the I team and were able to, to see this. Uh, and you were able to see this excessive use of uh, happy pills. Were you not? Well, I saw that he was using a lot of them. I don't know if it was excessive. He just really wanted to be happy, sir. <laughs> Uh, we all we all want to be happy as we live in a happy society, but some people tend to abuse the uh, the use of happy pills, which becomes a burden of uh, on the supply chain of our happy pills. So why did nobody of your team ever report the uh, the excessive use of happy pills? Well, at the time, none of us actually were convinced that it was excessive. Uh, in retrospect. We're it probably was. I mean, clearly it was because friend computer got concerned, and friend computer would never be wrong. Uh, yes, the uh, I'm looking at the survey now. As he goes over, he flips over. He's not actually looking at it now. He flips over some sheets, and he's like, "Yes, he he completely failed the drug and alcohol or the happy pill evaluation uh, survey with horrible consequences." Uh, I believe in the middle of the uh, the middle of the. Uh, troubleshooting incident, you were, you had a shuffle of leadership. How did you handle this? I handled this by, um, I immediately took charge of the situation because I was no longer the hygiene officer. I was at that point the team leader. 
Yes. Um, he gives you a little like eyebrow, like uh, you know, the uh, little eyebrow look that like Spock gives everybody in the uh, the original Star Trek. And so we proceeded with the with the squad sized element of uh, Robolsheviks pinned down by the foam. We proceeded into the interior to locate and neutralize. Robo Chavez, aka. You just Brad. totally dodged the question by continuing with the evaluation <laughs> report. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Give me a chutzpah roll. Uh, oh, chutzpah's good. That's fucking great. I love it. Four hits. Okay, yeah, he uh, he seems more interested in the evaluation than uh, your explanation of uh, taking over. Oh, so good. please, get, please continue. That's not him telling you. That's me. And um. At this point, I believe uh, S- Citizen Snoop used the rest of the grenades to uh, destroy C- um, Robo Chavez. One of those grenades turned out to be thermonuclear. Yes, uh, I was wondering about the massive destruction of uh, actual Alpha Complex here. Uh, could you please uh, justify the use of a hand nuke in this particular situation? I believe the uh, at last count we're still uh, evaluating the uh, the cost of life of that uh, that particular incident, and I think we're up to uh, ten thousand right now, ten thousand five hundred <laughs> to be exact. Why is my chair so squeaky? Well, we use the resources that friend computer gave us, sir. I'm sure that if uh, a nuclear hand device was not necessary and authorized for this mission that friend computer would not have issued it to us because friend computer never makes mistakes you did uh destroy an entire of um that robo robo lush or robo i cannot say it robo robolshevik robolsheviks uh so i believe this uh the cost of life was justified in this action so i will uh go ahead and sign off on this one and um, before, or right before, or right before this, your your team member uh, Snoop quoted Karl Marx when uh, retrieve. Or this was this happened right after you retrieved the robot uh, from uh, the alleyway. Uh, can you please justify knowing how how does your team member know? Wait, he quoted Marx. Marx? Yes, he did. I, How would I, I know uh, that he quoted Marx? I don't read Marx. I don't know any of those words. How did you know that he was quoting Marx? <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me a hits for roll. Give me a hits for roll. <laughs> four hits. Oh, shit. All right, with four hits, the entire wall that's behind him slides open. There's a giant <laughs> eyeball. Hello, citizen. Your troubleshooter has a very good uh, question. How do you know uh, what Karl Marx said? How do you even know who Karl Marx is? And he's like, uh, 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 I, uh, I, I, I have to know to be able to. And like four lasers come down out of the ceiling. And I go, Phew! like, and like shoot him with lasers, like a fucking like nineteen eighties movie, like a cop who has like one week of retirement left at the beginning of a movie, and. Uh, the eyeball, our uh, friend computer, the eyeball goes, all right, chummer, or all right, citizens, uh, thank you for your uh, debriefing, and please have a good day, and thank you for uh, destroying the revolution of uh, Robushnoviks. You have a uh, friendly day. Here is 5,000 XP. Wow. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thanks, friend computer. No problem <laughs> there, citizen. I have other Glory things to do, so computer. I'm out of here. Happy is mad and dark. He just happy as he disappears. Happiness is mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, I assume that we all end this uh, session with a jumping high five in the air. With fizzly bubbly beverage, right? And a, and drinking a bouncy bubbly beverage. Oh after yeah. Like after I jump. After I jump. <laughs> after you do the jumping high five, you open up first a... the jumping high five, then land. Make sure I've got both feet securely planted on the floor, <laughs> and the bouncing bubbly beverage. Yeah, then we gotta <laughs> shoot them like camp- uh, champagne. <laughs> 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 right. Good morning, citizens of the complex. Standing in line for happy fun time. Just look around at all the smiles. Good morning.
Because if they are not smiling, then they must be plotting treason. If you see something, say something. Trust no one, keep your laser handy. Oh, 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 oh. And remember, the computer is your friend. Give it all your data. The computer is your friend. It will keep you safe, because the grand high programmers hardly ever make mistakes. No, wait, they never make mistakes outside these armor-plated walls. There's nothing but a deadly wasteland, too terrible to contemplate. So if you contemplate it, then you must be plotting treason. If you say something, say something, you may survive interrogation. Uh oh, 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 and remember, the computer is your friend. Tell it all your secrets, the computer is your friend. It is not insane, cause the grand high programmers hardly ever go insane. No, wait, they never go insane. Just beware of all the secret mutants slipping through the airlocks, infiltrating every level of society. Cause the person standing next to you may be a secret mutant working to destroy us all because they hate our freedom. If you see something, say something, and then report for termination. Uh oh, 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 and remember, the computer is your friend. To give it all your freedom, the computer is your friend. It will keep you safe, cause the grand high programmers, well, they're not just grand, they're great. No, wait, they're really, really great.